Welcome mates, I am Bloodthirsty Lord by Incoming Lordy and we're back in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And this has been absolutely insane the last couple of days. I've been streaming non-stop around 10 hours or so nearly every day. That's crazy. And hi to all the mates, Have, hopefully everyone's doing well as well. Hey, so Duff, the, the first mate here. One of the new members. Oh, sorry, not new members. A member in the chat. He's been a member for a while. But I know his thing just restart, uh, you know, uh, did the active membership for the month. It went, uh, renewed itself. That's what I'm trying to get to. <laughs> hey, Tricks. How you going? Hey, Blaze. How you doing? It's been quite fun. Hey, Zay. How you going? It's been quite fun. I'm very interested in this. So we have a poll on YouTube right now. What should we play first? And there's between family or victims. Tell me in the chat. I'd love to know. It looks like it's pointing towards family first. And I'm kind of cool with that. So, I have a couple build, um, build ideas. I think the one we need to get to do is... Actually, there was one build idea. And it was based on Bloody Sissy. We haven't done that. And I was pro uh, actually testing it yesterday. I had a build based on 47. Um, Blood Harvest. And I wanted to test that, this out further. So I got my perks up to level 2 to help out with this. So I can start helping this perk usage as well. And I thought this would be fun. It's a lingering build with Siphon as to actually help our Blood Harvesting um, capabilities as well. And put the rest into Endurance. So we don't miss out on the Endurance capabilities as well. And then Linger as well to slow down the times of everything in the game. It really is really fun. I want to say these names. I mean, if I say them wrong, I'm bad. Um, you know, it's my bad. Ilian, I hope I'm saying correct. Hello, hello, how are you doing? And uh, username, how are you going? <laughs> I love the name. Baby Blue, how are you going? Ain't nothing stronger than family, as the uh, mean goes. XP, yeah. XP is really good on there, isn't it? There's so much XP on family compared to victims. And it's easily gained too. Especially depending on your class that you're playing. Hey Bevan, how you going? I'm on raise in the chat. Mad early. Love to see it. Love to see it. Everybody's on time today. This is my physical copy of the game from Canada. Even though I pre-ordered it. I'm way late in that. A late start now in the game. It's alright. You should be able to still enjoy it. It may be a little bit more harder. But you have time to actually feel the groove. And make your path in the game. And have some fun times there. And definitely with all the builds and the videos we've done on the channel. It should be quite easy to do so. You need to make leveling quicker. I agree to a certain extent. As, but you can always respec, so it does help out. What's the lower phase build? We had one on uh, YouTube and in our Discord by Trix. He made the build, and it was crazy. You've been playing the full damage build with Johnny? The one I made, or the, you made a different one, Trix? You made a full damage one as well? Is it to do with Serrated? Because I made a Serrated build with it. And it had some other perks as well. It was really good. What's your dream car right now? I have got no clue. Um, I don't know. I want a four-wheel drive some sort at some point. I'm currently working on my car. That's current time. It's had some issues, to say at least. Hello, videos. Thank you, thank you. Hopefully it gives you an edge. Let's jump into this game. I'm very excited. If you're here right now, mates, make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't joined our Discord, join our Discord. Code Lordy at GameStars for 10% off. And also visit our website, BTL Merch, to get yourself some merchandise from us and be wearing that crazy BTL hoodie. Or shirt. Or cup, even. Have that with you. You don't wear the cup, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's get into this. I think this is the best one. I tried to think of another build. Um, my only issue with, I think it was Blood Bucket. It was like, if I go to Blood Bucket build, I lose out on some ca good capabilities here. From having 50 and 41. That was my only issue, because I looked at a skill tree. Where is it? It's Blood Bucket here. And then you have to run Endurance perks in some aspect. And there's no more blood after it. And you get stuck here. You can maybe connect back to here and then run Blood Harvest and Siphon if you want to. But I don't think it's worth it. Because I don't want to run Herbalist. Hey, I have the uh, cup hanging from the hip. You could do that. That's kind of swagged out. So you could do that. Holy Cook is the most underrated killer. It could be. You think that the game will die as quickly as Friday? No. Because Friday had issues. And I think Friday is fundamentally like a, an inferior game. I know there's a lot of nuances to Friday 13th in this game, but this game has a whole different environment, which is actually well calculated. Well, I felt like Friday 13th is just more open world and just see what happens, you know? This is more calculated and actually more gameplay orientated than it is based on role playing in Friday the 13th. How do you get a kill in the gallows? You just hook them on any, any hook in the, in the map is classified as a hook in the gallows. Or if you're talking about the basement as the gallows, you can get kills anytime. It's very easy. 
What's the top tier victim? I'm thinking, uh... Oh, what do I think? It, like, after playing Sunny, I actually wanted to play Morvan, but I actually deliberately took the points away to put into CC to upgrade my build today. Sunny's build yesterday actually changed my understanding of the game even further and made it seem super easy to help out your team and help out yourself at the same time. Problem is, with his build, it, it's very good, but there's no XP gain from it. There's no XP for helping your teammates or giving information to your teammates. We need anti Johnny Strats build. I think we can do that easy. The Cook um, Blood build is actually fun as, as well. Yep. Yeah, that's really fun. I already did that on the channel. That was ages ago. You get Yes, that's the idea. Get grabbed to level 5 as quickly as possible. Love watching you play this game. Thank you. Hey, Magic, how you going? Thank you, um, Gavin. And Gavin, my bad. My main is Julie. I think Julie's wrecked too. I want to play Julie today as well. So let's try getting to some CC gameplay. That's when he gets a bit hype. I'm thinking about running this build. Mason Chad, do you think it's a good blood build? I was using yesterday. I get 30 blood stat uh, flat easily. Every time. It's 30 blood from each bucket. Plus, I have the chance to get blood off victims as well. So I don't lose my killing potential or my utility. And I still get blood from victims. Because I can respec. So let's just let's quickly respec. I would... I could go... I could go this way and still get the perks I need. Because I just need Blood Harvest. That was the only one I had. So if I've got Blood Bucket, I can actually make this go on steroids. What do you think? Should I do it? Blood Bucket build? Oh, I'm reading the uh, the chat as well. It was too hard to escape, especially without um, comments on like this. Yeah, I understand. Can we get all three kills on me? Yeah, it's, you have to, depending on your play style, you have to be very smart. Because now killers are getting more and more aggressive. Because because they can. They're leveling up a killer that they've been. They're not switching between victims continuously. They can do what they can and hopefully hopefully get the kills against you. So you have to figure out a way to beat that. Connie is a bit of an issue. I do think Connie's a bit of an issue. But usually the only way to fix that issue is kill Connie first. I literally aim Connie. I look I leave everyone else behind, aim Connie. More blood? Okay, done. More blood. Let's go. Respec. Oh, I didn't want to respec. I actually like that build too. I'll, I'll showcase the build after this. The other one I was using was really fun. I think you have to connect from here. And we skipped... Oh, we can't go... What? You can't go for more blood. I had the best one. Unless I actually take no endurance. Because now I can't get the ca um, capacity increase. What? 42 per blood... So I'd wait on 42 or 32, uh, 30. 42 would make it more sense for the blood build. Uh, I'm going to do it. I'll just do it. I'll do it for this one video. I would not do this in a legit gameplay, like continuously, because I feel like 30 is still pretty good, and 42 is a bit overkill here. When I lose so much potential on my kit, like Serrate is gone. Um, Ling these rubber legs, Linger is gone as well, and even Spore Loser is gone. But we can still go for Herbalist. It connects. Just a weird connection. Now I think I should win Scout. Actually, Victim's caught in a trap. This will activate in my ability, too. I think my Poison classified a trap. as a true trap. So that's good. Use that as information ability. My goal would be to run around the map as fast as possible. And get blood as quickly as possible. That's literally our objective. I don't want to re-roll any perks yet until the ones we meet on the line. When you blow 50%, 70 deal 10% uh, more damage. The problem is when I'm below that amount, I don't want to be below that amount with this character at all. It's not, it doesn't feel that great. On other characters, I can I can deal with it. This character cannot. I just want to be constant pressure. Endurance spec here is pretty nice. But it would be only be plus three instead of being anything else. I'm going to go this way. Okay, let's re-roll. We got only two re-rolls from this. There was maybe one on the way. It doesn't matter, but we'll find one. Savagery, Tenderizer. Slamming door on a victim will do damage. Attack damage is increased by 10%, but stamina's cost is 300. It's not bad, but... I don't really like it. Moving Speed Cook, we've already done that already. It's on the channel. It was really fun, doing a Moving Speed Cook build. I did that on the first day. I called it uh, Super Fast Cook. Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing? 
I'll double take jump uh double check twitch. Give me a second, mates. Okay, everything's going good. Perfect. Make sure everything's working. I think this is a good build though. This works. I'm trying to see. I feel like I have less attribute points here, don't I? Because I went vertically up. I feel like I have less. 52. I had 55. So I don't know if this is worth it, but the blood amount doesn't change because what I ran before was increased blood storage, not blood increase. So having this at 50 is really good enough for this build. And then you can just run blood bucket, have blood harvesting because you're always going to have that available, and then run whatever perk you want. I'm not going to poison stuff. Am I? Do I want to poison stuff? It'd be good to upgrade this perk to get to level seventy, uh, to level three. Wins, uh, speed, no. No. This is pretty good. Fire up is kind of nice. Easily tucked out. Wait. 20% less stamina costs 300% more. Huh. Wait. Has anyone run a build with big swings and easily tucked out? Has anyone run a build like that? Yes, yeah, Scout and Fired Up are great. I think I ran it last uh ran that last time with Scout on my movement speed one. I don't know if I uploaded that one. Low blood harvest and speedy cook builds, it's amazing. Uh since um, I mean him. I'm glad to hear that. Is there a perk to help with close encounters? There is. I This one here, activated. Helps with close encounters. If you get stunned, you do increase damage. And there is another one. There's perks to help with winning encounters, like Spore Loser. Oh, sorry. If you lost an encounter, Spore Loser on this character will make you do a fire bomb. Put a gas behind you. And then they run through it. Obviously, get the benefits of that. I think that's the only one. I think that's the only perk. The Savagery one. I can remember right now. Oh, oh, this one. Winning a close encounter gives you blood, but I don't think that helps you the way you want it to help you. This is the best one. Activated. So when you go into a actual trade-off, you get uh, increased damage. And it goes for 20 seconds. 20 seconds is enough time to catch up. Thank you for the $5 super chat, Maze. Absolute mad lad. Thank you in advance for all your tips, BTL. You're welcome. Very welcome. Very welcome. I think this is the build. I think I just put fired up instead. But nope, no one's tried that. I want to try that build after. Big swings and easily tucked out. Because your attacks are cost less. But I don't know how that works. I don't know how this will stack, actually. This will just be bad? This is this will maybe have like a weird mechanic. And I don't know how they calculate this. I want to see how they calculate it. I want to try it after. Is there a program that makes you 20% faster with... What's the E? Oh, yes, there is. Um, I know which one it is. Close, it's in close counter one. This one here. Suffocating grip. See, so being close to counter. I remember this one. I ran it yesterday on my Spore Loser build, but it didn't really work because I couldn't get my game, you know, to actually work at that time. Hey, uh, uh, AI Explosion, how you doing? Yeah, it is Black Nancy. It feels weird saying it, but that's actually her name. So it's not supposed to be, like, insulting anyway. It's the actual character's name in, the, in Johnny's bio. Uh, the family flexibility. We could run. I actually like the Cerno ability more than anything. More information because we can grab it to level five as soon as possible. Is this it? This is it. Now I'm gonna try and run a build, which I like. Let's go this way. The extra five seconds could help out so so much. In these fights, so I need to keep it. And the rest into the endurance, so we can move up a bit. That's a build. What do you think? Good build? This could be good. If that that should reach 40 something easily. That's easily 40 points into blood, every blood bucket. And there's three there's some maps that has three blood buckets in one single room. I don't think everyone's uh, one single area, like a cube. And no one's ever seen it, I feel like. No one ever checks it. And if, if we get the right map, I can show you how bust it is. And it's actually insane. So let's get going. And let's jump into our first gameplay of today. I'm very excited. So we wrote a checklist of certain things I want to cover today in this video. Uh, this was one of the family build videos. 
Uh, if you have any other family ideas you want us to cover that we haven't covered yet on the channel, please tell me, and I'll try to cater towards it and help out with that. Is a high damage build even worth it for Sissy with her fast attack speed? No. High damage build with Sissy is maybe not worth it. It could be kind of meme though, because uh, what ends up happening, if you get really close with your base move, um, base uh, Sanima, you get really close to them, and you go for that two hits, when they think they're usually going to survive, they may actually die from a two hits. Are we being Sissy? Yes, we're being a Sissy. Yeah, that's the, that's the goal right now. We're going to achieve for getting a kill worth, wor uh, working for the first, wait. A kill working for the first 30 seconds? You mean in the first 30 seconds? Like getting a kill in the first 30 seconds? I have to double check. I just subscribed already. Love the channel. Thank you, Jace. That's it, yeah. Hope we get into Grappa Maximum. Yeah, we can get Grappa to level 5 easily. Where are you from? I'm from Australia. Melbourne, to be exact. We can get this easy. Trust me. There's nothing hard about this. And we got the best map. Oh my god. Okay. So I thought I hated this map for blood, but it, I actually find a, find a nice loop where there's like three in one spot. It's kind of gnarly. Maybe you should test, uh, test that ability. It has some potential. Yeah, I have, a, I have an idea. But the problem is I, re I got those perks with with uh, this load out. Like if I look at my perks right now, I got it with... Uh, I have Herbalist and have these perks with it. I wish I had big swings and easily tucked out with one of the other unique perks. So I don't know how I could re-roll that if they aren't fixed. But I don't think they were fixed. I don't remember. That's not fixed. Where's the other one? Find up could have been fixed. Which is maybe the, the worst part about that. Oh, it's not fight up. Where's tucked out? Wait, where's tucked out? Was that RNG too? Oh, I don't remember. Is that RNG? That might be an RNG build. Yeah, let's reach one minute. Let's showcase this build. The build we're running today is a Blood CC build. It highlights Universal Donor, 20% increased blood amount cap uh, capabilities. Alongside with our Blood Harvesting capabilities here, you're going to gain at least 40 plus blood per bucket easily. And then having Blood Runner as well, because you're always going to be above 50% of blood vials or blood account on your character. That means you can actually use your stamina more often in the game. And then you're feeding the um, blood, blood to Grandpa continuously getting grabbed to level 5, and then he gets excited, and he does his sonar pings even quicker, giving you more information to pretty much keep going around the map. And then we have Endurance to help us out in those capabilities, being fired up, and also that aspect there. Bane abilities upgraded like this, with poison damage and also more lingering amounts of our gas. And we have, this is our skill tree. Some random re-rolls here and there, but it should work out pretty darn well. So let's jump into the action and highlight this build, and have some fun times for this. We're versing a four-man party. This has been quite interesting. I'm very eager for this. Very, very eager. And hopefully the audio sounds good, mates. I keep trying to fix the audio as much as possible. And hopefully there's no static or anything like that. So, let's enjoy this. I'm excited. Uh, run downstairs, all three. You can do that as well. It's, it's It can be done. It's very easy. Okay. Let's get into it. So, we're playing as Sissy. The blood Sissy. She crazy. She freaky. And we're collecting all that blood for Grandpa, making him happy. Oh, this is going to be great. Let's go. The hype's there. Everybody be hype in chat. Let's get this. Let's get this. Let him cook. Let him bubba. <laughs> Let's see the chainsaw. Let's jump to it. Okay, first thing you want to do on this map, and especially with this spawn, turn this off. There's a secondary spawn that you can get, but this is maybe the best spawn if you're playing SCC. Because you want someone to always spawn here to turn on the battery to make sure it's safe and no one exits. And Sissy's singing. Now, where did they go? True, we'll find them. They'll be in the basement, so what we want to try to do here, there's always a blood bucket on the way. There's two actually. There's one right over here, so click that. And look at the blood amount from 0 to 40, or actually 36, surprisingly. So that's still pretty good. I'm still happy with that. 36. I could actually run another build that has 30 flat, but that 6 amount could actually help out quite drastically when they stack between multiple blood buckets. So let's go from here. And we've got another blood bucket on the left here. If I'm not mistaken. Actually, it's not spawned here this time. Unlucky. Let's go over here. Then through this. Usually I want the blood bucket spawned here because it helps with my rail, but sadly, no RNG. Close that. Make sure it's all safe. 
Now, Bob Buck will be here, so this is number one. Oh, no, someone else took it. No. I need to be doing it. Unless they're running Blood Harvest build, too. Okay, they have taken all of them. Okay, this is one. Watch this. There's like three here. Okay, one. Two. Look at, the, look at the blood points. Look at the blood points. Look at it. I'm going to be 140. And there's still another. There's still another. I'm already maxed out 140. We get we get to wake up Grandpa before they wake up Grandpa through noise. Do you, do you understand how insane that is? That is super insane. I still have another. It's somewhere around here. But it's all right. Let's go free Grandpa. Give him that big boost that he needs. 140 in mere seconds. That is insanity. Look at that. Look at that. Grandpa's awake. We get a special animation. We're waking up Grandpa. Love to see it. And then now, Demon Mode is activated. So we have a couple choices. We can go downstairs and cause havoc. Which would be quite fun, to be honest. Look, they're already downstairs. Actually, let's cause some, a bit of havoc here. As we get Grandpa to a high level as well. Because then collect blood from the victims at the same time. Fuck that. Like this blood here. Nice. Then from here, we go around this side. Is he chasing? He's chasing. Okay, perfect. Hey, Connie. How you doing? We get Connie out of the picture as soon as possible. Poison. And there we go. Oh, no. She's nearly dead. Poison again. Now she's going to stop up a movement. She's dead. There we go. And we got 126 blood points already. Give me out of this. And Liverface has got 140. Another kill. That's crazy. Oh my god. What carnage. That is carnage. Yeah, we're on the urge of level 2. We get level 4 out of this already. If we go to Bubba, um, actual grandpa right now, we get level 4. That's insane. We have potential. From waking up Grandpa early with this build is insanity. So now we're going to go back upstairs, take the blood, and give Grandpa. No, no, no. Let me go. Let me go first. Yep, I go first. Oh, max blood. So I can do another cycle. There's one right next to us. There's one right next to us. I just saw. There you go. Grandpa level three. He's somewhere here. There you go. Leland's over there. Let Johnny play that um, for a bit. I'm going to actually collect some blood here. So let's go to our blood cycle route. You go from here. That's one. 36 straight away. Easy. And then all 31. It's changes surprisingly. Then from over here. Go to this one as well. Nice. Then over here as well. Look at the blood. Just keep flowing. Grab is so happy right now. He's mad excited. Then another blood bucket here too. And the other one I was talking about earlier is actually here. You ready? The third blood bucket in this area is nuts. But sadly, that is usually open. So it makes the route a little bit faster. Grab a soda ping because my perk is active. There we go. They're all here. They're going to stab Grandpa. They have to stab Grandpa. I would stab Grandpa. They're not stabbing Grandpa. I'm just going to go to Grandpa. I'm going to let them live. Watch this. Grandpa, make him happy. Feed Grandpa. Yes, everyone feed Grandpa. Feed him. Make him level five. Make him busted. That's 140 blood as well. So that's level four and a half. Yeah, nice. Level four and a half. Nice. And now, watch this. Level five. Guarantee wall hacks. Guarantee wall hacks coming. It's coming. No doubt. I'm waiting. No, let me get it. 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 No! You dirty dog. It was mine. It was my blood I was going to give. I was supposed to feed Grandpa. He's level 5 now. He has to be. There we go. Wall hacks. That is insane. That quickly. Now, where's... There he is. Oh, no. You dead, Julie. You dead. The whole gang's pulling up. Oh, my God. Run. 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 You dead. The blood build. The blood sissy build. You dead. You dead. You dead. <laughs> oh my god. 
The carnage. I'm telling you, that build is disgusting. Already. Already. What a quick route. What a good movement and intel to use as soon as possible. I, if you use this build, the goal is to always wake up Grandpa. As soon as you wake up Grandpa, you have the capabilities to actually jump the basement. But alongside that, you still have the chance to go back upstairs and just leave them. You don't have to bother with them and get Grandpa to level 5 instantaneously. So you have wall hacks and that means no survivor, no victim will ever get out. They could never have the chance of escaping. 2000 XP. All I got was one kill. That's all I got. Was one kill. I got 2000 XP. That's nuts. It's the same amount of points as this guy with two kills. So you got to keep that in mind that running these blood builds and actually feeding grandpa does help out with the XP. Does help out with the game. Makes the family side even easier and even better for you to guarantee those kills against all victims. That is so much fun. Oh my god. That is a fatality and a half. GG mates. GG. That's insane. That felt like real quick of a match. I'm not going to lie. Was that super quick, the match? That must have been real quick. It was way too fast? I think so. That was way too fast. It's just everything was on point. You know, like everyone was well connected and they understood. And then our build just helps with getting that us to the late game as soon as possible. Like at that point there, if none of us were going to check the area, Julie would have escaped at car battery. Especially if it was another player playing like my character at that area. They leave the car battery off and they actually just keep going. You know? So that actually helps out quite a bit. Yeah, we saved that. That was good. It'll be up on the channel as well. I uh, do I want to play this? What I do do we have here? We have nothing to show. Wait, give me a second. I'm about to out. We gotta think about what do we want to do. That build is already too good. I don't really need to go into another gameplay of that. I want to test out these other aspects though. If we run big swing and easily tucked out, and then by having this, I, I wonder how the stamina works in this. And max out here as much as I possibly can. Because if my attacks take less stamina by 20%, does this mean that this goes down? That 300% that uh, goes less? And if so, is that good enough for a build? Or is that just too... Not not that great. The difference won't be as noticeable. Uh, noticeable, sorry. I'll run this. We have to run this build. It's like the only chance. Wait, do I still have three attributes left? Wait. Oh, I thought I still had three attributes left to use here. But no, it just means in general. Okay, no bad. This works. This works. What do you think? Should we test this out? Also, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. Show the support. It means the world. It truly does. Join us on Discord. Follow us on Twitch. All that good stuff. We say Cook is better uh, utilized for finding out where victims are by listening for them or collecting blood to feed gramps. Um... 
Second one more than the first one because the first one you have to delegate information. And if you're not level three with cooks, you don't have the perk that actually gives aura reading to your whole team as you search for someone. Then at first, I will say the second is the best, being the blood aspects. And then the fir and the later on, you do the first part they mentioned. What's your current fave CC build? I actually like all of them. This one's more of a nuanced build. I don't know if it's going to work as well. Would take 208% more stamina. We do like two, three hits before our stamina. That's a huge nerf. Yeah, you think it's bad? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it works. Because 10% damage for that, I don't think it's enough. He, you are right. This is more of like a point when you want to guarantee a couple hits. But on a character like this, maybe not. Yeah, I don't know if I have another CC build here. Except for the one I did earlier today. Oh, earlier yesterday. But you didn't got, you didn't see that. Because I was playing by myself with this game. Let me figure that out. Let's do it now. So we're going to do a lingering build. Which I think many people aren't using. But I have an idea to go lingering into maybe Spore. But the chance of it occurring is kind of weird. So we're going to make a choice. Let's go up here. You are correct, Tricks. You are. Yeah, I think Big Swings does work on other characters, in my opinion, as well. When you want those guaranteed kills. Because you just want to get those two hits and you'll be and like getting a kill with it. But you are right. Maybe it's just best on low face only. Will you make the best Julie build? Uh, hopefully today. We'll go through it very soon. Family was chosen first to play today. So we're playing family first. And then we play victim very soon. Well to you subscriber. Welcome, welcome. I think we go from this route. I'm going to try to make a choice. Do I choose a blood build? Nah, I think we go for Spore. So, I think I was running a, a interesting build. It was running Surgical too. Yesterday. So, I actually let people survive. I, I hit them a couple times. I slash them. And then I let them run off. And I, I, I get the blood from them instead of finding blood from bu um, Blood Buckets. It was I did it on the map Gas Station. Because Blood Buckets on that map kind of suck. That's the only map I would consider this build. Oh, but I don't have, don't have all day there. Oh, that hurts. Okay, let's run it. Endurance of proficiency? Uh, I've, a bit of both, actually. Max, uh, try and max, uh, maximize proficiency if you want to try and get stuff done quicker. Because escapes are usually done with proficiency. So having that at a high level is always better. Uh, endurance will just help with movement overall. So it becomes a bit of both. Put a, like, a balance between both. Or put more towards proficiency. But you can make builds when it's full endurance too. So it doesn't matter. It's whatever you actually prefer as a gameplay style. Is there a way to highlight blood buckets? Yes, there is. But Gas Station just has awkward ones because of the movement. You press the focus ability on uh, family members and you'll be able to see it. But with the Gas Station, it just has weird situations where if you want to get to one location, it takes a long time. It just feels awkward compared to other maps. Other maps have a better flow between bucket to bucket, in my opinion. Okay, we got all the perks that we possibly can get. We got big swings. Was that my RNG perk? Oh, dude. So one RNG is already bad. I have two more. Let's test it. Special blend. Make it work. Yep. Tenderizer. I didn't want that one. I did not want that one, but... Do I have something here? Do I have something here? Let's see. We got... Grab a damage increase. Blood builds, to, essentially. But I want to run this. I want to run that. And I run this. Yep, done. That's it. Then instead of running close encounter build, we just run. Increase chicken detection. No. Yes. That is definitely a yes. Then I want to run this into this. Then from here, we put max endurance. Or as much points as we can into endurance. And that's pretty much it. How, uh, how you doing, Healthy? Glad to see you. Another member of the chat. I saw your name earlier to, as well. I uh, have around 10 to f uh, 15 hours on Bubba. I learned all the routes and gaps and how to get around. I get at least 2-3 kills each game. Yeah, that's the idea. Once you've learned how to move around, it's so much easier.
that uh, the Sonic build's in the video. It should be in the video, the Sonic build. At the very end, I showcased it. At the end of the video, I showcased it. Instead of showcasing the start, sometimes between multiple games, I end up showcasing the build at the very end. Instead of explaining in pre-lobby in case the lobby crashes. Or the game crashes. Six, 6 out of 10, are you wrong? I think it's like a 7 to 8 out of 10. Say, with the service they built, it's much higher. If the service they built was better. Wait, am I poked in activate? There we go. This is a good build. This one I might save for like a later upload, but this is a very fun one. Because it's running Spore Loser. What? What is... Wait. Oh, I pressed the X button. I wonder why I was looking at a different, whole, different ability. Uh, with Spore Loser and, linger, and Lingering, it's kind of interesting. You could actually do another build where you run Spore Loser and Rubber Legs. So if you do pop your, pop the gas, <laughs> just to say that, if you pop the gas with rubber legs, you can put a 20% slow on them after a close encounter, which means they don't get away. So there's so many build varieties with this character, it's actually nutty. You know? It's very insane. Because nothing else will work better with this build right now. I can't think of any other perk. Even if I want to replace the perk with something else, there's nothing I'm like, oh yeah, we'll run it. Serrata would run, but you can't get serrated from a random perk on this character because it's fixed. And there's nothing else. Yeah, I'm not interested in anything. Even Scout would be kind of interesting because I can catch up to places where my detection range is. But I have great stamina on the character already because of my perks. Oh, of my attributes, sorry. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we got it. This is the only character to ever run two unique perks, by the way. You cannot run more than two unique perks in any other class, I think. I don't think Leatherface even has that. He has them all separate. I might be wrong, though. Only with, only with Leland. I get close encounters with Leland and uh, Anna. And that's it. No one else. No one else I've ever got close encounter with. Connie never does it. Sunny sometimes. When, I, remember, I remember the Sunny ha Hacker, that's why. Uh, what was the other one? And Julie. Julie does go into close encounters quite a bit. Because it helps in her builds too. So jump into this. We're going to play as the family. Get another sister gameplay going. Probably need to uh, tell you... Wait. I need to tell you. Your work's going on from a streamer yesterday. Play CC, you reveal the whole game. Wait. Just popping in to tell you. Your wall hacks going on from a streamer yesterday. Wait. Whose wall hacks? I didn't get it. Like my perks with the Sunny? My Sunny perk build? The aura reading? Or you're saying someone's got actual wall hacks while playing CC against me? Hey, Vex, how you going? <laughs> Are you in school right now? Enjoy, enjoy. Keep studying, man. What's the best victim in your opinion? Um, it's such a hard one, isn't it? I think Connie's out of the picture, though. I thought I think people are really uh, overrated about Connie. I don't think Connie's that great. I think she's in a weird position. She's good at the, at the early game, but then she sucks if she gets caught. Like, GG's. Connie's actually have to get to level 3 just to get rid of the stamina debuff from their ability. So, I don't think it's a great character. It's like a unique spot right now. I think Julie, yeah, Julie's going to be one of the interesting ones. Every time I versus Julie, I'm always shocked about what they can do. So, I'm eager to play that character and test it out. Very eager. Like, Sunny was actually an interesting one. And brought a new light to the game. Three is all reading capabilities. And I think Julie has the same one. Or same capabilities due to the fact that she's self-orientated. Yeah, that's why I still have... Oh, I was going to show you my family side. The only family member I still have at level 10 and I didn't respec is Leland with that uh, level 3 agitated build. I just love it too much. It's so much fun. But I have to respec it just so I can upgrade other perks that I may want to use for different situations and such. It's good that you can't see the enemy perks as well. But let's highlight my build. My build is quite interesting. We have Bane highlighting these aspects here. More poison duration and more lingering of our poison. And the reason why I want to linger that poison as much as possible because we have a unique perk called Linger. And that will also make the um, poison or the toxic cloud last for 10 seconds more than normal. So we have 55 plus 10. That is 65 seconds currently. And also have a 200 centimeter larger radius or diameter 
with that actual uh, ability. So it covers a large area. It's actually kind of shocking how good this is. And then with Special Blend, anyone that goes by it, any of my team members, will get a boost. And they also get a Poison Attack if they have that. Or I'll get the Poison Attack as Salmon Regeneration to keep chasing my victims. And with High Endurance, that capability is really great. And we have two unique perks. Yes, you can run two unique perks on this class. The only character in the game to do so, I believe. And that is Spore Loser. So we get into a close encounter. If we lose it, we pop gas. And that will hopefully help us proc these abilities and use that even more within the game. So it's just be gas everywhere. Gas 24-7. She's just fighting. Like, that's pretty much it. Fight 24-7. And we also have this as well, which helps out quite a bit for seven attacks as well. And that is our skill tree. Quite interesting, quite fun. Not many people see Linger as a ability used on CC, so I want to showcase the capabilities today in this video because I think it's quite fun after my testing I did yesterday. So I'm going to have fun with this. Custom lobbies in this game. That'll be fun too. Right now, I'm just going through a whole bunch of like content. Maybe down the line, maybe a week from now, we'll do custom lobbies. The concussion ability for Leland is a stun effect. It leaves this like hazy effect on a character and makes it all shaky towards a killer. Or family member when they use his shock ability. Or his like, you know, stun ability. Let's jump into sissy gameplay. Crazy linger build. Poison lasts 65 seconds, more than a minute. Insane. And even go up to around 70 to I think 75 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. You get max K abilities. Let's enjoy this. A unique build that's truly unique by having two unique perks in the one character, active at the same time. Let's go. Also, the gas you get from Spore Loser is actually based on a normal stat. So, increasing is always great. I'll let her sink first. Give it a second. Perfect. So, this build can be truly insane due to the fact that the poison gas from Spore Loser is very small initially. So, sometimes when you do a close counter and you lose it, it doesn't actually reach them because they just walk away. But with the lingering ability that we have and also a Bane increases on a main ability, the gas should hit them even if they try to escape the close counter. It's like a guaranteed hit no matter what. So in a case like this right now, I'm just going to get some blood buckets. Unless that happens, then we're going straight to basement. Not going to bother with anything else but basement. Then over here. Block this. That's Bubba. Is that all? It's not. I'm going around. It's not these doors. I'm very surprised. I heard someone. Yeah, I heard someone. Interesting. We're on the hunt right now. What door's open? Can we talk about this? What door? It seems to all be closed. Oh, found him. Sunny. Sunny, you're gone. You're dead. Poison. Look at that lingering. All of them poisoned. Both of them got poisoned. Now look, small loser. Small loser. Come on, come on. Small loser. Activate, activate. There you go. Small loser. Fight it again. Oh my god. Look at all that gas. So much gas. That's crazy. Oh, she failed. She's dead. She's dead. That's it. That's gone. How's she not dead yet? Oh, she's right there. She stabbed me? She stabbed me. Honestly, it was going to be a close encounter if I turned around. I don't want to kill her like that. Oh, she's dead. Never mind. She's going to die either way. I wanted her to go for a close encounter on me, but not like that. Let's go through here.
I thought I heard someone else. Poison, you, your hammer set gone. Nice, poison. Let's go through here. Look at him go. Where are you gonna go? And that area's still poison, he's there too. Nice work. Oh, that's another kill, well done. Interesting, my poison clouds are lingering for so long too. Look at that. Let me collect some herbs. That's insane. My small loot is back on cooldown, so I can use it again. There were so much fire bombs in that area. That's insane. I'm very happy with this outcome already. Oh, Julie jumped down a well. The worst time to jump down a well too. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, crouch. I can't tell where she was, or where she went to. Oh, she may have went through here. I did not see this open before. And no way Johnny did this, or anyone else. But Johnny's pretty close, I think he got a kill. Johnny got a kill too, I think. Yeah, Johnny got the kill in the front, the other the yard. Nice work. Was the last victim? It was Julie. She was jumped down in the basement at some point. So I want to try to do rotations here to make sure it's everything safe. No fuse box here. It's here. But no one's over here, so that's good. Grab my ability. No information. We're back downstairs. Back down. Ooh, who's that? Oh, it was Little Face. She's downstairs, guaranteed. I just don't know what she's doing downstairs. There's so many of the entries already open, so I can't actually stay here. I'm gonna back upstairs. Go play smart. But this build allows for the poison to linger for so long. Who's that? That is Johnny. Other faces there. No sound indicators. When it's still closed. That's closed. Doing rotations. I'm the high endurance character. I can move around so quickly. I'm checking everything. That's locked as well. Perfect. I don't see her anywhere. She's got a great stealth build right now. Oh, fa oh I thought I found her. Okay, we, we had a bit of a moment that's me and Johnny. Jeez. She can't be anywhere else. She has to be basement, but I can't go down there until she reveals herself. You can't hear her at all. So I want to guarantee a kill here by just trying to run around the map as much as possible. I think this chick has bone scraps, by the way. She has guaranteed bone scraps. That's how long she's taking. I was going nuts. Nothing. Not one sound. This guy's playing so safe. Yeah, let's go upstairs. That crawl space there has been opened. Or has been opened the whole time. What I'm going to do, actually, is get my herbs from here. Because I don't want to waste my time checking this fuse box all the time. The fuse isn't open, I checked. I fuse is the easiest escape here, and she's not taking it. So I'm very surprised. But to make this escape much harder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my character towards that direction. I'm going to put my poison... So that next 60 seconds, I don't have to even bother coming here. It's completely safe. For 60 seconds. Or more than 60 uh, seconds. 65 seconds. 
So now I can roam somewhere else. Double check the gates instead and not bother with that area. I can't tell if that's locked anymore. Yeah, I can see it's locked. Nice. Okay, this just seems like it's going to be a crazy easy win for this build. You just have to hunt it down. She's gonna get a heart attack. I don't know what she's doing. She's about to get a heart attack in like a minute or so. She has to make some moves. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 she's in the front yard. She's in the front, she's in the front. She jumped the worst time. She was upstairs, so she maybe saw the poison. Oh shit, is that the, what happened? Jody got her? Oh, the well, the well. Nice well play. She's dead though. It's my kill. Get away. My kill. I accept it. It's mine. Oh, I need it. I need it. Thank you. You know, that's a heart attack. Poison? Enjoy? You're gone. You can't even move that way. Dead. Oh my god. Crazy stuff. Look at that poison. That poison also held that other choke point really well. And even if she wanted to go back there after doing like a loop around here, she'll get proc by the poison once again. In the next 12 to 13 seconds, she's got poison on her. Easy game. This build is so oppressive through the aspects of putting debuffs on enemy players continuously and gaining intel non-stop throughout the whole game. Like, if you want to close the door exit, instead of using a hitchhiker trap, you can use this trap for the next 60 seconds to make sure that place is completely safe. And especially when you know it's under, like, you know, pressure by the victims. That is so cool. What a match. Yeah, it's a really fun build. A really fun one. Highly suggest using it, especially if you want to try sissy builds. There's so many there, and we have so many on the channel. They're all different in their own ways as well, which makes it extremely fun and rewarding to play too. Oh no, already in the first part of the stream? That's crazy. Let me quickly reset that. That'll be a later video for today. That's sure. Let's jump back into the game. Also, if you mates are new to the channel, make sure to hit the like button and show that support and hit the subscribe button as well. Join us on Twitch as well and our Discord. It means the world. It truly does. Any type of support is truly accepted. If Sissy is a herbalist, I bet she can cook that good food. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for it. I thought it was like a herbalist build or something. <laughs> Ends up being a joke. I love it. Was that a long time ago, that message? Feels like it was ages ago. My, my thing might have stuffed up. Double checking chat and seeing everything. Oh, I wasn't too long ago. Yeah, so many issues in the game need to be fixed. It just I think that's the one issue with the game I have. The biggest issue I have with the game. Welcome to your followers on Twitch. Welcome, welcome. It's just that issue that it's ongoing is so annoying. Ah, uh, bro, your Johnny build is insane. So much fun. I'm glad to hear that one bat. Love the name too. Wombat in combat. <laughs> That's a great name. Do you understand the skill menus? Really? It should be easy. 
It's not too hard. It's a bit annoying at the start if you, don't, if you can't get your head around it, but once you do, it's very easy. Well, we've done another build on CC. Do I have any other builds I want to do on, Vic on Family? I know the mates want to see Family gameplay, but I might actually switch to Victims if I have nothing else in mind. Like, the only other build I have in mind... Like, wait. CC, I've done everything. I think I've done everything with the character. Serrated, I've done... Movement speed, I've done both all unique items in the game that she has. She's the most fun because she has so many uniques. It's actually nuts. They gave a character this much power through uniques. And there's a way to stop this, and I think we should talk about that too. Because I think people don't understand why it's like this. Why she's so strong, why she's so, like, everywhere, always, and doing so much with her powers. There's a way to stop that, to a certain degree. Or nullify it. But Johnny have nothing else. Uh, Johnny sadly doesn't have any uniques. And everything else you can do is like a max movement bleed build. Which becomes universal on all characters to a certain degree. Which I really don't want to do right now. I want to do the stuff that's the most unique. And patience is just good for ongoing ability consumption. Because when sometimes you want to stand and do other stuff. And think what we're doing or recover. So that, that pauses and regenerates. Or doesn't regenerate, but doesn't use as much. Which is good. Nothing good there. Hitchhiker is, Hitchhiker is very interesting. I have one build idea, but I have to get my perk to level 3. Yeah, level 3 on this would be very fun. Bubba though. Do we have anything for Bubba? I have one idea, and it's to do with this. But I have to play Bubba a lot right now. If that's the case. Should we do some Bubba gameplay? Maybe we should just do some bubble gameplay. I can't remember the skill tree I even chose last time. Ah, oh, here, it's this side. Let's play some bubble. I haven't played in a while. So, this is built here, being at rubber boots, is so funny because it stops teabaggers, which I really want this situation to happen. But no one's teabagging as much. They like they teabag and when they're about to get hit, they run off. Like cowards. <laughs> so it's kind of impossible. Uh Master Key. You easily burst through latch doors three times. You can skip that. Wait, there was a unique here, wait. There was a unique one I want to try to use. Which one was it? Let me see. Is this cycle? It might be cycle. Two cycle is just a freebie, isn't it? See, maybe two cycle. I like rough cut though. Rough cut is good too. I still think there's a rough cut build. Is that an issue? I still think there's a build for rough cut. I'm gonna actually do it. I think I'm just gonna do a rough cut build and have fun with it and see what happens. Where's rough cut again? It's somewhere here. It's somewhere like weird, weirdly placed. There we go. It's there. Show us Bubba some love. I think I have to. I actually like this idea of a build. So I think I don't know why I feel like big swings. It's great. Don't get me wrong. It's good because I, I, when you go for the heavy attack, it helps out. But if you're not going for any heavy attacks, maybe not running it is a good idea. You know, running something like this might be better. So running a heavy attack build on bubble, you run a light attack build like this, which is more meme-like, but it's also really uh, strong. I don't want the chicken perk, do I? No, I'll go for that random perk there. So I get a grandpa Bruce ring. Let's go for that. Oh, is my mic working? Is my mic not working? Can you please tell me? I'm putting the mic closer to help out with that. Is it working now? Is it cutting out? Is anything happening? I'll double check too. Let me check. Okay, oh, me? Perfect. Just make sure it doesn't sound bad. It is? Okay, perfect. It is better. Perfect. Okay, we go for this. Bruce string. Go for this. Go for that. Thank you. Thank you for all the mates. Giving the information. Did you do the Blood Harvest Sissy build? We did Jurassic. 
This is the very start of the stream. If you rewind the stream a bit, you can. But also watch the video, uh, Jurassic, on our channel. We just uploaded a video like 30 minutes ago that highlights the build in action. So make sure to go see that. I've got a special blend here too. It could work out. But we have to, we need to have a sissy on our team. That's the only issue. It's dependent on her. Ooh, that's fun too. Finding victims. I've, I'll always end up finding victims when I don't have that perk av available to me. Which doing extra points of damage could, could be fun. But it's obviously uh, condition based. Am I happy with those rerolls? Yes, I am happy with those rerolls. I just saw what I got. I'm happy. So we're going to be a bit of a annoying person and keep the blood with us as long as possible. Oh, unless we want to run not a blood dependent build. Oh, I actually think this is going to be nice. I have to run hysterical, don't I? Yeah, we run hysterical. So what I'm trying to do is swing like no tomorrow with a class. Because it's hilarious. And we still get enough attribute points to put into there. That's insane. And then we get brute strength. What do you think about this? That's an interesting one. Reduce the chance of the OP from excessive revving by 30%. I have a ability and I can't get to it yet. I have to play a lot more Bubba. So maybe we can play some Bubba today. Is there only a pretty a woman uh, outfit for the character? No, there is pretty woman and old lady. And killing mask. You can choose. For some reason, I can't get this. And I've played more than 20 matches. You're yeah, very interested to see how this goes. I'm glad that's the case. Because it should be quite fun. Indeed. Let's jump into it. Who do you mean? I mean everybody. Honestly, there's not one character I don't like in this game. I'm trying to think, what character do I hate? And I don't hate any of them. They're all fun to a certain degree. Some fun more than others. That becomes more of a personal bias on how I play characters in games and what I find more entertaining. But that's why I enjoy Sissy. Sissy's capabilities, her build potential, her variations are so much more fun than a class maybe like Johnny. But I will say, people that are brand new to the game, they want to learn the game, maybe Johnny's a good choice because you can stick with one build the whole entirety of the game and you can enjoy it because you don't need to change your build on Johnny at all. Oh no, he got Bubba. He got it. Gimme, gimme. He ain't gonna gimme, gimme, is he? What's with all the parties, by the way? I'm always with parties. Like, I play solo. I expect to find other solos, but I end up finding stacks of parties. It's actually crazy. No, I actually enjoy Sunny too. I don't, I don't mind Sunny. Hey, we're sponsored by Sunny. <laughs> chopped up from TC. Oh, yeah. Chopped up would be great. He's not in the game, sadly. Not at all. Hey, Mount, are you home? Uh, family again. You get rejected again. I know, right? <laughs> when you say, give me, give me. I try my best, you know? So we have to look for another lobby. Welcome to your subscribe. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, no bad. I think this build will be kind of interesting. Just like a lot of attack speed. And which he naturally has because you can max it out pretty quickly. Because he's already high endurance. But given that high endurance, but along alongside high revving and high blood damage through ble bleed mechanics and rough cut. And alongside the other perk, which helps if we are near the low stamina from smacking so many times. We can actually get easy kills. So I'm very interested to see how this goes. My goal is to not redline, actually. But get close to redline for extra movement. But then when I'm close in combat, not redline. Oh, come on. I can't even say gimme, gimme, because I can't even trade it. No, gimme, gimme.
Big swings, hysterical. Thing is, if you run big swings, you don't want to have a hysterical as much. But big swings with uh, the vial, perk as well is great. Directly in the character you want to play in customization before searching, you think? I don't, I'll, I'll do it after this. Last time I tried that, it doesn't really work. I even tried it. Left on a certain character, I didn't get my actual character again. When you request 8 times a 10, they say no. Yeah, I can see that happening. It's kind of reasonable though. They got their character. They want to play the character. I understand. Same way that people jump out of lobbies like myself to find their character. It's not an issue. He's a hitchhiker main. I, I can tell you. The level 0. What? Are they all level 0? Oh my god. I don't make them cry. Is everyone level zero here? Am I just tripping out? No comments in there, party. I'm not gonna ask about it. I'll accept it. Four stack. They're all gonna bleed. <laughs> oh god. Welcome to you, subscribe. Welcome, welcome. Hitch, uh, Chop Top will be added as a hitchhike skit, to be honest. Yeah, I see that happening too. I wish it isn't, because I would actually like more unique characters in the game to a certain degree with different perks, different uh, aspects being added. I actually hate skins. Um, I'm not going to be frank about this. I hate skins. Prayer to Hunter Grounds is one of the games that, instead of adding new classes with new unique benefits, all they did was put skins and use the perks from the last character. So it, just, it was just a skin. It wasn't really anything else. It was just a skin with different base stats. I don't like that. Having different perks unique to this class as well, like Chop Top gets his own lobby and everything, it should be very interesting. You found the gold lobby? I think I did. <laughs> welcome, welcome to new subscribers. Welcome, welcome. We'll explain the build at the end. I want to see how this goes. I am interested. Go jump into this. Playing as Bubba. And those builds are quite interesting. My goal is to not overhead kill him. So not go to the full red line capabilities and get that 9k uh, uh, revs or RPMs to get the kill like that. We don't want that. Instead, we actually want to light attack. So go into revs to get movement. Then light attack them as much as possible and make them bleed to death with this build. And just be constant pressure through bleed attacks. So I don't have to even bother with heavy attacks. So I never saw my chainsaw at all. That's the goal. That's my ambition, so let's make this happen. I'm excited for this. Our perks will discuss at the very end. Let's start this up. Oh, this is gold lobby. It doesn't lag. Wait, do they add odd servers? This doesn't lag. I've never been this smooth. Oh my god, there's odd servers. I swear there's odd servers. This is Aussie. I can feel it. No lag. It's a miracle. Let's go. Let's find these victims. So now we go back to normal attacks. Now bleed. She's got rough cut on her. She's bleeding. She's dead. Well, I don't know what she did there. I body blocked it. Easy kill. Now, grind effects added to the collection. She's being claimed. She's being claimed. Redeem your Connie today. At the nearest Leatherface store with your chainsaw. Let's go. Now, let's keep going. I actually kind of like the bleed amount. So, there should usually be two plays here. So, I'm surprised there's only one. Let's break this barricade because it allows for freedom. Destroy this. This server's not laggy at all. I, I think this is a Australian server. The first one ever. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Increase movement. Thanks to the developers at Texas for making this server better because there's no lag. I'm surprised. Where you at, boy? Reveal yourself. I just had to do this just in case. I just had a feeling. I don't know why. 
So guys, let's go and rope around the map. As pretty woman, Bubba. Oh, we go. Found him. You're dead now. You stuffed up now. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, doesn't matter. He'll bleed. My chainsaw is inactive. And hopefully, he bleeds out from this. Let's see. I'm going to watch him. I'm going to watch you bleed, man. I'm here. What are you doing? You're going to die. You're going to die now. It's time for you to die. There we go. Yeah, no chance. We went to a dead end and got body blocked. No chance. That's two kills already. Another added face to the collection. Love to see it. Brutality. <laughs> Let's go find these victims. Because I didn't even have to go for the overhead then. It wasn't even necessary. Hopefully they haven't opened the ladder spawn here. I hate the ladder door. I can't do anything about it. Let's see. No ladder door. Nice. They're still stuck here with me. They're still stuck here. What the hell? Why are they still stuck here? That sound in the Burn room. Burn room. Look at my stamina. It's taking nothing. Love it. Like we open this up. They can move freely through here. Oh my god, I'm losing no stam. What? Hey, get out of there. Wait, what? This hacker. Where you going? You hacking bastard. Get over here. Hey, I'm going to kill you. They have movement speed. They have movement speed. Let me get this hacker. Let me kill this hacker. Wait, wait, wait. They're with her, yeah. Do loop. Found it. Don't move so fast, you hacker. Get over here. Dead. What happened there? She teleported. She teleported from across the map. I don't know what she did. I want to get a replay of that. Is that a hacking? I don't know what happened there. I don't know if it was bug or hack. Because I've seen hackers, and that same movement tech just happened instantaneously. She didn't really make it as obvious, but it appeared and then disappeared instantaneously. She was hit staggered. There's no way she could have moved out. One more. One more. Being lagging? I don't know. This is my basement. Give me the 4K. Give me the 4K. I need it. Who's playing? Chatland's been so weak. Pass him. Oh, found him. It's enough. That's enough information. I got it. Wait, is he upstairs? I've been fooled. Someone's upstairs. How did he get there? How did he get there? I'll check this door here. If he's not there, he's somewhere here. Cook, find him. Find him, Cook. Find him.
in here. You hiding in here? Little bugger? You hiding? Where is he? I can't, I don't know where he is. I can't, can't find him. But the, the other two players were here last time, I remember. But not seeing him anywhere is really confusing. He was, he was behind that wall there last time here, and I was here when I was killing Julie, and then they both ran away. Or Julie teleported with a hack, whatever it was. Why do I feel like he's upstairs? Am I missing a door? I've checked every door in the game. Wait, 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 cool, find it. What's that? There. He's in the locker. He was in the locker the whole time? Which one? Was that a locker? Oh, a locked tool area. Oh, I found him. Found him. He was hiding in the corner there. He was there. I double checked it and I missed it. He was here over here the whole time. I got you, man. You're dead. I'd rather block this way because he can't run away into the gap. The gap that's on my left. Now he's stuck. He's funneled. Yep, GG. He died. Now bleed, come on, bleed. Pathetic, pathetic. You hide from me? My 4K is my 4K. I'm getting it. There we go. I carry this little baby. This little baby Leland. You're gonna die now, boy. You dead. You dead now. <laughs> Flawless victory, I love it. The best Bubba out there. You gotta love the experience. You cannot stop me. Look at all that blood. I told you this build will help with bleeding out enemies. It does. It works out so well. Okay, cool. We got a build. We got a really good build for bleed outs. Nice. Very, very nice. I think we got a 4K there. We killed all the uh, members or the victims all by itself. No assistance at all by the cook or by anyone else. That's insane. Like, look at the XP. The cook was feeding Grandpa, I'm guessing, a lot, or using his ability a lot. But look at the other player, 175 XP. I think he quit because he couldn't find anyone. <laughs> Four kills. It was a 2v4 against a possible hacker? I can't tell. That was really weird. Whatever happened here it was very interesting. I don't know if it was hacker or lag. I can't tell. But I'm going to say it's lag. I, I think a hacker would be more ob obvious with their, their traits or, you know, how, how obnoxious they would be with their movement. I think that was a lag situation. That was still increasingly fun to use that build. So much fun. Let's showcase it as well. So if you want to make that same build, it's right over here. Looks like this. You have the main ability, and we put reduce overheat. Then you have rough cut for bleed damage. Two cycles to keep that stamina keep going as you're revving. So you can run around the map the whole bloody game. And you have two cycle charge, uh, which is the one we just said. And then hysterical strength, brute strength, and then those are the stats. Quite nasty. And our skill tree is right over here. Make sure to copy it, utilize it, have some fun. With the best bubble build out there. It's quite enjoyable. I still missed this attribute point. So I can actually make it even better. Surprisingly. <laughs> GG's. What a build. What an absolute build. That was so much fun.
Let me check one thing. When the other video get released. I, I want to make sure all my videos are like one hour apart. So mates can actually enjoy them. Without them all being all at the same time. And a flood of videos. You feel? Give me a second. Hey, mates, what do you think about that build? Tell me in the chat. I'd love to know. I'll read the chat in a moment, moment of time. Oh, let's just upload it. I think we have to upload it. It's just too cool. What a good build. What an absolute good build. Let's upload it. Why am I missing one level? Can we talk about this? Where's my one level gone? I've missed something and I've not realized that I missed it. No, I didn't. Just this skill this skill tree only gets you to level 9. Ah, that's kind of funny. Yeah, I didn't miss anything. This looks like it connects to another action room, but it doesn't. Oh, I did. I missed one there. Ah, dirty little bugger. Doesn't really mean anything, to be honest. Doesn't change anything. I want to do it again. I have to do it again. I'm sorry, I have to do it again. It's too much fun. That was too much fun. I haven't played Bubba in a while. So to go back to Bubba and have like a, an amazing time. Sets the tone of how much fun I had with this character. Let's jump into it. You think this build's better than the old one? Uh, for my playstyle, yes. I actually think yes. Uh, this build is more ongoing pressure. I like it more than huge damage. Huge damage on, on Bubba is like a given. You're going to get huge damage no matter what. So doing this instead is maybe better. Double checking chat. You want to see... Oh, yes. Uh, uh, Vilmer uh, as a character as well. That'd be nice. Or Matthew McConaughey as character in the game. That'd be amazing. Especially with the likeness too. It'd be amazing. This build killed a, killed a hacker in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's a good title, but we're not going to use that right now. That's a good title. We're going to make sure we versus the hacker. Who is hacking? Versus me right now. We're going to make it happen. <laughs> My God. I'll get you the Julie best build very soon. I don't want to uh, go through it right now because I want to play some family before then. Ain't this the best build for uh, Loveface? This is like one of the best builds, I think. Because you're just constantly roaming. Constantly roaming, doing damage. It feels good. Your tile's good. Yeah, your tile's very good. No, Bubba, no harvesting perks. No, no, no. The only harvesting perk you should ever um, classify as a good perk on Bubba is Vile because the 10% increased damage. I would not bother with any other bleed, um, blood perk on Bubba. It's a waste of time. His goal is to be more the person that gets the rats, aka the victims, out of the areas. You know when you... Like, you're, you have... A, the basement's like you're trapping a rat. Uh, a rat. You try and trap a rat. Oh, my God. Why does it sound like it's a tongue, uh, tongue twister? My bad. You try to trap a rat. There we go. And by doing so, you tr make them squeal by using a chainsaw. Uh, chainsaw. And then you've got the victims squealing away into little areas... And then you just catch him. That's the idea. And if you can't catch him, you make them get out of the basement so your teammates can catch him. You love this build? I'm glad to hear it. Can you customize the chainsaw? I could, but I don't have a skin for it at the moment. You can customize it into these factors. Let me see. Wait, what? confused. Let me double check my steam. Give me a moment. DLC. Wait, why didn't I put this in my, in my pack? Oh, level two as well. Oh my God. I think this would be fun. How close? That's very close. I like this build. I really do. I think running double uniques is really fun. Yeah, chances are free. I didn't realize. I'll double check in a moment. Let's jump into this. 
Let's play some Leatherface and have some fun times here. Let's have some fun. This build, my goal with this build is to make people bleed. The more they bleed, the happy I am. So let's have some fun here. I'm actually not going to try to kill people except Connie. Connie's the only one I want to kill. But if I can make a bleed out, I'll make a bleed out. Oh, now it's laggy. See, that server was Oz server. Or better server region. But now it's laggy server. I can tell straight away. That's alright. I can deal with it. Let's break this open. Yeah, interesting. Already wake, but where are they? Not here. I thought I saw someone. Or like crouching for a second. It's here. They're in the middle of the map. They're already upstairs. So we're going to leave the basement because we can't waste the time there. Now we're going to do rotations to make sure everything's safe. That's locked. Nice. Uh, he's locked too. <laughs> Got fuse here too. Not bad. That is not locked. Oh, it doesn't look like it's locked from far. What the hell? That's trippy. You break this as well? Welcome to new subscribers. Welcome, welcome. So the thing is, they're already bleeding out to a certain degree. So I actually don't need to hit them at all. This will work to my favor. As long as they're surviving and not completing missions, I'm happy. I know where all the missions are, so they're stuck now. Yeah, I win this. Unless I spend too much time making someone else bleed out. My only issue is Connie. That's my only issue. No information. Locked. Valve not on. I get special kills here too, I believe. It should be right. Oh, that's the Chica. Trap everything. Trap it. Trap it. Trap it. Oh, he didn't put a trap down. What is he doing? As long as they're stuck here, they can't do anything. Put your traps down and hold down Aries. I'll break stuff. As long as, long as they're holding down Aries, I can break stuff now. I don't want to break stuff early when my team members are not upstairs or not around me, you know? We want to make sure they get stuck. That's the goal. Someone latch this door too. Now watch me win. Watch me win. I'm stopping their flow.
I sound like a horse. I sound like a horse galloping. It's actually hilarious. Oh, they're gonna have a bad game. They're gonna have a bad game. Oh my god. I'm gonna get four kills here. If my teammates don't kill. Who are you fighting? You're fighting ghosts, Twitter. What are they doing? Get blood. Big grandpa. Get blood. Big grandpa. Make sure they do the objective. I'm going to hold down areas. I can move faster than anyone in the game. With my chainsaw. You freaking kidding me. You're freaking kidding me, man. I felt that too. I felt complete domination there. And that happens. And that happens. I was about to completely dominate. I will guarantee that I would won that. And made them all bleed. I had to... Because the thing is with bleed builds, I want to prolong the game as long as possible. I need to prolong the game. And when that happens, I can't prolong the game. I'm actually kind of devastated. So I love the weapon skins though. So it should be applicable. Yeah, that's a huge RP. Because with the way the game works, I need to delay the enemy in order to get my benefits. Or it's not going to work. Rusty. Hasten all this. What, you think this is good? It's not that visible of a change. It's pretty much similar. Feels more brand new than this. But this is maybe the most obvious. Or messed up. Do I still get the XP though? Or do I not get the XP? I didn't, I didn't get any XP. Damn it. Because the game closed. Level 32, man. Jesus. Level 32? It's not like my server bugs or just victims make more XP? I think victims make more XP, yeah? Surely. How many victims have we seen high level? And she's playing Connie. I think she's speedrunning it. She's constant speedrunning. Yeah, that's the only thing. Like, majority of these build videos could be easily showcased, and I'll be able to highlight them in every uh, way possible I want. But DC issues, server issues, crashing issues. That's the only issue I have with this game. The only issue. The game itself, I enjoy. It's just that is the only issue. It's just so devastating. I got, I, I got a trophy today. It's called Zero, uh, Zero Killer. Execute 100 victims in total. Only 3% of people on Steam have it. Not bad. Not a bad trophy. I'll keep that in my collection. Uh, you can send it on Discord, uh, Steven. If there's any songs or anything, I'll give it a listen after. Yeah, I think victims make a lot of XP through extracts. I think just escaping makes enough XP that you don't have to do anything else. So I think that's what's happening here. I would like to see the build, but I think it's that extract build more than anything. This sissy has got a god tier build right now. Oh, she's running that perk too? That's crazy. On oh, sissy, that... It, I don't know if it works that well, but... Why not? Why not? Honestly, I can remove that perk too, if I want to. I actually like it just because increased damage is so free. The increased damage could also one-shot. But I don't know, I feel like I'm happy with it. I can't think of any other one I would want. Welcome to you subscribers. Welcome, welcome. If mates are new, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you are here right now, hit that like button. Show us support. Let's try to get 100 likes on this stream as we jump into the next game of Bubba. And enjoy this time. The search continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen... Okay, let's jump into this. The Bubba Bleed Build. Oh my god, the Bubba Bleed build that we showcased earlier today should be quite fun to highlight. My back hurts, by the way. Jesus, posture's bad right now. That's crazy. Okay, let's get this. Let's get this. It's time to kill. I was excited. Even more excited than Grandpa. Because Grandpa would be sleeping right now. 
So let's enjoy. Ah, oh, never mind. Grappa is excited too. Never mind. He's hundred percent excited. Let's go. Server's up. Server's good. This server's so good. Oh my god. Best server. Best server. No server issues. Watch this. Oh, wrong way, buddy. That's it. Bleed. Bleed. I said bleed. Bleed. Oh, I didn't rev it. Oh. I'll get back. I'll get you after. Hey, nice latch, yeah? Nice latch. I saw you do it, Julie. Did you go through the main entry? She went through main entry, I think. Oh, she didn't. That was the other person. She wins that. One, two, three doors got covered. Who's that fourth one? Cover the fourth one for me right now. Nice. Oh, they got it open. They open the door, the main staircase. Got two hits. Wait, they escaped already. Oh, basement! Well done. That's why. I should've known. I should've known what the Connie was doing. I should've known. I should've known. Was I right? I should've known. I should've known. I should've known. Well. Yeah, GG. <laughs> Just get out of this one. There's no point. There's no point in me playing that. I should've known. <laughs> I should've known. I'm out of that one. <laughs> it wasn't the problem of running past one. The problem was, they, she, they, they, they went to the, the basement and she opened the area. She's not even trying to play any exit gates, which is the smartest thing to do on Connie. I even said that. You should never bother with gates. Gates get you killed. Basement's the best on that map. And look, it worked. I'm not gonna play a map when there's already two people out. What was the point? There's not even gameplay there. Jeez. Family heavy. Do you think that's family heavy? Did you see what happened, PT? They literally got out in less than a second. I did, I did nothing. I literally just read my weapon. Chase Julie for for 30 seconds and that's it. The game is so heavy on victims. Victims determine how long the game goes for. The only time a victim is not determining it is when a victim gets caught by a family member. Now it's determined by the family how long the game goes for. That's how the dynamic works. I'm actually just shocked how quick that happened. Hey, <laughs> you don't get people like that that I can't stand. Freaking hell, Connie just went th flying. Is there a perk to find uh, unique items early on uh, on survivors? Or she just went up there freely? Because I saw the door open, but I had, I had no time to actually do everything. And I closed it, and then she came running to back down. So when she was coming back, ran running back down, she's the one that actually turned on the fuse. No one else. So she did it all by herself and gave Konso her team to disappear. I wonder if she's... Oh, I know how they're boosting. I know how they're boosting. That's insane. Okay, we may have to use it to our own advantage as well. We can do a boosting video. Do we see a boosting XP video after this? How to get the best XP in a game? Having escaped once in 20 rounds is going to take a bit of time then. I can do a boosting video. How to get XP quick. Oh, no, uh, Jim. I'm glad you're in my game. That was fun. Show the boost? I'm going to show a boosting XP video. I'm gonna make a video on it. We go to the victim side. That has to be the best way. I can't think of a faster way because the XP you gain from leaving and doing the objectives is more important than anything else. So it's double and two into fuse, I think. But I'll double check it. We'll do a video on it. Welcome to you, subscribe. Welcome, welcome. It has to be. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up to date and hit that like button. Show that support. Greatly appreciated. Yeah, I'm tapping the, the actual weapon to run faster. Running fuses, I think, is the best way. The thing is, it's too easily access uh, uh, accessible. On that map, especially, it's the easiest one. 
because you have no time to go up, as Leatherface at least. Welcome to you subscribers, welcome, welcome to the channel. What do you like more, Johnny or Cook? Uh, I, I can't make choices. I'm really, I'm really indecisive right now on making a choice. They're both good. I think Cook though, because of more builds. Johnny's good base kit. If you're a base player, if you see first time playing the game, Johnny's good base kit. Cook, uh, Cook has better uh, in-game builds, in my opinion. You always poison fuses. It's a smart idea to do so, honestly. Welcome to new member, the T1 Blood member. Old man gamer AU, welcome, welcome to the channel. Love to see the sport. Thank you for that. Uh, what do you recommend is better, Sissy or Hitchhiker, and what builds? Uh, honestly, check out our channel. We have so many, so many on our channel. But I would say Sissy is better, longevity. But Hitchhiker at level 3 is kind of scary. Sissy is good at level 1 to level 2, level 3 even. And she always has a power spike, as you can see with the one Sissy play on our team right now. She has level 3 everything, because she mains a character. It's a great character to main. But if you can main Hitchhiker, get that character level 3, he has a dirty build, which I want to showcase in the near future. Let's get going. Lowface with my build that we just invented. He's got two unique perks. Makes people bleed non-stop. So the potential to go for grab kills is there. Carry them, take them to the gallows, hook them, and get that special kill. If you can do it more than once, I'll be surprised. We've done it once before. And it seems to be easily done towards the last victims. But I want to try to do it early game to get more kills and more XP as the family. Let's have some fun here. If you make so loving the content, show that support. It means the world. It truly does. And then a new uh, chainsaw skin looks nice too. What the? Hey! You get a bit sussy there. Can I read my weapon? You, you dead now. Yeah, run! Run now, Connie! I'm coming for that ass. Gimme, gimme! Gimme, gimme, Connie! Gimme, gimme! You're dead, you're dead! You're in a nook, you're in a nook, you're in a nook! Just one protection barrier. Nice. Blood collector, bleed. Okay, I gotta break. Not that one, this one. Actually, I should break the, break the other one, too. I'll come back and break it on another loop. Welcome, Nicholas. New subscribe. Welcome, welcome. We go running now. Oh, Leland! No! Blood collected. Bleed. That's another bleed. Wait, what? Lord have mercy. What gap does he have? Okay, I don't want to leave that behind. Hey, Connie, come back! They're gonna open the doors. I can't get them to stay here. There's too many. It's just teabagging. <laughs> Go back. Oh, I'm gonna get that booty. Get over here. Oh my god. She knows the loop. Oh, she doesn't know. She didn't know. Gotta time that better. They've opened the doors, and now I can't really do much about it. How many doors do they open? One or two? I saw her for a split second. Was she passing through? You know, gas station? I'm gonna leave it. This map sucks. It sucks in the basement from Bubba. I can't get the potential now. I'll leave it. This is all they open. It was here. So, close this. They're outside the basement. Get ready. They go from here. I'm gonna put pressure as much as possible. I'm gonna latch this door. Can't destroy that yet. What's that sound? Did you even hear that? No pressure valve? I'm running this. I have to run this. Found him. She ran through the po poison. I don't want to bother with her. She's gonna bleed out though. 
Door seem closed. Found him. There we go. There we go. Found one. Run. You better run. Yeah, I can't see you. <laughs> oh my god. I love that toilet. Uh, people that made that, congrats. That's always perfect place placement. I love it. The flushing of the toilet as they're panicking with your life. There's two still up. Leland and someone else. Uh, and it's still up. I'm checking doors. Or the gates that lead to the next sector. I'm high revving. They open this. So like they took a shit just before they left because how much panic they had. It's hilarious. This door is my only culprit. I think this could be it. No, it's not. Okay. We keep roving. Keep feeding Grandpa. I'll roam around, you feed Grandpa. Man, I forget to wipe. <laughs> That's hilarious. I can check doors. You have to check doors. Get blood for grandpa only. Yeah, I'm not playing basement in this map ever. Unless I feel dominant. Right now, it's no point. It's so bad. It's just when people know what they're going to do in the basement, there's too many good loops there. That door there could be a culprit of the red container. It's so tucked away that they can go there and do it and get out. Got you. I knew it. Bleed. Bleed. Bleed! Panic flush again. I'm fully revving. Oh, she nearly died. She nearly died. She went back in. I can't go through here. Oh, they unlatched it. They stabbed Grandpa. Okay. She did. Yeah, that's a, that's a harmless death. Okay. Get her, sissy. Get her. She's gonna bleed out. If she bleeds out, let me carry. Never mind. I wanted to carry, but I couldn't carry. The build's just too um, good for this stuff. The damage is too nice as well. Let's open this up. Be grandpa. I shouldn't waste my time here, but having the level three perk is really nice. If you can get it. I'm surprised the Connie's not out yet. I want to check car battery side. Is the way the girl was playing earlier. That's Cosiana. That sounds like Anne, not Connie. That's Connie actually. Just one more. One more victim. Love the content? Thank you.
Oh, you know what? I actually hate the basement on this map, and going up here is very tough for them. I don't see how they can beat me. Like, if I leave basement instantaneously and set up here, they're dead. A lot of the map, like, the idea of what you need to do changes depending on what map you're on. It's really nice. Especially as family, not just as victims. The finest family to play? Uh, Sissy. Sissy just has everything. That play is stuck in that left uh, nook. Oh no. Hello there, buddy. Where are you? Where are you? Are you hiding down there? Are you hiding down there? I'll catch you. She's a fuse right there, too. I didn't know there was a fuse spawn in that little nook. That is crazy lucky. Little five. No one's hide. Reveal yourself. Oh, she's right there. <laughs> Next to the fuse. Hello there, bucko. Bleed! Bleed! Bleed, fool, bleed! Oh, wait, I break this. I win. You must bleed. You must... I actually get this kill. So for my team members to take the kill. Oh, my God. My God. The domination. It's just too good. It's just too good. What do you do against that? They teabagged and still lost. They teabag and lose against this Bubba build. Against my best Bubba. We've shown this build on the channel already, but oh my god. It's so much fun. It's just too much fun. Oh, wow. Is the fuse always the same spot? No, they change. Fuse box can somewhat be the same uh, spot. High percentage of chance, but majority of the time it does change as well. It's like three spots for everything or more. But that's our build. Beautiful stuff. Two kills, 2,000 XP. The teabag, where is she? 625 XP is all they made from teabagging. Not good. Not good. I can tell you that. Don't teabag if you can't get the XP. <laughs> GG's, GG's. Oh my god. That's so much fun. That is honestly too much fun. I love that build. Oh, I called it Bubba. Um, <laughs> I called it the best Bubba build. It's 20. <laughs> We're not going to know what's it, what it is. I call it Low Face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, the gallo kills or the hooks, that's a bit of a challenge, isn't it? It, it takes a bit of time, I would say. One more Bubba? I think we do another Bubba. I just want to make this build work. I just want to show how you can get Gallo kills. I T bag in, uh, in, uh, in this game, and it's hilarious. But at least I can keep up with the movement, you know? You, if you teabag, you're going to be a good player. If you're teabagging, you're bad, you're just going to end up dying. It's just weird. It doesn't feel right. Teabaggers usually are the good players. <laughs> but each to their own. I, I don't know. It's just funny. It's very funny to see. Wait, this place from DBD. I've, I've seen this person's name. No way it's that common. The Yas Queen. <laughs> Get all zesty with it. I, I actually think that is a play from DBD that I used, uh, used to verse a lot in the OC region. I could be wrong. I uploaded 33 minutes ago that other video. I'm gonna wait another 30 minutes before I upload the next one. Jeez. What time is it now? I'll play at 4:30. Actually, I'm gonna keep it for a little bit later. 
Sometimes this time, like at this time, it gets kind of hard for videos to pop off as much as you want them to. So people know the builds exactly. So people are asking for like chat line builds. I'm like, I uploaded them already. No one's seen them. I'm like, oh no, that's a problem. 8 p.m. My time. Yeah, that works. That works. That definitely works. Save that. Fun time indeed. We need to play victims. Uh, soon. I just want to enjoy family as much as I can before I have to switch. Usually I try to exhaust everything I can do on family, then switch. Uh, I think I'm close to the old lady. I should be very close. I don't know how I haven't got old, old lady yet. I've played more than 20. But I can show you how to get gal kills as well. In this game. It's maybe the hard thing to do, get gal kills. Or special executions in this game. We'll make it happen. As a little face with this build. It's very optimal for it. And it's very fun to utilize. I think this is my favorite build in Bubba already. I don't think I'm going to switch. I'll save this build for a while. Because it gives me all options. So none of Bubba's kit's limited. Nice stuff. Perfect. Let's get to it. Let's get to the action. Let's get it. Oh, it's smooth. It's smooth. Good server. I'm very happy. Bleed. Bleed. Two more, two more, two more. Maybe one more. I'll give you one more. I'll give you one more. Nice, Luke. That's it. Bleed. Bleed. Come on. Go down, go down, go down, go down. Let me carry, let me carry. Let me carry, let me carry. Let me carry, let me carry, let me carry. Ah, oh, the knockout. But the sudden recovery. She's using that perk, I should've known. She's bleeding there. Where'd she go from here? She's playing safety. I, I know she's bleeding. She hasn't healed yet. She hasn't healed yet. Oh, I lost her, I lost her. Yeah, I looked at chat. Thank you for the compliment as well, as a double checking chat. I'm glad to hear that I'm one of your favorite streamers. Me as well. I think she went in that nook straight away. I think so, but I'm not gonna bother. Oh, she bleeds out. I'll make sure this escape here is not used. Hitchhiker? Well play. Cook? Nice. Thank for the kill. Wait, did this guy know I'm doing the challenge? That was really weird. But I wasn't supposed to kill. I was waiting for the bleed. I'll accept it. I just want Connie out of the picture. Connie's the only one I'll, I'll kill instantaneously. I wouldn't bother. But now, with other ones. Padlock, padlocked. And trapped. Grandpa, I give blood to him. Mine's not hungry, so I'm not going to bother. Blocked. I think uh, Grandpa had a lot of blood on him. That's why he didn't bother. Oh, smart. Cook. I, see, I mean, the Cook player. He didn't get the kill because he was giving the blood to me to get the up. Oh, that's another kill. What? Huh? Can we talk about that? What was that? What was that? That should have landed. That should have landed, mates. So I couldn't do my builds here. Family house is a bit of the weird one. The only way I can do this build is in slaughterhouse. Because the family always is close by. So it means that they die quickly to victims. Did I just see someone? I saw, I saw someone's head pop out.
I definitely saw someone's head pop out for a second. I can't see him now. Oh no. Surprising. This place is so safe. We've already won the game. This won't be a gameplay most likely because nothing unique's happening, but we're guaranteed one. This is like optimal gameplay. If you ever want to play family and have a good team, this is optimal. Like, it's Cook, Hitchhiker, which is OG team from Tech Test. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. You hurt someone. Oh, it's talking to me. <laughs> That's hilarious. Upstairs we go. Level 4 Grandpa. I'm to break something. I use every character in the game. If you think that that's why I'm so good at the game, just by playing Leatherface, yeah, you can say that. But I play every character. Or you, you think I'm that great at the game because of my gameplay? I'm glad to hear that. Level five, show it, show it, show it, show it. Oh, you dead. You dead. You dead. You dead. You dead. You opened the wrong door, bucko. Blood collected. Wait, we stunned each other. I think he stunned me at the same time. Wait, I got stunned. I didn't actually stall. Wait, what was this cook doing, man? Cook looked at someone and did nothing. They stabbed Grandpa, smart. I would've done the same. But my ability to drop him down to level one or level zero. I got it, I got it, move, 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 I got it. Oh, get that. No, you take it, all yours, all yours. That lagged out, I can't explain. She was on my right and then she somehow on my left. <laughs> I found you. Actually, he's not here, he's upstairs, he's upstairs. I heard the wrong thing. Wait, how am I still going? Oh, it crashed. Yeah? We did now. I keep my XP. <laughs> it bugged out. Okay, level two. I'm reset. Also, why is my British drink always reset? I don't get that. It's always a weird thing. Yeah, the server bugged out. I was stuck in uh, continuous rev. I couldn't get out. And I think the server was about to crash. I just quit before my XP is gone. Or if, if I can still get my XP, I'm unsure. It usually says whatever XP you have at the current time, if you leave, you keep the XP. That's what it says at least. I'm not sure if it's actually the way it is. And also, if your mates are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share that support. We just passed 100 likes on the stream. Let's try to get 200 likes. And also, join us on Discord and follow us on Twitch. Share that support. It means the world. It truly does. Helps the channel grow. That's all that matters. So we can keep making cuts for you, mates. And enjoy the time here. But Texas is a great game. I'm actually enjoying this so much. Every build we go for, everything we do, is always a blast. 
Well, now credentials have failed. Now we know we have to reset the game. Because the game be like that sometimes. Let me get a quick reset. And we're back into action. In like two seconds. It's not too bad. Have you watching a while, but it seems that the con is still fine. I'm glad to hear that. Glad to see you back. That's always the goal. Hitchhiker is my favorite moment. Yeah, Hitchhiker is great. I don't, I don't, I think all the characters in the game have like a, a good place. And I don't think I, there's like really a, like I'd make a tea list, but when I get my tea list, I'm going to be very concise to tell you about things that are good and things that are bad. But there's not really many bads. It's actually kind of balanced and feels good to a certain degree. Welcome to you, subscriber. Welcome, welcome. Also, do people know how to sprint in this game? I feel like many people don't know how to sprint. Or dash. Do people know? Because I feel like I get asked this question about how to sprint or how to move fast all the time. I'm like, what, you just press the button. I feel like many people don't know. You know what? It is spacebar. Wait, wait, it is spacebar. Sprint for PC is shift, yes. Oh my god, I thought I heard my own channel. He said bloodthirst and then he stopped. It was really trippy. Welcome to you, subscriber. Welcome. This guy's watching a whole TV show. My god, man. Yeah, LB for consoles. Okay. LB for consoles, but for PC, it's sprint for killers. And it's space for uh, survivors to move fast. At least they changed it. And my muscle memory keeps pressing space. I don't know. That's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, so it's still space to a certain degree on PC. Reality TV for real? I know. I don't know how. If you watch clips of reality TV, I can understand. But the whole, whole episodes? Nah. Please, no. Be added to this game with cool mechanics. Um, geez, cool mechanics would have to be uh, uh, possessed through a new character. So I think they could be anything. I, I anything's on the table for a game like this. If they're making a new original killers and original family members. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, victims. They can do whatever they want, and I, I think everyone will be everyone will be alright with it. There's no issue with it. But when you go to the potential of new stuff added to the game, what do I want to see to a certain degree? I think new maps. I think maps are just so important. Having more maps means more playability, but it also means that any new player that comes into the game, the tension levels are always high for at least more than 10 or 20 hours, you know? Because the first 10, 20 hours is the most tense, I would say, or the first couple matches the most tense, and after it, it starts to degrade, you know? So I would say that to increase that intensity is by having more maps, more type of family members to verse and victims to choose from, so you're always trying to test new things, and by having that, now the tension is always there to a certain degree. Like I'm like I'm using my new family. Um, I'm using a new victim player against the new family member that just came out next in three months from now. And uh, can I survive this? You know, it's like that type of vibe, and that is really interesting. I would say that's on on this on par with D, uh, DBD. Whenever I go back to DBD to play it, it's always fun versing new killers and trying to survive against them and try to understand them, mind game, whatever it may be. That's the fun part, and that's where tension is high because you're like, oh crap, what, what's actually happening here? Am I going to die instantly? And sometimes you do. That's part of the game. Uh, people are complaining about tension or not knowing stuff in the early game. I think it's actually deliberate. I think not knowing stuff means that you have a high tense game. You go into the fray not knowing anything and then you have to learn and survive. Like if you're caught in a situation of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and you see Bubba right in front of you, you got to survive. It's all instincts at that point. You respect uh, recent perk progress? No, it doesn't anymore. It did before, but not anymore. And level 10 is the max level for each character. That is correct. And 99 is the count level. They better not reset perks on uh, updates. I don't believe so. They shouldn't do that at all. 
Let's jump to the family and enjoy this as the bubble play that we are. I'm on Slaughterhouse, and I do have a build that allows for bleed. And with this build, it should give me more gavel kills, which means more XP for the family or for myself. So I'm going to try and do this and see if we can get at least one or even two gavel kills in a row in one game. I think it's possible. I've done this in many other games like Prey Times Grounds, Dead by Daylight, and I think I can do it in this game as well. When you get multiple special executions. We got this. We got this. Should be very easy. Let's rev this. It's a laggy server though. Oh, she making noise. I can see you. Wait, the Connie player from last time that team back in front of us actually get up to me so quickly. Wait to that, this player so far. Look at spawn point on gas. I see him at the door. They're not here. I see him at the door. Oh, you're dead. That's one. I didn't want to kill her. I didn't want to kill her. I could have killed her, but I'm not going to do it. She's safe. She knows it. You're not there. One, two, three. She may use the ability. I'm gonna pop another one. Oh, she didn't pop her ability. Why didn't she use her ability? I timed her ability so the damage wouldn't be enough. It's all right, she's dead. She dead. That's the first kill. What? Did I even hit the player? Did I even hit him? He didn't get any uh, information of being bleed. I heard the sounds, but no bleed. I won't count those two hits though. Let's see what happens. Yeah, the notification stuff that bleed out, bleed out. Come on. I'm watching him, I'm watching him. He jumped over again. How's he not bleeding, by the way? Yes! Yes, we did it! We did it! Oh my god! A Gallo kill in the first 10 seconds! Or the first... Oh, it's not Gallo! It's Clansman, it's Execute! Now you get back up. Come back. Um. Now you bleed. Bleed out. Go on the floor. Let me carry you. Let me carry you. Come on. I got, I got the mechanic. I understand how to do it now. Come on. Come on. Bleed out. Bleed out. Bleed out. Bleed out. Bleed out. Come on. Come on. Bleed. Bleed. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Yep. Bleed. No. He pushes me. Bleed out, man. Bleed out. Just just bleed. Oh, I'm going to do the thrust ability again. Through a door. The pathway. Come on, bleed out. He fell. He fell. Wait. In full. How's it not bleeding out, by the way? I oh, somehow lost him. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> the frustrating noises happen. Well, this is a very hard build to make work. Thought I had it. But the, it didn't go to down state. It didn't let me. I don't know. It sucks that when you put them into a down state like that, they don't actually not down um, completely. That's kind of BS. Oh, I see Connie. Sissy got the kill. Nice, Sissy. This game's already over. Yeah, this game's already over. Just Leland. They've left alive this whole time. Found him. He healed up for sure. How's he not bleeding, by the way? Bit of weather, how's this guy not dead? I don't know how he survives. Wait, he, ble he died to bleed out. <laughs> he died to bleed out. Oh my god. Okay. Well, this was a good test to understand what happens. So, I have an issue. We can't incapacitate him through using our weaponry like we did there. I don't think you can. In incapacity. He bled out, yeah? He bled. <laughs> oh god. That is hilarious. Did you join the chat? So how's the game, um, game like, gameplay wise? It's pretty fun. I enjoy it. GG man, GG. If you made it on YouTube channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with the content. Hit that like button as well. Show your support. And follow us on Twitch. Join us on Discord. All that good stuff. My God. No, I wasn't trying to torment him. I was trying to get the guy to actually go into a state where he goes down. My goal was to down people and pick them up. Like I do in like, Prey to Hunter Grounds with my self kill animations. That's what I'm trying to do here, but I can't get it to work because the game is so nuanced in the way that it works. Like, it expects you to make wait for the player to jump down a well so you pick him up. That barely happens. The timing for that is so hard to make happen, and that means Bubba has to be down the base for the whole time, which no one wants. We'll be doing Julie in a bit. I'll do one more of this, and then I might have to switch to Julie and how I build on that. Actually, I want to highlight a couple of builds on Victim. So we should switch after this, guaranteed. Game was more balanced in beta. That's because there's no perks. Perks make the game different. And depending on how long you've played the game, what level you are, it changes each match to match what it's going to be. Sometimes the CC could be very dominant, and other times the CC could be trash. Depending on what the, who's playing it, what level they are, and how they play. When you make content over Prime, I haven't made content in a while in that game. I could revisit it. Like we did with Proto Undergrounds for one video. But right now, we're going to be focusing on a Steam train towards Texas Chainsaw Massacre in all capacities. So you can keep playing it. It's going to play like Proto Undergrounds. In, a, in, in essence, in essence it does. But not really the same. Different universes, different things. But in essence, the same uh, genre. Or same experience, to say at least. Give me, ma ma uh, mates, give me a minute. I'll be back in a second. Keep asking questions, uh, questions down there. Keep chatting, and we can discuss that as a comeback.
Ah, uh, this is my build. That one there. Personal belongings linked to a missing Tulsa, Oklahoma couple were found Also, the build should be on the channel as well. It should be. Unless I've scheduled it for a different time. Let's jump into this. Jump into the action. Leatherface making them bleed. This made the worst map for it. Because it's bloody gas station. But we should make it work. Yeah, there's Discord in our chat. Uh, yeah, you put exclamation mark Discord in chat and you'll be able to see it. Well, let's get into action. I hate Connie right next to me. She's really struggled out of it. Put them over here. I was right. See, I told you. That's it. Bleed. 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 I put the uh, uh, applications on her. Come on, come on, bleed out, bleed out, bleed out. What? Yes! No! No! Fucking hell, man. I did the wrong thing. I pressed F instead of E. Oh my god, I got the build though. I know how to do it now. Oh, I got it. I got it. But I, I, oh, I'm so tilted. This would have been the game. This could have been the game. I have to do this again. I have to. It's on my mind now. I'm in the mindset to do this challenge. Bloody buttons, man. What? It shows both buttons and you just press the one that you always press first. It's a mistake. Oh, dude. I hate that. Absolutely hate that. Oh, that was good. This was me perfect gameplay too for it. You hear it too, Johnny? It's not just me, is it? I'll get it for you. I'll get it for you. Oh, I got back. I got backstabbed. I got a talking game. What the hell? I got backstabbed. <laughs> my God, there's stuff on my UI. What the hell? I have a challenge of mine, but I want to do it, and then I can say I've done it. This is something I'm going to invent. I'm going to invent this mechanic. Or this type of gameplay. I see you. I saw her, but then I lost her. Where the hell did she hide? These bushes sometimes. Oh my god. It's also her stealth is pretty good. Oh, that's a car. 
There we go. I wanted to time that, but, you know. I want to time that in the way when they run towards the chainsaw. So I'm on the other side and someone's pressuring them, then I do that. I want to see what happens there. I think it'd be fun. She's dead. Well, I know I can do this. I can do this. I'm actually powerhousing through this. If you've ever seen a bubble this crazy, be honest. Tell me in chat. If you see a bubble play, we go this crazy. Now nah, nobody's grabbing for use. Impossible. I checked it. No? Nah? Yeah, I thought so. So we're getting our stamina? You don't have to chase victims in the basement. That's Sissy? That yeah, is, yep. Chad. This guy is pretty much dead. He has no options. That valve was pumping. Wait, that valve looked like it was pumping. Wait, no, 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 no. No, let me pick up. Let me pick up. No, 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 no. You're trash, man. Then I can't hear my comps, I mute my mic, I remember. <sighs> what a thief. They saw my thief. They saw my kill. They stole it. They stole it. I'm still too strong. If you made to, uh, new to the uh, channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, show that support. Let's have some fun. Because I'm jumping to one more. I have to do one more. The build is on my mind. I can make it happen. I need to make it happen. I just need that perfect scenario when I find Connie first, so the game doesn't progress. And it has to be on Slaughterhouse. Because Slaughterhouse is when the team usually doesn't jump into the action, it's just me. What's your favorite horror film? I don't know. It's hard to choose. I was watching Freddy yesterday as well. Oh, two days from now. I watched it. Freddy. Uh, Nightmare of Elm Street. It was quite fun. It's always fun to revisit old movies. I don't know. Old horror films just have that that best feeling. When you watch it, you're like, yep, yeah, this is a good film. Some of it's corny, some of it's trash, but it's actually fun to watch compared to new films. Oh, shit. No. Gotta get it. Yeah, I'm visiting a lot of parties, by the way. I'm stacked against parties. Friday 13th can't be played anymore? I don't think anyone's playing Friday 13th. Why would anyone play when Texas is out? Like, I get it, no soldier, but I don't know. I don't think anyone's gonna be playing it. Nobody wants to use comms or party or not. Yeah, I understand. 
It's still online until uh, September. No. December, September. Have you seen the new Evil Dead? I enjoyed that. Evil Dead Rise? Yeah. That was fun. Evil Dead Rise was refreshing. Safe, but refreshing. The ending of one of the creatures, I didn't like. The way it looked. It's just like, why build it this way? But it doesn't matter. It was still a good film, and I can't wait for the future films from Evil Dead. Evil Dead Universe, I've always enjoyed. And we played the game as well. Evil Dead the game. And that was fun too. To a certain degree. That's scary for a minute. Dread that new heroes don't have. Yeah. Evil Dead Rise did have a, a fun time though. I enjoyed that one. But anything else like The Nun or something else that came out, I can't. Those movies, I can't watch them. Insidious. Honestly, Insidious lost touch. I think the first one was kind of decent. Then after that, everything got trash. We'll see. Everyone wants the Julie. Okay, I'll do Julie right after this one. I have to. This is on my mind, so I have to do this first. And my build's kind of disgusting. Johnny, uh, Johnny or Little Face? Little Face. Oh, this guy's got such an agile build. Oh my god. Ag agility through endurance. And is that the crawl space faster? That is crawl space faster at 5 or 15% because he's level 3. Then he has also uh, victim hint information. If I'm not mistaken. And then whatever core build he has, which you can't really tell from here. It's impossible. Unless they get level 3. I think that's when you can tell. Wait a couple of minutes. Oh, wait until this minute count is done, and then we'll go to the next match if we can't find it. Because this map is perfect for it, but these people look like they could be aggressive. Through the aspect of actually going down the basement. Because look at their kit. Their kit is so good. Like, well check perk, information perks, both of them, and they're party together. So you can cross uh, the information together. I'll take away my brute strength ability. Because I already got one. I'll pull it. Experience Stalker. Because this guy's taking brute strength, you see? They don't stack. So you want to kill them separate. I have to kill this player. A level 10 Connie, too, so I gotta kill it. Even Ghostface is fun, too. Have you ever, uh, ever watched the anime? Yeah, I have. The one I enjoyed the most recently was Demon Slayer. But season 3, kind of, you know, not that great. Season 1 and 2, great. Season 3, not so great. Sadly. Kind of a miss, but it's all right. Yeah, I was just as I said, Demon Slayer. That's my fave. Michael Myers all the way, even going tattooed on him? On yourself? That's crazy. <laughs> you removed your message. <laughs> Hello, he's like, oh crap, you really answered it. Remove it, remove it. <laughs> Are those the new movies? What is that? Are those all the new movies coming out sometime? I've never seen them. I've never heard about them. You got a full match going. I'm very excited for this. Oh, list of watches in October. That's pretty cool. All anime based or is it everything? Like, um... Kill stuff in as well. I don't know. Who's the kill you enjoy the most? I actually don't know. I don't know if it's Sissy or Leatherface. I can't make a choice. They're both real fun. And this build, maybe, is why I love Leatherface the most. This one build here. It would become my actual favorite. We're going to kill Connie straight away. Let's get it. So my goal with this build was to create a bleed build on Leatherface, and I think we've achieved it. Now, the secondary challenge I've placed on myself, upon myself, is to try to get Gallo kills with this. It is definitely possible. We had an instance last game where we actually made someone bleed out, and we could have got a Gallo kill in the first minute of the match, but then the buttons between E and F are so close that I pressed F instead of E, and then I executed them. So, we're trying my best to get early game Gallo kill into other kills. That is my goal. Hopefully getting two Gallo kills in this one game. Which has never been done before, from what I've seen, at all. Not even one, people can't even get one Gale kill. I've already got that, now I'm trying to get two in one game. It's gonna be kinda nuts. Let's rev this. It's a bit laggy, but we'll make this work. No information where they spawned, but I have some indicators where they could be. 
Let's go for some roaming potential. Right over there. Break this. We'll break it and move around. Let's keep going. Bad one ready. I found Anne. I want money. Not Anne. One hit. Two more. He's bleeding. Bleed again. Chest stun perk. So that's two hits on Anne. We need one more. Just one more hit. Is that stun? Full stun perk? Or just default? Full stun. That's full stun. Actually, no. I don't know. Two through that crack. Yep. Got you. You know what? She's so fast, man. Why is she so fast? That's nuts. That information is so good. She's back in the same area. Okay, bleed. Now, 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 now. Time's now, time's now. Time's now, time's now. Need to pass. Wait, she passed and I didn't see her? No move targets. The lag is getting to me. Well, that's pretty much gone. So the early game potential is already gone, sadly, for this build. Just because that victim got away. I'm too addicted to this challenge. Oh, it's only two hours and 40 minutes in. We can do this challenge again on the stream. Wait, is that her? How aren't you not dead? Now watch me hit her and then she's gonna get instantly killed. And I hate that. Yes, yes. No, yes. Oh my god, we did it. We did it. We did it. Oh my god, we did it. There we go. Early game, gallo kill. Oh, box! Wait. Oh, I thought I put it in the box a second. I was, I was tripping out. Oh my god. Okay, nice. Early game, gallo kill. The, the second kill in the game is the gallo kill. That's insane. We can get another one. We can get another one. We can actually do it. I thought we wouldn't be able to do it because she got away. But we still got her. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Charge this up. Let's find the other ones. Just do one more. One more. I just want to break two. It's open. They're not going to be here, are they? Fuse is over there. He tried to came from there, so it's safe. We well, should be safe. Johnny's coming up. Move, man, move. Fuse is safe. Door there. Is that safe? That is definitely safe. Pressure valve, pressure valve. Where did I see it last time? Does anyone know? Where did I see it last time? It's too far. Get it, Johnny. Get it, Johnny. The pressure valve. Nice. Ah, 
Ah, uh, check the footprints as well. Check the footsteps. And protect that area. Protect it, Johnny. Let's hope he does that. We'll go upstairs to hopefully catch the people that were caught off guard. Because they may want to linger there to think the pressure thing's going to open up, but it's not actually opening. Trapped. He's trapped. You think he has venom on it? He might have venom. No, he has trapper. He has trapper. No! They ruined it. Like, it's good that we got the kill, but... It wasn't him. Someone else activated pressure valve. They trapped it. Nice. I don't know if that's close enough, but it's all right. You can't hook the final kill? Wait, no, you can. You can hook the final kill. We've done last game. I have a video on it. We just did a final kill last time. But now I can hook more than one kill. But I just need to get the last one. You see footsteps, Johnny, or nah? I have a feeling the play was here. But the play wouldn't linger here. I wouldn't linger as well. I want a team when my actual team stays upstairs and I stay in the basement as long as possible. That's what I want. So they can keep feeding grandma blood and then I focus on the victims. I think he just checked his door, didn't he? Yeah, this is the best scenario. I found her, I found her! Hey, leave her, leave her, it's mine. Piss off, leave her, leave her. It's mine, don't touch her, don't touch her. I need to make her bleed, I need to carry her. I need to carry her, get away from her, get away from her. Yep, get away. I found her, don't touch her, don't touch her. I found her. Let her bleed, let her bleed, let her bleed. Don't touch, don't touch, let her bleed. Let, let, let me get it, let me get it. Let her bleed, let her bleed. I want to carry her, I want to carry her. I want to carry her, let her bleed out. Let her bleed out, let her bleed out. Oh my God, don't ruin this, don't ruin this. Don't touch her, don't touch her, let her bleed. Let her bleed out, don't touch her. Don't do it, don't you do it. Let her bleed out. Let her bleed out, let her bleed out. No. You selfish people, stop! Stop it! <laughs> stop it! Let me pick her up, let me pick her up, let me pick her up! I'm coming, 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 let me get it! Oh, let her bleed, let her bleed out again, let her bleed out again. Oh, she can't bleed again, can she? 
No. Oh, TY for letting that happen, though. Respected. She bled out. She bled out, but because the guys were all on her, I couldn't see. They ruined it. They actually ruined it. I could have got the double. I could have got the double. The double. The double. It could have happened, mates. If you mates are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button to show the support towards the channel. It means the world. It truly does. Especially moments like this when it's down to the teeth. We're trying to make something like that happen. Something so awesome. And sadly, it just falls apart. Team just being too good. I know, I'm complaining about my team being good. I know, right. <laughs> I've had the kills, though. I've had it. I've actually had the double there. That would have been a good video, too, for a double. Man, is it peak content? Yeah, I know. <laughs> my god. It's a fun challenge. It's a real fun one. I think I got this in the bag now. I've got the pattern. I was trying to understand how the developers made this. And I'm like, why does the face not have uh, saturated? Or serrated, sorry. Serrated on his perks. I'm like, why does it not have that? And it, he does have it, but it's through a different perk being rough cut. And that allows you to do what I'm trying to do right now. Which is the maybe one of the best things for longevity. I actually think this is going to be my gameplay loop when I play as Lowface. Is to go for special uh, executions like this. <laughs> Great content, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Oh god, it's a real bot. A real bot? Oh, a real bot is his name. <laughs> nice. Let's get it. This guy's mic. Should we mute the mics? Or is it too much? This mic's weird. It's like really staticky. Does, does the hooking have any gameplay purpose? Uh, Are you the bloodthirsty lord from YouTube? No, I just want to be. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. He's just ready up. I mean, I'm a fan of him as well. Yeah, me too. He seems pretty cool. I can't. He can't hear me. No. He can't hear me. Yeah, he seems pretty cool. I think he was playing like uh, what was it? What was that game? Predator game? I think. I think it was that game. Yeah, I'm also running one of his builds, which is like the Speedy Cook. Speedy Cook? No way. Yeah. I commend you. The thing is, yeah, the thing is, um, I'm not, like, I'm not level 3 yet. I'm trying to get level 3 on Scout. I'm only level 2. It's not bad. You got this. You got this. I trust in you. And I think Bloodthirsty Lord trusts in you as well. You got this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'll make them bleed. Let's make them bleed now. The bleed build. The special kills, let's make it happen. I think I encountered a real bot this time. <laughs> yes, no clue. In one of the rooms, there's a piano, and next to that piano is a. Um, Toilet? Is an ex in the piano room, where there's a piano and there's a skeleton, there's an exit there. You want to keep an eye on that? Okay, I shall, I shall. Thank you. I'm still brand new to this game, so I'm still learning. <laughs> he has no clue. He actually I has no clue. Life stuff off experience and videos, but other YouTubers. Ah, uh, from Lordy. Yeah, some of the time. Nice. Sometimes odds Darva. Odds Darva, not not too bad. Guys, yeah, two. We need one more, one more. Three. Now bleed, 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 bleed. Bleed. Makes sense. Bleed! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm trying to get my clothes okay. Never mind. It's alright. Come on, bleed. Yeah, everyone's running. She went right. To it right side. Is right safe? Right safe, completely safe. No, she got out.
What? She got out of my loop! Downstairs. Yep. So downstairs, near one of the doors, and one in the pantry. The one at the pantry has footsteps. Okay, yeah, thank you. I can barely hear him because the mic's going crazy right now. With the chainsaw, the headset. Oh, yes, dude, I... Julie, Julie, Julie's heading back in the basement. Nice. Oh, I'm just gonna end up killing. Left base on you, Joe. Yeah, right next to you, right next to Opening here. Yeah, open that, open that. You see where Anne is? Anne was bleeding. Can yeah, you show yeah. me where she is? Yeah, um. Um. I'm chasing after Julie and. She, well, first of all, I don't even know. I found her, I found her. It's alright, I found her, I found her. Yeah, I also found Julie. Oh, I got one. I didn't mean to kill her. I think it was my grab kill. I just lost it. I see Leland. Yeah, I'll be there. Nice they work, nice mix, work. So when the cool climate, someone can see them. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. At level three? Wait. Yeah, I'm waiting. I don't know where he is. Sorry, we'll find him. Follow me. Show me. Follow you, me. You go that way or go the other way? I'll see you. I see, I see, I got him. Yeah, yeah. I'm stuck. Ouch. How rude. He front stabbed me. But it was a backstab. I didn't get it. It was a backstab, but th from the front. I see Julie. I see Julie. She's crouching in the ice cream. Okay. Or near the ice cream. This, uh, Leland speed. Latch Dawn. Oh. He's right there. Did he bled out? She's at the red room. She's at the red room. No, not the red room. At oh, where the other door is. Yep, thank you. I found her. You can now get to your Now carry, 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 carry. Found her. Carry, carry, carry. Nice, good work. How's it not bleeding out? Can you talk about this? Well, nice. She was over the pallet. Not over the pallet, the block. But she was over the Very nice. I, I, I found Leland. Like, out of the last second. Yeah, wait, wait, where do you see Leland? You show me? I'm um, user focus. Yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't find direction. him. Yeah. yeah, show me, show me where he is. I can't find him at all. I'm like, absolutely I'm lost here. I'm second him out. Yeah, I, th I, think, I think I can hear him. I can't see him, though. Good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, try to hear his location and try and see where the chainsaw is at the same time. Tell me if you can find the area. Oh, yeah, I can't find him. He's over here. Oh, get him, get him. You got it. No, I don't. Oh, close, close, close. I'm going to close this vent. Wait, did he bleed out? No, you bled out. He, had, he was bleeding out. You were bleeding out. No. I found him. Get him, get him. It's all yours. He's going for the crawl space. Wait, wait, which crawl space? I can't see. Red room. Red room. <laughs> He's right at me. You got him. It's all yours. I have him. Yeah, there we go. The best cook, eh? Yep. Hey, she said hi to YouTube, by the way. Yeah, he's pretty strong when you have the right height. Uh, I know, but you should say hi to YouTube. I'm just to be honest. <laughs> you know, you know it's me, yeah. 
Well done, guys. Yeah, GG. Yeah, you too. Keen, it was me. It's actually me, Keen. What? It's me. Oh. Yeah. Wait, you like the to yeah. Go? Say hi to the stream. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't recognize I would actually be a part in this. You well? You are. You do very well. GGs. Yeah. Wait. Is this gonna be posted on YouTube? Uh, or is this just, um, you have to ask the chat. You have to ask the chat. Can this be on YouTube? Chat, what do you think, chat? Can it be on YouTube? Most likely it's a good chance. We'll have to find out. Chat's going to answer in a bit. <laughs> GG, though. Well, GG. Yeah, GG. Talk to you another time in my life. Bye. Hopefully. See ya. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye-bye. Legend! <laughs> That was funny. He had no clue until the end. Until the very end. Even though I kept telling him, like, hey, look, just say hi to YouTube. He had no clue. Obviously, I had a different build in my mind uh, trying to achieve, but you know, it was funny to encounter a subscriber. That also watches Ots as well. It was crazy stuff. Crazy. That was very wholesome, I'll be honest. I can't believe my voice didn't give it away. Is it, did, did anyone, like, think that? Post it, post it, yeah, I shall. Uh, yeah, did anyone think my voice would give it away? I feel like my voice gives it away. Oh, I really like this build. Damn it. I think I got one more, one more love face. I can do that love, love face. It's only three hours left. Like we're only three hours in the stream, so I got more time. I used to stream for eight hours. How many invalid errors do you get? A lot, actually, a lot. So does Hooky have any gameplay purpose? Sorry if I'm annoying. Ask, you asked it again, but it's all right. The gameplay purpose is just, it's just cool, you know. And you get more XP. I believe there's XP for gallo kills. That's the only thing that you get out of it. Also, if you made our new channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up to the content and hit that like button. Show that support. Truly appreciated. It was supposed to be truly said. I know, I know. My my goal is to like I'll do Julie for like four hours straight after. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Fuck man! <laughs> oh god! I, 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 oh shit! I'm playing the character. I'm playing the character. <laughs> I can't hear what's going on in the chat. I'm just <laughs> sorry at that point of the day when I'm just saying stuff without thinking. Jesus. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll just go to the next one. What happens if you don't hook the survivors in time? Do they just die on your arms? I think so. I was trying to think. I haven't seen it happen, but I, I actually think it's just bleed out, or they somehow get another chance to escape for a set duration before they bleed out completely. It's one or the other, but I think bleed out's most uh, uh, possible way. Because it's pretty much a guaranteed kill when you got him carried. It's guaranteed. I also think carrying uh, enemies from lockers and such should result in a kill. Or result in a like a short carry animation. So if you're close to a locker that's close to a hook, you can get the hook uh, kill if you want to. As the rewards plays for finding plays in safety spots like that. You know? I think that'd be quite fun. What the hell? Why am I swapping for the cook? Gimme, gimme. Thank you. Legend. Oh, we didn't lose that. We didn't have damage before because you used this. Oh, who cares? I'll just run this. Basement Bubba is the name of this character. Can't 
our release build. That's a nice title to hit all the Toxic Bubba. We should do a Toxic series in this game. What, what, what do you classify as Toxic in this game? Mates in the chat, tell me in the chat. What is Toxic in Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Is it just teabagging? Or do you think something else? Because that, to me, is barely any toxicity. We ran into Hacker yet? I ran into one yesterday on stream. In one of the end of our videos. It was like a movement speed hacker. I went into another uh, match off stream yesterday. And I went to the match. I was out playing someone as uh, Leland. And then out of nowhere, I my body dismorphs and dies. And I instantly die on spot. Like, I just... Like, there was no hit animations or anything. I ran away. I stunned the player, ran away. And then after a set duration of running away, I look at my body. And then out of nowhere, it... Becomes like a Vecna uh, death sequence, and I just die, get spread apart, and then that's it. I was like, what is going on here? So it seems to be a hacker that is able to go into lobbies and just kill you automatically. You can carry someone over and over until they rage quit? Yeah. The thing is, I don't know if you can carry more than once. We actually don't know. Like, you can carry the same victim after you've carried them already. Because I feel like once that state of being carried is now obsolete, now it becomes a bleed state. Because when they're on the floor, on the floor, you have a chance to execute, get guaranteed kill, carry to take to hook, and if they were on the floor and they presumably get up, they can get up back to a certain pay, uh, amount of HP and dis disappear. It's a bit of a weird one. Team bagging or team stabbing one family member. Oh, so just attack one family member all game. So that's more of a victim versus family, and victim team bagging, not really something I could do as family, except uh, if I play hitchhiker or sissy to team bag. I remember Ambush, I remember. That was funny. Who's your favorite victim? I enjoy all of them. I, I, the only one I don't enjoy as much is Connie. Just because uh, her thing is like, it's too overrated. I think it's too overrated. Like, she's good, yeah, but oh my god, she's so annoying. It's like, if you know there's Connie on your team, on your team or on the enemy team, you already know what they're going to do. There's nothing else they're going to do. Cooking hitch, uh, Hitchhiker Meta? Yeah. Honestly, right now it's a bit of a weird one. I would say Sissy and... Cook and... Uh, sorry, Cook and Hitchhiker is good for future meta. Right now, it's Sissy and Hitchhiker. Just because of how much potency they've got in their damage output. And their setup potential. Play Victim next. I think I'm going to play two matches. At, so when we get th around 3,000 and a half within the stream so right at that point i will go to victim and we switch over because i then i give up with this build until tomorrow or another day of testing but i have something here that's going to lead to some crazy builds in the game so i might actually respect my other character if i have to actually i could respect this it's not too hard Does Connie is built to wake up Grandpa? No, until she opens the door. That's when he wakes up Grandpa. I don't think he should. Let's jump into this. And get to the action. We're going to try and make these enemies bleed out and put them on the hooks like he has right there. Our little face is going to go nuts. I'm going to try and get two gallow kills or two hook kills in this game. And it should be easily done. Now the lag is the only thing in the server. I can feel it already. Try to choose which direction I want to go. There's two spawn points I go to. Well, they're making noise, but I don't see him. So they must have opened a door already. I found one. Found an M2. Okay, we got, we got possibilities here. So one strike Connie, we need two more from Connie. One. 
Vamos, vamos, vamos. That's it, bleed, 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 bleed. Bleed, bleed. Come on. I'm watching you. Come on. You gotta bleed out. You gotta bleed out. You have to bleed. You're taking damage either way. Oh, angry quit. Oh, want some play quit. I don't know if they die or just rage quit. Oh, the Connie rage quit. Oh. Well, this still counts. So I don't give. I don't give a crap. Would it bleed out? Does anyone know if that bleeds out? Are they AFK like that? I worked hard for it. So better bleed. It looks like it's better bleed. I'm gonna wait for it. I worked so hard for that kill. And I put them in a nook. Oh my god. Please bleed out. Please. Come on. It better be bleed out. I swear, if it's not bleed out after a rage quit, I'm so tilted. That's not fair. I, I actually made the play bleed as well with my build. I'm actually gonna wait for this. I wanna time this, see if it actually happens or bots. Don't blame them. After seeing what happened, yeah. She better bleed out. I don't think she is though. When the other exit survives quite annoying. Yeah. How freaky is that? We see the face for like a single frame on the face. She's not gonna bleed out, is she? Yeah, I don't think she's bleeding after DC. I want, I want to test it though. I she played smart. She ruined my whole build. It looks like she's about to bleed out, but it looks like it doesn't persist. I don't get it. I have to kill her. She, she's not bleeding out. Those three strikes would have made her bleed out. But she looks like she's hunching over more. Am I tripping? She hunching over more? I think she's about to bleed out. Nah, maybe not. Well, doesn't look like this is going to work. Unfortunate. Wait, does the blood refresh? Wait, what? She somehow gained more HP when being idle. Yeah, getting Gal kills very often is very hard. That's what I think is a challenge. A challenge I will do. He's having Grandpa. Really? We're out of here. trying to tell me to break that. <laughs> That's hilarious. No, I believe I uh, believe you about the bleed aspects. 100%. Oh, Great grandpa? It's one of these games. Oh. That's Anne. But Leland's somewhere as well.
Oh wait, he doesn't even know? He pointed that way, but I don't think it is. Wait. The blood's here, but there's no trail. Yeah, I can't see the trail. Nah, nothing. Never mind. Why'd you go there? Sir. Oh, on me. There's one on me. In the basement. She's stuck in the corner. You will come help. Come help. The last one's on me. I lost her. No way. When did she go past me? I don't get it. There's no way she went past me, but let it be. Fair victim? Uh, it might be Leland, because he's just his standard ability being so fun to use. For more aggressive play. I'm ready for the next game already. There's another Gallo kill here, too. Who's Blood Hunt? Yeah, it's been a while. Now the game's gone. I'm leaving all the doors open. Just let them pass. I have an issue. Why are you stabbing Grandpa? Just leave. You can just leave. You're free. She jumped in the well, didn't she? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that? The cook didn't open that. That would have been real quick. Interesting. I don't see it. Oh my god, I just want this game to end, so go to the next one. Starting season and hitchhiker also make uh, for easy escapes? Of course. That is 100% correct. Starting anyone makes it for easy escapes. We start love face, uh, most, of course, I'll go for it anytime. It's one of those things. Honestly, she could be anywhere, and it's the impossible to see it right now. Like, I'm leaving the areas open. To just catch her off guard. Because the car battery's on. So it's not even an issue.
No, we're playing solo, Sally, at the moment. Oh, I don't know why she, what she's doing. She just here to stay, like stall out the game. She's been at 2,000 XP for pretty much nothing. So it feels like. I don't know what she's done. Also, the iframes in this game make it impossible for my bleed build as well. Like, actually, to get the character animations. Because I can bleed across the other side and then I can't get the animation. The only exit she can open is pressure valve. Without us knowing. Mm. Yeah, we had a lot of fun with Blood Hunt, but sadly, just wasn't happening. Nothing was happening there. No development in any capacity. So good concept, bad execution. The longevity. How's this player not having a heart attack yet? I found it. Oh no, that was toolbox, never mind. Yeah, but her ability lasts like 11 seconds at level 3, but she's nowhere she's a level 3 player. And even then, if it's bleed out, bleed out kills you still, unless she runs a bleed out prevention build. With that, it only gives her 20 seconds, even with two medical supplies in her hand. A little bit more, depending on what large pots she's got. So it might be up to a minute with large um, healing pots or bottles. Most of you follow on Twitch, welcome, welcome. If you may have any questions, ask away in the chat. I'll try to help out as much as possible. It makes you enjoy our bubble gameplay though, I could, I could sense that. I love our bubble, uh, bubble gameplay. What is this? This place is completely safe. Oh! Oh, hello! You were there, little bugger. Get out of my game. You iframe person. Even know how to use iframes properly. Unfortunate. GG's, GG's. Hey kid, how you going? It's saved, it'll be up soon in the video as well. I'm glad you're here. Hope you enjoy the content. Yeah, Sonny is great too. Great characters, great characters. Okay, let's jump into the next one. I'm gonna try and do another low face one. And I, I'm like really close on the cusp of actually making this build work and make it a very prominent build and playstyle. But then things like that, like Connie rage quitting, doesn't really help me. It puts me in a place where I can't do that. And the worst part about this, she made more XP than I did, even though I did more than her. All she had to do was just waste time. That's all it was. If you mates are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with the content. Hit the like button as well. Show the support. Follow us on Twitch. Join our Discord. Be part of the community. It's greatly appreciated. Do you think this game will live up to DVD status or be more short-lived? I think this will be a different departure from DVD. I don't think it's similar in that aspect. I think this is a start for a 3v4 genre. Like, we have this game now, which is maybe the 
going to be the most prominent figure in 3v4, Asymmetric Horror. And then you have the possibility of Killer Clowns being the same similar style at 3v7. So having multiple killers against multiple survivors will become a thing. And this starts from this game. And if the game does well, which it is, it will just continue. Oh, this error. I hate this error. Let me fix this. We'll continue with other games. Yeah, the universe is captured ready within the base game. So they've already achieved that. That's just all about keeping longevity for players to be retained and enjoy the experience. Does the game have levels uh, through what? Like level experience? If so, your account level goes up to 99. And if each character goes up to level 10, that's max level. Had a lot of fun with you. Love the time we um the time we had. I like called the Leland. Glad it was it was perfect. I was trolling by the way. <laughs> Keen, I was trolling by the way. If you watch the video the video after, it was actually hilarious. And can we also stream on YouTube so they can see your chat on the screen too? From Twitch to YouTube. It, we see it everywhere. Character levels go up to level 10. That's for sure. Level 10 is max. Also known as the cook. I love to hear it. I'm glad you're using the speedy cook build. And you actually enjoy it. It was good to hear. The mates are using the build and enjoying it. Do you think it's good to keep res uh, respecting? Uh, yes. Well, the idea of that, you can actually just keep experimenting. Until you find something you like. Then you fixate on it. And then you upgrade it. To max capability. First of all, test everything at low the lowest level. And then from there, it goes to the highest, highest level. on whatever you like. So it's the smartest thing to do. Because being fixed to a playstyle and not liking the playstyle after like three or four hours, and you feel like you're just grinding the game for no reason, that's not fun. So respec, find a new build, find something enjoyable, and then keep that if you find something great. Level three and everything. Oh my god. Here's a similar build to me, but without um without my seven build. <clears throat> He's using that damage build aspect. It's not bad. I think level three is instant. He has to have instant as level 3. But I can't play this. The Sissy Skill Tree Braids, uh, it's actually on the channel. We have too many Sissy Skill Trees. So I have actually respected completely. It's back to zero now. We've made like six different builds of Sissy. There's too many build uh, variety on that character. Game of the Year, that's maybe not something I want to talk about right now. I don't, I've got no clue. What's going to be game of the year? we still got Armor Core 6 that comes out in a couple days. That could beat it and become a, uh, um, game of the year easily. Uh, this this month, next month, the next month after it, it's just so many games coming out. In different genres too. So you can always pick a game and just have fun with it. Yeah, if you see, the only time you shouldn't respect if you're perk... And perks that you got on that character were random perks, which make it hard to become accessible, then yes, I can understand. Well, everyone's running a similar build on Bubba. I like this. All the high level plays, too. It's a similar build, in essence. This game is better than Predator Hunter Grounds? Yeah. I see longevity behind this game compared to Predator Hunter Grounds. What's the main uh, like one I like the most? I think Rubber Legs is a nice one. Rubber Legs into Spore Loser even is a fun one. You run that and then you get a bit of everything. Or you run Serrated, which is the middle one. And you can get from there, I believe you can still get Spore Loser from Serrated. You get uh, Serrated into Spore Loser or Rubber Legs or Linger into Spore Loser. Or you go for the other build, which is Herbalist. Maybe Herbalist is a good build for late game. Like, that's meta. But right now, early game stuff, maybe not many people would want to play that build. Oh, dude, man. Come on. I switched to it last second. And I just missed it. <laughs> like, um, finally in my life, talk to a famous streamer. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> yeah, it's the title. 
That's the title of the video, by the way. Talks to a famous streamer? Done. That's the title. Perfect. We'll keep it the title somewhere for that video. I'm glad you're happy. It was a fun time. I thought my accent and my voice would give it away that you knew it was me, but yeah, no clue. I was surprised. I like, guess this is gonna work. This is content. <laughs> oh, Keynes is back. <laughs> but I gotta play Bella. Oh, shit. Well, it's happening. You somehow stream sniping, you little buddy. Oh, my God. What a bugger. He stream sniped me. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Unless it's Kings 21, not 12. <laughs> Imagine it's like a different one. Just different Bro, digits. I didn't expect that. Oh Hell God. yeah. Oh, where's my chat? It's not I working. I not expect that. Oh, my chat's working now. Yeah, I can hear you. Welcome to you, subscribe, by the way. Also, if you listen to the stream, you might want to mute my stream. <laughs> There's one echo. Thank you. Okay, let's jump into this. Let's have some fun. I'm going for a bleed build, okay? So I'm trying to make them bleed and carry them to hooks. That's my goal. Bro, I forgot to put on the cork. That's unfortunate. That's alright. Hope I can get this animation going because I really want this to be done here. So what we're going to try to do with the objective is to make them bleed at all costs, carry them to these hooks and kill them. If we can get two hooks in one game, we know this build is more applicable than any other build for making people bleed out in this special execution style. So let's make this work. Instantly rev. They're making noise. But don't come to the basement. Let me hold basement. Hold upstairs. Make sure it's all safe. Yeah. That quick? Yep. I see him doing it. I want the basement to be mine. I don't want anyone to get you. Different. But uh, I thought that um, when you get with one person, you only can stay with them once for like a month. Or three months. No, no. Did you go down? Went through the gap again? This guy's so annoying. He's wasted so much time. We got it. We got one. Um, I gotta get the guarantee. In that, um, Go for it. Connie's low, but don't kill her. Do you see her? I'm going to generate and set up the new trap at the secret exit. Go for it. They're so low and I can't see him. I'm so annoyed. They have so much safety nets. This bloody uh, basement sucks. Yeah, I got two of them bleeding, but don't touch them. Connie and Anna bleeding heavily. Okay. And they're teabagging too. They're teabagging. This could be it. I just need to make sure they bleed. Seriously, I have to br break the barricades. Bro, it's just so unexpected that we joined each other again. Alright, oh, it's perfect. We got three strikes here. Um, wait, have you made a video like like max damage hitchhiker? I think so, yeah. That was quite fun. Julie's right at me. Yeah, hit her. She's she can hit her. Unless she dies, I'm not sure. Okay, stop with the hit Oh no. Too many hitting, too many hitting. Nice. No, I didn't want that. Yeah, <laughs> he's saying nice, I didn't want that. I wanted the kills. Yeah, I don't think I can do my blade build this game. We're gonna do this another time. Only go to Grandpa. Yeah, Vert. You coming as well or are you staying in the basement? Ah, uh, I'll be coming up. Alright. 
Yeah, play victim off this. Question, can the hitchhiker reset its traps after it's been disarmed? Yes, you can. Definitely. Just go back to it. I think you press F or E, one of them, and it works. Oh, yeah, I'm on the station. Oh, the whatever button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all cool. Is that carry worthy? Nice. Nice and easy. Very unfortunate room. I'm gonna go check one of the um, one of my traps. Go for it. Should be easy to win this though. It's like really an easy win. I don't see us losing this. Unless there's someone open something without us realizing. Someone's near me, I heard noise. I hear some too. Was that upstairs, that noise I was hearing? I don't know. I can't see him. I don't know why Sissy's in the basement. Uh, I've got no clue why. Yeah, no one has um, fiddled with the gates yet. Perfect. And the DLC in this game will be interesting. Just to what capability brings and what uh, shift in the meta happens as well. He's focused. Oh, where is he? I don't know. That's alright. I thought he was playing Cook again. I, I like, had a weird deja vu moment. I thought he was playing Cook. Someone. She's, in very, she's going very fast. In the basement or up top? I don't know. Um, no, um, no, at the rear exit. Someone will lock out the rear exit. Okay. So I went to the rear exit. Basement exit open. Oh no. Um, the best thing to do is just stand right up next to the door. That'll do it now. Done. You're just getting there in time. Bad part. Got the person that opened it. Connie's in the basement. Oh no, she might get out. Is this way, I think, yeah? yeah I, I can't she, open it. She, uh, down a well. Damn. Outside. Unlucky. Well, unfortunately, this is where we part. It's alright. No issue. GG's though. It was fun. Fun? That was fun time. That was fun time. Pardon? Oh, that was a fun time, I said. I said GG. Yeah. Yeah. I had a very fun time. Glad to hear that. Well, yeah, well, talk to you another time in my life. Yeah, <laughs> next match. <laughs> and, and a couple of times I might talk in the stream. In your oh, that's no issue. Next. Yeah, of course, go for it. Yep. That's no issue. Chai Wei. Yeah, alright. See you next time, man. Bye bye. Yep. That was fun. Let me go play some uh, victims now. Sadly, this build, I don't want to lose it, but I know what the build is off the heart. Just this perk. Was this a random perk? Does anyone know? It was random. I don't think it was fixed. I know these two were fixed. This is random, which is the sad part. But we'll know about the build already. So I can reset this. Okay, reset. I could make the build work. It just it needs to be a certain situation. Hey, Keen, how you going? Just in the chat though. That was fun. Now let me try and get this build going full. Julie, I think. What kind of tab? There we go. Well, oh, that works. Potential skill tree. Just lock picking like uh, Connie, to a certain degree. Isn't proficiency in self a better category for lockpicking? Did you just do everything with making no noise at all? Did wait.
when you once you learn the spawns of victims on maps, rotating as uh, little face is very easy. And you can put pressure when you need to as well. There's a lot of attribute points here. That's nuts. So I heard yesterday, I made a video about Overlooked on the Sunny build. And people say on Julie, it doesn't work. Which is unfortunate if that's the case. I was consuming an item. Oh, I should have saved me as Ann. Nice. Stinky P. Choose fight. Okay. Try to see all the perks in the game. There's a shadow build for these type of characters, but I don't think it's going to be that prominent. It's more of like a fun meme build. Keep unlocking. If you guys have any questions, just ask me in chat. I'll be able to answer them. I do want to run this build at one point. It's so interesting. Because it's the only one that... Ooh... That left... Was that random? I might use this build. I might do a full stealth build right now. It's really nice. Some good builds here. Some very good builds. I'm trying to think about it. Why don't you follow Switch? Welcome, welcome. Okay. From here. From there. Reroll. We'll be up here. Ready detection. Oh, it wasn't overlooked, was it? It was this ability. It was rated detector. That was the one I was talking about. Where I was using on Sunny. Oh, I did wait. It's not good. You know the exit locations on all maps? Or, no, I know the all off part. They don't change. They're all fixed. It's just how to get to those exit locations are different. In certain aspects with the fixed um, exits. She has a similar build to the other character through this aspect here. I kind of like this. No way, what is this build? Wait, what's the other one? There's another perk. Was it just this? I think it was just this. There was another one I was reading. Oh, it's not, not the trigger. Hmm, what perks does she have? Let's see. Oh, it's going to show all the perks. No, no, I can't do it like this. I have to sh double check the sc uh, skill tree. There's something here, but I think they're random. Second wind is kind of shitty. That's kind of shitty. This works by back, but it's kind of all right. The latching ability is kind of funny for certain builds. Bomb squad is kind of decent. Condition is obviously good. Cover charge is also, I think, pretty good. 
for a hiding spot build. Highly skilled, all right. This is decent. I, I'm trying to think of when to use this. And it's like more of like a sprint burst in like other games. There is a shadow build here though. Shadow builds with movement speed. If I went this way, could I, I couldn't ha have hit that. There's no way. I can't go from here, that way, this way. There's no way. If I can, I'll double check into it. But there's no chance. And if I did, I would lose this. This is one of the other. I can't see a build be better here. Except for this one. This one's the most unique and most enjoyable. Like, Slippery is good. But this, like this part here... We can use a lot of perks, and then it actually helps us. And majority of them are fixed. They're not actually different perks. They're fixed perks. Which is quite interesting. I'm going to keep it like this. So we've got Intel perk. We've got uh, triggering this. will give us movement speed through chickens and bone charms. And there's always going to be chicken and bone charms somewhere to trigger. And we have a chance to play this perk here, actually. This is the only perk because this is now creating some issues. Because all noise generated when it interacts with the crawl space or while gathering items will be completely... Oh... Oh, I don't know. That'll happen in the early game too, so we lose our charges in the early game. Ah, uh, that's a bit annoying. If you could deliberately use this at a certain point of the game, so play stealth-like and then make a lot of noise, then yes. I don't know. It might be the case though. That might be it. Well, I'm, I'm, what I'm um, actually talking about is actually true. I'll keep it. This might be a better build. Promise your proficiency sucks. So we increase proficiency to like 40 and then bring this up to 40. And our last ability is maybe the best. Actually, not the last ability. You don't use this, use this. You go like this. It's exact that way. Okay. Not bad. That's maybe the build. Make some chat. What do you think? Good build, bad build? I'd love to know. Is Julie the worst? I don't think so. Can perks from other tree paths appeal on random perks? No. Once it's selected on a tree path, it's fixed. I believe that's how it works. I've never seen a, a perk from another tree path on the same character. Be available through a random perk. Can't be playing Power Room remakes for that many years. It's possible. Maybe something we can revisit in the future, though. For, like, videos of, of such. But this is the best build she has. I mean, like, looking at the perks. Like, you look at everything. It's also bad. What, what, what would be good for you in that aspect? Because there's no perk here that actually works together well. Like, if you see Lock, it's like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll use that. Why run on her? Run Connie. Second Wind is not worth it. That's not worth it. Because you, you have to avoid damage. Ran, this one, it sucks. Fight Back is kind of decent, but not that great. Dead Bolt, I actually think, is much greater than people think. So I say it's good. I don't say it's bad. Bomb Squad is decent. Cover Charge is decent. Condition is good. Slippery is good, but this connection here can only happen from the middle strand where you get conditioned and slippery. So you, you're full running, but I'm not doing a full running build right now. So it doesn't even matter. Then this part here is all right. Cover recovery is all right. Sneaky Pete's all right. This is all right. This is interesting, but it's really weird because it's more for end game than early game. There's a, there is a uh, close encounter build here to a certain degree. But if you want a close counter build, do you want to play on this character? It's your choice, you know? Depends. When I mean, you play on a, a tanky character, they can uh, sustain more damage. And then fish, fish hooks are like, alright. I actually think uh, fish hooks is nice, but this doesn't connect to it. You would want a connection there, or re-roll a perk here, that is the backstab perk. If you see backstabber. Which then would make this perk insane. But if you don't get that, it doesn't really help. 
And these are all random perks. Jack in the Box is interesting, but it's only based on taking less damage from hiding spots. So depending how the game classifies a hiding spot, if it's stealth through not getting hit, it involves remaining crouch, or is it based on being in the darkness? So we haven't tested that. We have to test it after. But these, those perks I just mentioned work way better than all of them. Unless there's something here, which I think there isn't, because it doesn't connect to anything above it. It's just more attributes and random perks. That's why. I think that's the best build. Hey, uh, I'm Leon. How you doing? On Twitch. Wrong button. Bad habit. We strike to the family straight away. Wait for it to reset. There we go. Victims. Open the rest of the tree. There's nothing else. There's only one random perk. I'll save it. And if it ends up not being the best build, we just update the titles. There's, no, there's like nothing else. Might be a connection point. To what? There was no connection. There's no connection, see? Usually a connection point stands by this marker here. It shows you like the tree symbols. And these tree symbols don't connect to anything else. How this seems to it. There's no way it can. Actually, there might be, but I'm unsure. Of course, bro. I don't want to be the nigga. Whoa. 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 Let's do that. The spot you missed on the left? Wait, did I miss something on the left? Wait, there's nothing on the far left. It's just here. And there's no way there's a better perk. I don't think there is a connection there. Because these ones are all show connections. They're just how the game works. Should I reset it? I feel like resetting now with a good build is a bit annoying. This build's really nice. I think this is a really good build. Like, why would I sacrifice it? Did we get in game with me? It's possible. You ran those stumble across us. We've been playing the game a lot. And as soon as I open, I approach the world wide, so you never know. Oh, this Leland build's a bit annoying. That's hilarious. Versus that will make people cry. The last part there is kinda sucks. This is that door perk. I actually want to run it. If I end up being wrong, I'll double check into it. But I think I'm right. This is one of the best builds, I think, for her. She's got movement and she's got everything. It's like so good. So, you mean Julie, do you use her ability early? I think you have to use your ability early game. Like when you're about against her chase, you just pop it off. For the next like seconds, you're pretty much good. Yeah, I'm being pretty good. My day's going awesome. So, jump to this. We're playing as Julie. Long recommended for us to play this character and highlight our best build on the character. And went through all the skill tree paths. And I think this may be it. It's a very interesting one. Mix of a sunny build plus some other characters put together to make a crazy Julie build with her perk. And her perk is to increase uh, stamina usage so she's able to just keep moving around or not lose as much of her stamina as she's running around. It's really nice. So, let's get out of here. We have three charges on one of our abilities. We'll stop any noise in the game from occurring. I'm going to test that out. Because I think it's really great. As you see. But also with stealth and also the other mechanics we have. We can do this for a long time. Stealth and proficiency. So it's been maxed up pretty much. We're pretty much good. If we run through a throne shrine like this. Our perk will activate. You guys increase movement speed. Really nice. Can only be treated once every time, and then 
You have to hit another burn charm. He's breaking stuff. I should get out of this area. Okay, let's regain some of the stamina. Double check where this unlock tool is. It's one of you, I think. Did they open it already? Oh, she's about to open it. Well, we didn't need to get another one. Wait, should he stuff it up? Or was it already open? Hey, nice work. She's just farming more. Blue farm. Everyone's on the same page, which is really nice. And we get another unlock tool. Actually, I don't even need. Oh, I need one unlock tool only. I only need one. Maybe through here. But see how the noise. A perk, I haven't used it at all yet, so I can use it when I need to. to make as much noise as I want. Uh, let me figure out where I want to go. There's, where's that lockbox? It should be in here. It actually not spawned the right spot. That's really weird. It's in the back of here, then. We want to go back. If you watch my streams more than actually playing the game, I'm glad to hear that. That means the world. It really does. Yeah, we found the lock. Now, let's see if we sell proficiency. I can do this easily, and the bar won't even go up. So my character is completely silent. She also has tracking immunity. So if you're versing a cook, which we are, and a Johnny, which we are, they can't track us. They cannot see our location at all through their abilities. So I've counted two players on the enemy team from my single ability, or my single component of my character's kit. That's crazy. Let's get up from here. I should have only kept one unlock tool, but I just farmed more just because why the hell not? Got a fuse. Now keep running. I'm pretty much safe here. You can't do anything. But that, that person can. Oh shit! I'm dead. I'm dead. I, I didn't think about my stamina. Yeah, take the hints for me. Thank you. I didn't think about my stamina. Are we honest? I didn't think about it. I didn't think about that part. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. First warm up. First warm up. From playing family to victim, it's warm up. Also, I didn't hear Johnny. Does Johnny have a smaller proximity radius compared to all other family members? He has the smallest one, I think. He has to have the smallest one. You cannot hear the bastard. He comes out of a corner and just like, oh, crap, I'm going to die now. You just have to accept it. You guys haven't got the basement. All, all, all the kills keep going down there. Almost right away. Yeah, it happens. It does happen. Get worth buying. And is it on PS5? It's on PS5 and it is worth buying. There, there is a couple of server issues. So that's the only issue I have with the game currently. Other than that, the gameplay itself is worth it. Yeah, Johnny's the most quiet, yeah? Does anyone have numbers on that? Like, he has no, like, um, proximity, proximity radius at all. Like, I can't hear it. And when he's up close and personal, that's when you die usually. Oh, this is going to be a fun game. Look at this. I like seeing this. Look. Everyone, everyone's perks are busted on Victim. Love to see it. Love to see that. That's great. I think it works. Oh, we need the experience build. Yeah, i got to do that too. Technically, it's just on Connie, but this works the exact same way. It actually does. I don't think there's a there's no an individual perk that gives you that, but we'll do two individual gameplays to highlight it. Might like nice my full process. Bo Booba blood. Say say Booba. Six. Whoa. Surfs, Whoa. Chill, yeah. Easy service, blood. Easy service. Yes. Ten out of ten. Check build Booba blood. It's my own build, nahoy. It's easy. Uh, minus four. Okay. I, I, Come on, baby. Okay, I'll be there. <laughs> I got no clue what it just happened there. <laughs> so, the build's quite interesting. We have ultimate escape be our main perk. And a proficiency itself being pretty high up. This guy in the background is hilarious. We have 40 each. So, it's a lot of um, potential just to do everything in the game really quickly. Then, fuse lights will give us information when we capture. Um, the fuse and put it to your fuse box. Give us 10 seconds of information for all family members. Kind of nutty. But all the other two perks we have here are jump scare. When you go past chickens or 
Bone uh, Shrine, so we get 10% increased move speed. And with our character, she moves a lot, so that's really great. And alongside that, we have Must Have Been, win must have been the Wind, which essentially is three charges to make Come no on, noise man. at all through those informations. Already up! Jeez! My god, this guy! I'm trying to explain the build! I didn't even show my skill tree! <laughs> I might have to explain it again at the very end. Might, might be better that way. You can't re-roll for unique per uh, perks. It's impossible. I said impossible. This guy, that sissy play was so weird. Let's go, let's go. We got this. Absolutely got this. So this build on Julie is quite interesting. A lot of stealth care abilities. Uh, negating sound to a certain degree. Get information when holding a fuse into the fuse box and cleaning that. And having a bit of move speed through triggering certain events like hitting bone shrines or getting close to. Oh my god, look how cool this is. Like I spam this button and it barely goes up and ready out. That's crazy. And get move speed through bone shrines and chickens up to 10%. And her ability gives a lot of movement speed as well. When you activate it, you just run for longer. You just need to make sure your base stamina is pretty high up before activating it. Oh God. Oh God. Let's go around here. So if you hit this, I can increase movement speed. It is drastic. It will be apparent in the gameplay. It actually will be a game changer to save yourself in certain situations. He's close by. I need to get a bone shrine to help out. Is she dead already? Someone's already dead. We lost the plate already. So you know this game's going to be intense. No bones. How do you die in less than 30 seconds? So we use one of the charges right now. So we go spam it. We spam spamming. It doesn't even get to that point. Oh my god. Why my perks don't even work as well as I wanted to? That's crazy. Here, though, you have to be careful. You can still manage it, though. It's pretty easy to manage, as you see. He definitely saw me. Got the increased movement speed, and now we bounced out. Nice. We lo another unlock tool here. This build's kind of nutty. Look, I'm just spamming it. Look! Oh my god. I don't even need to. I'm just doing two because I can. This is good. Is this open yet? Good. So what I'm trying to do is open more loops in the bottom of the basement so we can move around as much as possible. Okay, it's open. Okay. You're nice. Let's keep moving. Also, my character has a bit of tracking immunity too, which is quite nice. He's feeding Bubba. Oh, I'm feeding Grandpa, sorry. He knows? He knows. Let me find the fuse. Let me find the fuse. It's there. What the worst spawn point? The worst spawn point. 
Put a fuse. Oh, never mind. Never mind. So now I can spam this. Watch this. I can spam this and I'm safe. Oh, I didn't even get to that point. That was completely in self, completely. 100% self right there. I can open those areas and 100% self. That's insane. We got three out? Someone's tracking me. Yes, there we go. There we go. Complete it. Look at that proficiency. It's working pretty well. So, this is a good way to get XP too, by the way. Like this. I'm stuffing up because I can hear someone next to me. Oh my god, the thing doesn't tab in properly. There we go. Got information. Activate my ability. I gotta run. I'm dead. I'm dead. She had rubber legs. She had rubber legs. Well done. Well done. That cooked me up. So, I can't stop rubber legs. That's an issue. Oh, and there's no bone, bone shrine or anything. Okay, I wanna check someone to build. It's good to actually test it. Uh, the perk, uh, made for the wind, whatever it was called, doesn't work on this character because of how strong her stats already are when I boosted it. It doesn't even come into accountability. The only time it would actually happen is a certain moment, and even then, it doesn't really matter. It's so high up, I can negate that perk. Or negate that playstyle. So if I wanted to make the same build by putting it into Endurance, then that would become very useful. You know? So instead of putting it into Stealth, I put it into Endurance. I think overlooked. Overlooked. Yeah? Overlooked. That's for sure. That has to be it. That has to be a really good build. I'm still thinking about other builds now. Other possibilities. So that's being so good if you do it this way. But I think the same thing happens with Connie then. Welcome to you, subscriber. If you mates are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the content and show that support in every single way possible. Join us on Discord, on Twitch, whatever it may be. Just show that support. Means world. If any more Leland builds instead of the full backstab build, I can try and make another one after. That's for sure. Sensitivity? Uh, I can't remember. Um, the in-game sense, at least. I can't remember what my DPI is. Just change it to what you like. Honestly, it's not even that much of a big deal. Those are the in-game sensitivity. I haven't changed anything yet. I don't know if it's at 1600 or something. I already changed it ages ago. On the app. I just kept it. It's like 1600. This is a unique combo. Because Connie has the same thing, doesn't she? I can't check it right now. I think Connie has the same stats, but in reverse. The proficiency is great, her stealth sucks. But it's the same values. Hmm. Welcome to new subscribers. Welcome, welcome. This player here. These players could be hackers. <laughs> the most times I see them. <laughs> Uh, have a certain name style, and then it ends up being hacker is pretty high. So we have to find out. Residents of Marfa, Texas, say the phenomenon, simply known as the Marfa ghost lights, are occurring at an astounding rate over the last few months. Witnesses report seeing white... Okay, let's jump into this. And let's enjoy this. Megan and Julie build, I think this is going to be one of the top ones up there. Bit of information for yourself when you're carrying a fuse box and putting into, into the actual uh, fuse into a fuse box. 
give you 10 seconds of information on everything that's happening in the game, which is quite nice. And Julie being a very crazy good character and pretty decent mobility, if you don't max endurance, but also proficiency in, pro in proficiency and also in stealth is pretty high up. We have two other perks. If you run past a chicken chop like this, we get movement for a short duration. It's quite nice. I can even spam this, as you see, very easily done. Not a challenge at all. We said this too. Second lock tool. Perfect. Now it's time for us to leave. Unless he realizes. She definitely does. How did he guess right? I thought he swung by. Now do I lose my lock tool? I do not. Thank you. Nice. Thank you for the donation. Donating for fun. What's your favorite map? My favorite map is Slaughterhouse, actually. Thank you for the support. I don't know what that equates to in currency type, though. <laughs> At all. <laughs> Let me open this. This is maybe the best spot to open here for my mission. I got this. Now moving. Look how fast I'm going. I'm out. See you later, buddy. You cannot reach me. That was my ability active. Impossible. It's the best getaway. They found my footsteps. So they're downstairs, aren't they? He's definitely downstairs. If he's trying to kill me, he's not going to do it. I won't let him kill me. Nice work. Oh, oh! Well done. So the poison does damage, by the way. I see, it's, that's a lot of damage. Oh, she has Toxic Cloud. She definitely has Toxic Cloud. Unless that's base poison damage, that's insane. It's really bad. Really bad. So we lost two of our overlooked um, ability charges. Nice. Let's hide ourselves for a second. Hopefully, in a safe place. The fuse box we're going to find. Serve here. Oh, yep. Nice. Okay. Open this up. Look at that speed. Just feeling pretty good. I can even change overlook to some other perk if you want to. Just have to get random reroll. Oh shit, it's the same number. That tripped me out. Oh, same color. All that information, I see him. Nice. I think we should go back, back to the basement. Run. Run. Oh my god, I'm so fast. With even base movement. And we out of here. Skedaddle. Oh, he's trying to hop down. Too bad. Too sad. We out. The Julie build. That was quite fun. It's an interesting build. I still want to work on it and make it better. But it's based on rerolls more than anything. The base perks do work out pretty decently. But this is maybe a better showcase of how to get easy XP. Because by the end of this game, I have 1000 XP. Easily. And you can even do that faster too. So it's not too bad. Especially if you have more doors and more areas. 
I like these perks. I need to work on Overlook. I don't, actually don't want to save that in this video. I just want to work on Overlooked. But GG in the chat, GG's. That was really fun. And thank you, Thunder, for the donation. I like see it. Hackers on Texas? Yeah. It's happened. Yeah, it's definitely happened before. It's not a shock to see that. Oh, damn. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. What's the skill tree? I'm running um, from left side. I'll show you what it is in a moment. I already played Anna. I've made all the builds. There's nothing she has that I haven't created a video on. It's only like, it's some sunny builds I can make. Ooh, I need Julie. Got it. So my build right now is looking like this. This side. There was a couple of re-rolls, which I think I could have got better re-rolls, which would have helped this build even more. But Overlooked isn't the one I want. Like, I might end up having a mimic, a mimic build of my other class at this point. Which I think is not a bad build, in general. I like, think this build on this character is fun too. But I don't, I don't want it to be a mimic of the other class. But I do enjoy this. I think we just have to. I do want to do a full movement speed um, build on this character too. I think she'll be nice for it. I just realized I, sh I shouldn't be running proficiency. Nice singing voice then. <laughs> Should we actually run proficiency in stealth or something else? Somebody says, um, family house, of course. Bullshit ass man. I don't have this. We do this. We do this. Definitely. Yeah? Definitely. That's the build, I think. This has to be the build. We've got so many things in our grasp to utilize. Getting information from the fuse light as well when we put the fuse into the box and it lights up. We get 10 seconds of information on all whereabouts of all um, family members. Alongside radar detector, anytime grabber screams, we have three charges where we can see all family members highlighted for five seconds. Then jump scare, increased movement speed. That's going to work with our endurance as well and our stealth mechanics with the character being maxed out pretty much as much as possible. And the jump scare ability does give us 10% increased movement speed for four seconds every time we pass a bone charm or a chicken as well. So it's quite nice. And the skill tree looks oh, like fuck. this from left goes to the very top. Very nice. Let's ready up and hopefully find a match soon. I'm gonna have to explain that build again. Endurance and toughness for the win. You think endurance and toughness on this character is fun? Because I don't mind her. I don't mind proficiency on the character because it's quiet. But do I just want to make a build when I'm just quiet? I don't know. A stealth build uh, won't work with this completely. Even though I got stealth perks, this is more perks that actually give me aura reading. And to make a stealth build in this character, I need to actually uh, change the build around again, which I can't do yet. I want to do that though. I think it'd be fun. A stealth build would be somewhere here with these perks on that side of the map. And endurance and toughness are very easy to work together. But I wouldn't use this character for endurance and toughness. Unless you're trying to make her weakness just a little bit better. It just depends. Who's my favorite victim? Uh, Leland. Oh, okay, the chat. This guy's singing, man. Jeez. Okay, let's jump to this. 
Highline the build in action on Julie. Should be quite fun. I'm excited for this. Yeah, let's jump to it. I look, even with max self, I can just spam this. Like, it takes a, lot, a little bit longer, but with max self, I'm still safe. Nice. Lock tool's not here. That is a bit open. Actually, they did not go hit tracker. I don't know why I'm picking up bone, bone shit. <laughs> Guys, weird. I lost a bit of HP there. Fuck, Grandpa. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> He's not gay. I just popped my ability straight away. So, ping? Didn't work there. It did work here, though. No noise. That is nuts. This is nuts. I don't know who the fuck Connie is, but I'm sticking with him. I opened the main door, he was in the main door, but Bubba went there because he saw me open it. He's doing this, look, silent! Silent! As long as I get to be right here. That's crazy. Back. That's what I was gonna work for. Do myself up, that's what I should It's the only thing you have to be careful of because of proficiency. Ah, uh, yeah. I... <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Just because I want to. I don't even need to do it. <laughs> this shit talking. So Alright, I'm about to go. That's hilarious. What? I'm gonna open another door. That's just a little distraction. Nice, all here. I'm gonna open bathroom. Alright, shit, I'm I just. <laughs> I ran around you, I tried to. <laughs> I didn't know you're gonna crush through it. Hey, it's cool. I was, just, I was trying to stay quiet. I'm staying quiet completely with this build. Jeez. Why are you going for me, bitch? <laughs> Let's get this. Get a sissy, bitch ass out of here. I'm oh my god. No noise. Absolutely no noise. Unless I do that. I don't have my truck. I fucked the fuck out of scar. I'm good. Or fucking not scar. We get to Oh shit! I might be dead here. I was like, I ain't gonna cap with y'all. I'm probably fucking dead here. <laughs> I'm so dead. Me too! Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Just me up. Who's got a fuse, man? No, no, no. have some dogs here, dude. The fuse right next to Grandpa? I'm just trying to figure out, like, what's your car? What's the best way to come up on me? You can't see it. Get your bitch ass up, you little fuck. I gotta stay away. Especially retarded. Increase movement? I think I'm gonna be able to get Jim. The gen's turned off, the front is open. I'm hollering now. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead, I'm dead. <laughs> Oh, 
Overheat your bitch ass chainsaw, please. I want to truck him, not die if I truck him. What? Oh my god, what a read! What a read, GG. What a read. Is someone getting chased upstairs? What a chase. She had a good read there, or was the most luckiest thing to ever happen? Like, she just gave up on that um, positioning. I got no clue what happened. That must have been so lucky to read that. Well done. GG's, GG's. Good player. Loves it. Welcome to new subscribers. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I was going to jump out the window. I swear I was going to jump down uh, out of the window in the front. Not the backyard. I was going to the front yard and jump out from the window where Grandpa was. I was thinking about it when the jet turned off, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't get there. <laughs> I never jump out of that window. It's something I never do. I still think the build is pretty good. It's like literally I can open anything without making a sound. I can uh, go to areas while getting um, as much information as I can through objectives. And then also have potential to get increased movement speed once I'm in chase. Through my ability uh, usage and also me hitting bone charms on the way. That's pretty good. My game bugged out. Give me a second. Let me reset it. That's pretty good for a build. I think that's really nice for, for the character. It's that or close encounter build. But I think this is much more fun and unique for the character and his playstyle. This is one of the perks. I'm unsure if it actually procs properly. Being the the raider perk. So I want to try it again. And see if the raider works. Because I heard there was maybe bugs on this character. Compared to uh, Sunny. Where it works perfectly. To jump back into it. Hey, say about Yon. Welcome to you subscribers. Welcome, welcome to the channel. That's who you are. Okay, jump into it. We're going to play as victims again. And have some fun with it. Yeah, it's going to be kind of interesting to see what happens with blood builds. Because blood builds are going to get nerfed. Well, they don't get nerfed, get completely negated from the usage of Agitator on Victims. Because they use Agitator and four levels back to zero or back to one instantaneously. So blood builds are not going to be the best builds. And if they are, they have to be like defensive blood builds. Like you have to be able to defend Grandpa at all costs so he doesn't get stabbed, which is so hard to do in this game. Like Grandpa is meant to get stabbed and that will make it very hard for killers or family members to get information. A lot of streams, I'm glad to hear that. I remember from the beta, I remember. I'm trying to think. I think that's my best build. I can't think of any other one. Let's have a close counter one, which I don't want to run close counter. I might re-roll after this. If it doesn't work, I'm going to re-roll. Because I think that, like this, if this ends up being a connection, which it doesn't look like it, but if it ends up, then I will be a bit annoyed. This is a build on this school, let me check. Ooh, so loud. Give me a second. Wait, where on Discord? Oh, I see, I see. Blood Runner. Serrated, yep, that's the one I use. I, I don't use Blood Runner, though. But yeah, level 3. So at level 3, it's pretty good, because you just chase continuously. Oh, you don't even bother. Yeah, you can max it like that, too. And Feral. Yeah, it's a good build. It's not a bad build. Pretty decent. It's a fun one, because your goal is just to keep running after targets. And your base stats are so high up that now you do more damage through basic attacks as well. Which is quite nice. And still having good mobility. I believe build for Sissy, yeah. I had I think we had one as well. But we just need to get Toxic Cloud. That's all you think, Sugar. We need to get uh, Toxic Cloud and then we can do it. Level 33. Jesus. That's insane. 
Absolutely insane. 33? The game reaches 99 and you're done. So people are going to finish the game in like a, less than a week. Okay, let's jump into this. And let's enjoy this. This is, is a duly built. Maybe the best one for the character. Highlighting a bit of stealth capabilities. Which many people don't use in this game. But I think the stealth capabilities can be very optimal. Especially just above 40 points of base stats. And our perks as well. Providing us all reading at certain moments by holding a fuse, uh, fuse into a fuse box and completing that. And when Grandpa screams, we get information. We can spam our E button right here, or interact button, and no noise at all. And our green perk is an endurance perk, since we got a bit of boost in endurance. And it works well with this character because of her uh, ability. That we actually go past chicken charms and they give us movement. So that's really nice. Because you can just move as much as possible, but you can also open these, no noise. So it's actually insane how good that is. Oh. I don't want to deal with that. I, I knocked him over. I didn't realize that was going to happen. That was a uh, weird timing. That was some weird timing. Connor's doing it. But I don't think that's a smart decision. Hello there. I'm here, I'm here. Yep, that's me. That is me. Are we free now? With this? We made a noise there, but look at the information. Look at it. Oh my god, I can see everybody. I'm safe. So let's move around. Chicken Charm movement speed ability. Thank you. Look at me go. I'm flying. Hot now. Loving this. I'll get one of my teammates to open the door. If I, if they don't, I'll open one. Unlock tool. Actually, leave. This guy is so close. Scare positioning on his part. Is he up over here? Make sure we're safe. Is that play dead? Heal up. Fuse. I'm out. What is that? Hopefully we get some breathing room here. We've got the fuse box, we can actually move around. Oh, this speed's really nice. I'm actually liking it. Okay, burn charm for increased boom speed. Because again. You know what? That's kind of good. Open, 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 open it! Crawl, crawl, crawl! Oh my god, we made it. We made it. I made it. Thank you for this ability. Thank you. Increase boom speed again. He doesn't know I'm here because I closed the door. That was perfect. Heal up. Is a lock tool here? No, it's another room. Let's go over here. We got this. Oh, this is intense. They're all right next to me, aren't they? Watch me, I can spam this now. They're all right next to me. Did he fall? What happened to him?
Do I time this out? This is very risky. We've got one more Sona ping. For information when Grandpa screams. He's right here. Yeah, we're safe, we're safe. Have we information about the whereabouts? Let's see. Okay, we're one on top, one on the bottom. Hitchhiker's out of range, I can't see him. He traced my footsteps. Nah, I'm dead. Did you? Well done. I saw the trap, I tried to get around to the right and then pulled me back. Even though I passed it. Oh my god. That was intense. I'm gonna do this again. That was so intense. That was so much fun, though. Our whole team was getting completely mowed down then. That was insane. Absolute insanity. We're gonna jump into another one. Julie's quite fun. What was the perk called when you weren't making any noise? Uh, going through the wind. I watched a Twitch streamer called Spooky Loops, and he ran into a victim hacker that was running fast like, uh, running fast like crazy. I, it happened to me as well, underdog. We saw one, but I saw it at the very end of the game when I'm playing victim. So I was with another hacker and I had no clue until the end of the game and I saw the movement speed. I was like, what? That's a thing? So yeah, these hackers roaming about to a certain degree. One hacker can give you movement speed or use movement speed to advantage. Another hacker can actually instantly kill you. If you mates are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with our content and also press the like button, show the support, follow us on Twitch, join our Discord, all that good stuff. It is greatly appreciated. Greatly appreciated. Okay, let's get this going. Oh, oh, we have family, Baxter. Victims, victims, not family. This is the only way I escape when I play with randoms. It's a good escape. It's very fun and very easily accessible. Welcome to new followers and subscribers. Welcome, welcome. It is very easy to do and it can be done easily, but in Family House, when there's three people up there, it gets pretty chaotic. You know? Or even two people. It's enough to get you killed. This map, though, this is easy. This should be an easy win. And uh, team cop is kind of nuts. Except for this guy, he's level zero. I don't know why. Those are Tuki's character or something. I don't know. But with this build, I should be able to do whatever I need to. I actually like it. Having max endurance is so much more fun. You know, he wrote that me message, surely give me Julie cuz, and then that took him like maybe a whole minute to write, and I just say sauce, and he just bounces out. <laughs> That's insane. He's on console. Thanks very much for writing that stuff. Why don't you follow? Welcome, welcome. I think this is the best kit. I I'm trying to think about anything else you can do, and it's just close encounters. Like you can do like a stunning close counter build, but this seems like the most fun build. I'll be honest, it seems like the most fun. Yeah, this is the most fun by far. She has a bit of everything, and that makes it weird. She's not good at ev like uh, one thing only. She's good at everything to a certain degree. And it just depends how you want to play your character. But I think this is the better playstyle. The easy escape door on uh, that map. You know what? It shouldn't be that easy. I get why it's easy. Uh, because usually you would have a secondary thing that affects that door. In every other map. But it is easy because there's only one thing. It doesn't. It's not connected to a generator or battery or anything else. So I get it. So if they change it, I don't know what they will do to change it though. You'd have to place the same status effect on that. It becomes an electric door of some sort. But even then, it's not moving accurate. So I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. They might just keep it like that.
It might become a part of the map where you just have to defend at all costs. Hey, Energize, how are you going? I'm doing very well. Just pushing through and trying to figure out all these builds and all these gameplays that we possibly can do in this game. It's kind of interesting, though. It's reached a high level of gameplay. It looks like everyone's a high level, too. I've not matched with many low levels in this game at all. They're always, like, maxed out as well. Like, they're putting hours and hours into the game, like myself. It's kind of crazy to see. Unless it's just the matchmaking system. Yeah, let's get to this, and let's have some fun here. Playing as Julie. Got crazy mobility through her salmon reduction consumption ability. Or well, salmon consumption being reduced to a certain degree through her ability. And with our kit, we've provided her some crazy mechanics that can make her have the best build possibly. And that's providing information to herself at all costs. Be able to complete stages like this without making any sounds at all. Yes, she can do that. It's kind of crazy with stealth. As it's been maxed out to a certain degree. And even endurance. We have increased movement speed through chicken bones and such. There's a lot of good stuff here. A lot of things to have fun with. I'm going to go to the left side, actually. And we'll go through here. That's unlocked all I need. It's right there. Healed up. Perfect. It's all right. Take the damage. We'll open this up, too. No noise. Look at that. Silent. He's on the wrong way. Let me complete this. Look at that. Spamming it. Just spamming. No issue. I can get two because I can. No challenge here. Absolutely no challenge. Nice. I'm completely safe. And my other abilities give me all reading too. And I get movement speed from my bone uh, ability. We'll see in a, bone in a moment. This part here has to be quite safe because no proficiency will make this hard. Or harder, in some essence. But it still feels great. So two unlock uh, tools there to help me out. My goal is to go for the fuse. The connected to the fuse box as well. Oh, that's close. Did he stuff up? He, he went he revved too much. Oh my god. We're free. We're free! Don't really care if, uh, for them actually trace my footsteps in any capacity. Until that happens. How you doing? That's the only time I care for it. He's not here. This guy's lost, man. Make sure move speed. We going? Let me find this fuse. We get some stamina as well. Fuse box is there. I see it. Now where's the fuse? A little pressure valve as well. But I don't want it. Not yet. Do you see me? Now get increased movement speed again. Love to see it. I might actually play well here. I gotta play well. Yeah, I'll play well. Because of Hitchhiker. Not bad. Bit of a reset here in the basement. Get you my HP back. Grandma's already screened two times. I didn't realize. That's been so quick. So I've lost a bit of my aura reading because I've been focusing on actually moving around and surviving. Should be right. The door here is open as well. Heal up. Yeah, the other face is a bit annoyed. Because I'll take away his one-shots as well. I'm denying them. But he can still one-shot me now, so I need to get another pot. There we go. That's enough. Now back to not denying that. Increase movement speed. Get his location here. That's out. Let me heal myself up. I won't climb this. Three, two, 
one. I should climb now. Let's go. He sold he sold his weapon. Increase my speed. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't want to see me. Hopefully they don't see me. Is that still? Oh no, he's dead. Oh maybe he's not. He jumped down the well. He's safe. Thank you. Let's get some of sound back. Let's go around here. They're poisoning the items. Break this open. Nice. Someone else is dying. Unfortunate. Yeah, <laughs> see, I think you just went crazy that person. Oh, that person. Repair this. Nice, let's go. Now information again. Oh my god, let me work. There we go. No oh, over there. I'm just completely safe. I should use this point here. My whole team's dying. They all got smoked. Oh wait, they actually jumped down the well. Basement's open, basement. Right behind you, yeah, there. Right there, right there. You're safe, you're safe. Go, go. You're welcome. Well. Oh, that was the build. Essentially, a crazy amount of moves, Pete. Look at that. You're crazy around the map, and you're not losing any stamina while using this ability, which is really nice. It's so good. Look at all up there. Look at them. These idiots. My, my soda pin giving me all the information as well. And my low survivor buff. That's it. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> I heard the buzzer. I heard the buzzer. <laughs> it caught me lacking just then. GG's, GG's. The build's really fun. I actually think this is my favorite build for the character already. It's a bit of all reading. You get grab persona ping information if you're paying attention to it. To make sure you pay attention to it. It happened some games, but that game I was all over the place trying to make sure we survive. Because every time grab was screaming, we were getting chased. So be careful of that. But that information is so useful for this character. Using that extra movement from ultimate escape and jump scare together. In conjunction, is really nice around those bone sh uh, sh uh, sh shrines and also the chicken spots. Really good. Good XP from the basement exit. Good information all game. I love that. I absolutely love that. And not making any noise when you're spamming E. That is so much fun. So you don't have to go proficiency at all. Just use this build and you don't have to spam E at all. I'll show you the build as well. So you can actually copy it as well. So let's go over there. And showcase the build. So over here, our skill tree looks like this. So left the whole way up. You get a couple of rerolls until you get the same perks that we do. But there's some fixed perks that are necessary. And your perks will be fuse lights, jump scare, radar detector, and stats will be endurance plus 20. And stealth above 40 is always good. And then from there, whatever you want. Simple as that. That is a crazy build in the character. Maybe the one of the best builds on Julie. So much fun. That is so much fun to utilize. I think these self um, builds are actually really entertaining to play, by the way. Yeah, nice. Save that. Perfect. Uh, should we try the other builds as well? I was damn doing very well. Thank you for asking. No more family? No, we can do more family after. But right now, I think we should teach people everything about victims. Make it easy. Well, to you subscribers, if you are new, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, all that good stuff. Follow us on Twitch as well. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to reset this. Even though I like this build, I have to reset it. So I have something in my mind, and I need to double check it. You're not supposed to fear the, uh, the killers. Kills are there to annoy you and possibly kill you, but it depends how you play. If you play poorly, you'll get killed. If you oh my god, it does connect. Freaking hell, man. I was talking about efficiency backstabber, and it's been here the whole time. 
What the hell, man? Every other time I've done this with other builds, it doesn't connect that way. I've got a build again. Okay, we've got another one. I know what build I'm going for. But I guess we get rid of this. Get rid of the strength benefit and just go for... Ooh, I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see. Alright, you cut to that skill tree off. I need that one. Oh, let me give me give me a second. I need to double check something. I think I have an idea for it. It's a good build here, though. Hmm. We can possibly run. We have to get a random perk here. And I think Agitator would be nice. So you just be aggressive. If it's not Agitator, we still get this, and we still get this. And we have to go for a backstab build of some sort. But Fisher backstab is over here. Which does make sense then. Because we miss out on this. And we can't connect from here to there. So it has to be from here. And we have to go this way. Let's see. You Sunny, we already have. We've made a video on the channel yesterday. It was a very fun character to play. Surprisingly. Overlooked or choose your fight? Choose your fight, sure. Stun double? No good RNG there. What's this one? Empowered? After surviving close counter, you regain 10 health points and 50% of maximum stamina. That's not too bad. Oh, Agitator! All right, we got we got a game. We have a game. We have a game. <laughs> is this broken? Wait, is this her best build? Wait, is this it? Is this clearly her best build? Like clearly, of just being a nuisance to the enemy team as much as possible. Like I like the other build; it's fun, but this one's more aggressive. But aggressive in a good way. It's not just like, oh look, I'm gonna go in close encounters and possibly win. The problem with close encounters continuously. There's a chance that if you do get hit uh, through another uh, from another family member, you've just lost straight away. They've actually lost the whole game. Actually, um, decreases Grandpa's level. If you stab him, it decreases the level by two. At level one and by level four, uh, three, it takes him by level four down. It's pretty crazy. Is this it? This is pretty nuts. Let me increase. That's such a... Why is this build even existing on this character? Let's talk about that. Why does it exist? <laughs> is that it? Is that what we should do? Endurance into strength? Well, it doesn't even matter about the strength ability. So this affects how long someone's going to be stunned by with a stab only. I'll keep it like this. We'll test it out. It seems very interesting to go for this build. I'm missing a point. I knew it. That's pretty good. She's like an all-rounder character. She has everything. And from here, I see I won't go this way, didn't I? Let's start with this, though. You guys, go for it. 
Hey, Keen, how you going? <laughs> You're age restricted by Twitch. Oh, they do that over there? Unfortunate. I had no clue. Do you think the game will have longevity or die out? Uh, it depends. It really does. It, how much content happens around the game. From the development of the game, of, of course. Like, if they... Oh, she's not going to switch. No way. Oh, she's running the same perk too, so it wasn't just me. Okay, interesting. So it wasn't just me running that perk. I think the game will survive. I think he has a lot of uh, sweating behind it. It can be done, but it will survive. These people, if people get like annoyed quickly about this game because they're getting outplayed, that's just sad. Honestly, I feel uh, that's just sad at that point. Elite Land Build, there's one on the channel already. Do you think it'll be seasonal updates? I hope so. But what are they going to do for seasonal updates? Like just the, what we, we we expect, like a new map possibly, and some a new character in a... Uh, for victim and family and new perks. Is that all we expect? I hope they add different maps. That's for sure. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, it's about having fun. That's what I preach about every game I play. If you're not having fun, it's just bad. Uh, looks like we're about to start up, though. So we're about to have fun, too. Perfect. It's about to have fun time. No, oh, this is going to be a great one. <laughs> this guy's reaction. <laughs> oh, Bill's going to be hilarious. <coughs> Jeez, the coughing. My God. <coughs> So, it looks like we have an interesting team. They all got voice comms, so it should be quite fun. And my build is quite aggressive on this character. So, this build will highlight a couple K abilities, which is stunning duration, the increase on door slams as well against killers, and also just being more aggressive with the character. We go for backstab or fight encounter. If they lose, they get stunned by another two seconds. I'm still in quite in these situations because the base stats on this character is so good. Pretty much well-rounded. We have agitate as well. Decrease ground level as well. So we're safe. So it's a very good build, and I want to test it out today on the stream. Could be one of the best builds for Julie as well. Be more aggressive if you like that. What the fuck, brother? What are you doing, man? You body blocking? <laughs> I should just body. I should body block Ben. He just got himself killed. <laughs> Look, this is very silent until I do that. That's all right. Open the doors! Open the doors! Do it's time to go, go, go! I didn't want to lose HP there, so that's really bad for me. We have a bit of an issue, don't we? Okay. That he sees us. Yeah, <clears throat> I think he's gonna try and <clears throat> I think so, yeah, he's gonna try and wrap. Okay. Go right here, I'm about to open it. I can't hear him. Sounds like a general mask, my shit's me. not oh god damn. Motherfucker, man. Can be downstairs? Another bag? Yeah, cook. Uh, Got him? Nice. He's been stunned for a while, hopefully. The cook came down to the basement. Oh, 
off the bitch down here, bro. The old down here, it's a party. Sheesh. <laughs> oh, this guy's dead already. I grab it by purpose, so let's see what happens here. Oh, she fired a chest full loser. Smart. <laughs> that tracing ability, what the hell? It's still going? I have no clue what doors are even open. Fucking motherfucker. No, she slammed me! She slammed me! Whoa, 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 whoa! Chill, man. He's gonna turn that back on. You should have bumped the bed. You don't have it. Oh, you don't have it. Oh, this bitch is dead too, no. Of course, he's right on me. No. Oh, shit, she got up. No! I can see sitting spaces too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fucking faggot. No, man, this guy's swearing me. I can't focus. Damn. Gee, yeah, that's disgusting damn. behavior. Slaughtered all of it. Honestly, glad we got out of that game. I couldn't hear anything without that person talking. Oh, sugar. Jeez, man. How many escapes do you have? I have a lot. I have a lot. You know this perk? Why is this perk not working? Does anyone know? Like, I'm slamming the door on them and it ain't working. Do I have to actually run slam? Is it running slam or is it just like, open the door and it slams? I think it's running slam, isn't it? No, oh, damn it, I made a mistake there. It's running slam. We'll try it again. It's a good build. It's a very interesting one. I don't see it on any other character, to be honest. That's a whole party, they got comms. Be quite interesting. Let's get it. Let's get it. The search continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The sheriff's department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. Her vehicle was recently discovered abandoned, with officials reporting no signs of foul play. No signs of foul play. Wow. If you don't have a map and have a good build, you're not going to do well, pretty much. It's very important to know the map. The importance of the map is may may maybe much more than the build itself. Let's get into this. Let's have some fun here. And I highlight this build in action on Julie. This is one of the best builds of being aggressive on the class and having a lot of stun aspects and debuffing their enemies as much as possible. Let's have some fun here. I can spam this button too. To a certain degree, then I have to stop here. Not too bad. The base style is really nice. We have a good sunny build on the channel already. I was just using it. I look tool here too. We got a good spawn point. Spawning in burn room is kind of nuts, no? When did they add this as a spawn point? It's not as obvious. It's already awake. Make noise. It's all right.
It's always getting stabbed already. Nice. Some breathing room. Yeah, that's not my goal with this build, but... A uh, burn scrap as well. It's fine, Bubba. It's annoying a bit. He's in the tunnels. I think Northern Tunnel. Southern, uh, South Tunnel, sorry, not Northern. Watch this, watch this. What the hell? Calm down, man. I used my ability and everything to reach him. It's too fast. Oh, it was actually doing the wrong button. I'm dead here. Let's heal up. Let's grab again. Where's he at? Hey, what's this? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, come on. He's in that room. Oh, I stuffed up. I stuffed up. I tried. I tried. I wanted to hit him, man. It was such a weird position. This is maybe the worst map for it. I think gas station is a good map for this build. Like, really good. Gas station and even family house. Slaughterhouse doesn't have many doors, which makes it really hard. The doors on the outskirts of the perimeter of the basement. And not really in the inner zone. Or in the area. This is really bad for it. Hey, Tyler. How you going, man? Stab Grandpa? Yeah, we can do Stab, stab Grandpa as well. This Stab Grandpa aspect's here too. Hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm glad to see it. Tell me what's up when your name's what's up. I love it. Yeah, we're doing really well here. I don't know who the... I don't want the most escapes are. We haven't seen that yet. No one's mentioned a record of most escapes in any aspect. I think escapes are easy. It now depends on like a win streak of how many escapes you get in a game as a victim. That's maybe what it's more dependent on. But we don't know that yet. I have not heard anyone say anything about it. Or get any information about that. It's a bit of a hard one to know at this current time. Wait, wait a minute. I didn't choose this. I didn't mean to choose that. Explain the maps, objectives, and your thought process while making decisions. Technically, all our videos highlight that in that... Uh, aspect with like highlighting information at every point. That's what we do. But we don't have a video actually dedicated to that. 
But we have one video talking about escapes and how you should move around the map to a certain degree on gas station. That could be kind of good. Other than that, I haven't made on new maps at all. So that hasn't happened yet. So we have to see. I just want to double check this one part of the video before we get to the match. It's good that you can't see the enemy perks as well. But my, my build attacks as well. Oh, that's good. Never mind. Like, you know, I'll blow this. Give me a second. You just wait for the match to start as well. If you have any questions, ask away. What about single playing challenges? Like, if they add single play challenges to the game, that would be good for quality of life. I wouldn't mind that. Like, get increase XP by completing this challenge. I can see that happening. Okay, I think that's ready. I'm going to upload this video as well. We're getting to the next match. If you have any questions, ask away, and I'll be able to answer. continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. The vehicle was recently discovered abandoned with official reports... Okay, let's jump into this. Authorities are hopeful that the expanded search... A fun Julie build. A fun one. Best film, a family trio. Uh, I think Hitchhiker, Cook, and also uh, Love Face. But you can also re replace Hitchhiker with Sissy. You should be alright for that. I think Cook's ne a necessary uh, evil to have on the team. Let's okay, showcase this build. This build is quite interesting. It's more of an aggressive build on this character. Could potentially be one of the better ones for the character overall from a build pass. But let's test it out. And this is us testing it out and enjoying it on stream with the mates. If it makes the cut, you know it's good. <laughs> Simple as that. I'm going to get a lock tool here to help out my team. Go to this door over here. She's actually right next to it. I'm going to through this gap here. I'll open this here. Spam it as much as I can. Until I get to that point. Boy breaks. Nice. Now what I want is some bone scrap. Which I think there's some here. There's a bone scrap pile on the left, usually. Over there. Good job over here. Yeah, but Johnny build is disgusting. If you like the Johnny build, make sure to use it. It's really fun. Makes the character actually really enjoyable. Someone's ready dead on my team. No. Who was it? They used my escape, didn't they? And they died automatically. Good or bad? They've been awakened? 
Oh, wrong button. All right, yeah. I have no issue with this. Open that. Let's walk up. Hey, sissy. <laughs> no! I'm dead. I'm not testing it. I'm not testing it there. Heal up. Nice, back to full HP. They're still in the basement cruising. Let's push up. <laughs> yeah, it's too funny. That's too funny. I like it. I like it. That's so good. Now it's not funny though. This isn't funny. This is funny. This isn't funny. This isn't funny. Oh, healthy though. I didn't take any damage. I'm the last one though, aren't I? I'm last. You're stunned? Enjoy that. You're there for a while. <laughs> oh, you're trash, man. You're trash. <laughs> oh, God. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh no! Enjoy that booty! Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's too funny. That is too funny. I like this perk. This perk is such a game changer. The problem is I'm going to bleed out. Let's make a run. Nice. I can, I think, do 1v3 here. But I don't get caught. The only issue is not getting caught here. I definitely win this. I definitely win this. I definitely win this. I win these. I win these. Soul player at heart. I win these. Oh my god, did that save my life? That saved my life. My screen's buzzing. My screen is buzzing. 
Oh my god. Am I safe? Okay, this is it. As long as we're making no noise here, we're safe. I'm, I'm currently, I think, bleeding. Or well, close to bleeding. I am. I can see it. It's actually happening. It's very subtle. I'm safe. I just realized, where's my fuse? Stay away. Did I just turn off my fuse? No way. Please tell me it's still there. Please tell me it's still there. I, I put the wrong key. Oh, it's on the floor. Thank you. Whew, that was close. It's very much close. We got this, we got this. I actually like this build so much. I'm out. See you later, bucko. I move like the wind. I move like the wind. 1v3, I win these. 1v3, I win these. Oh my god. So I gotta heal myself. I'm a little bit hurt. Well, give me some. Oh, I'm, I'm all clean? All good? Is it is it alright? Can I leave now? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? You cannot beat me? Little dance of happiness right here. And we out. <laughs> Ain't risking it. Ain't risking it. GG's. What a match. What an absolute match. That is crazy good. Oh my god, that's so good. I actually enjoy that so much. That was a fun build. It's so dominant too. Twycondor, it works so well. Oh my god. Actually, I didn't even use Edge as much at that time. I used Choose Your Fire. Maybe actually you can even change it. But actually, Edge Tay will save you those times when... Ramp is high level, you shank him, he drops level. It is pretty good. And I actually like this build. 2.7k, more than them. I made more points than two kills. Double it. I doubled it. And I actually played solid. That is maybe one of the best builds for Julie. We you upload this best uh, Julie video uh, from this live? Yes, I, I should. I should upload this as soon as possible, shouldn't I? We'll keep it as a reference though. My God, we got to showcase the build though. So that mates know about it too and how it comes together. So you can copy it as well for yourself. The skill tree looks like this. Going the whole way up top. Not too bad. You may have to randomly drop some perks, but these are all fixed, I believe. Except for Agitator. Then you get Agitator, Twike on Door, Choose Your Fights, and Ultimate Escape. And those are my stats. 20 on Strength, and pretty much 5 in Endurance, nothing else. Because her base stats on stealth are so high, it actually helps out just generally throughout gameplay. It's so good. This is one contesting um, build for the best builds. It's this or the other one we just did earlier. I can't choose which one. They're both good in two different scenarios. My god. Great build. Great time on this character. I want to save the mates. Give me a second. Okay, what do you think about that build? Do you think that's the best build? 
You never get caught once with this bull too? Good to hear that. Just spam it. The trick is just have a... There's no really trick to it. I think if you're above uh, even 10% HP, you should also straight away win. I have an AM build on the channel already from yesterday. If you check the channel, there's a video there of the best AM build. Shit, I like this build too much. It feels good. The character is great. She's actually kind of nutty with this. And she runs so much with his abilities as well. There was a self build somewhere in the mist here, but I like this so much I didn't want to give up on it. I do not want to give up on this build. Such a great character, what the hell? Is she top tier because of this? Technically, she gets a ability with no cooldown that stuns non-stop. Do you understand how good that is? That's better than Leland. Straight away. Just the only thing is, it takes a certain circumstance to make it work. That's the only issue. You need to slam a door. Other than that, it's maybe one of the best survivors. I think that brings us top tier with this build. Actual top tier. But you can also run this build on... Possibly the other character too. Let me see. Can you run a build on that? On him? Where? Where is it? Where is it? It's over here. But to get through here, you'd miss. Only conditioned. And you still have to run Agitator. Door. And... Choose your fight. Oh my god. It has the same build. And it's guaranteed. Except for Agitator. Agitator here? I don't know if it's guaranteed here. I think it is. Should've run my, should've changed my build on Leland? Oh my god. And with this build is so good? Yeah, I think so. I think it'd be too crazy. There's a level of um aggressiveness. That's why you can destroy doors in this game. Also, mates, if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to keep up to date. Hit that like button. Show that support. Follow us on Twitch. Join our Discord. Be part of the community. Greatly appreciated. Truly is. You're my 100th kill for the achievement, lol. Oh, I remember. From other match. Yes. I'm glad to hear that. I was doing a certain build. So I had to do a certain challenge. But I'm glad you got... Uh, you were playing um, Little Face. I remember seeing it. I mean, that's changed mid-game. I'm not sure. The fuse build for Julie uh, just makes get to level 20 to 22 in one game. The one I uploaded? No way. Official ad? The one I did? Wait, did I get two levels from that? No way I got two levels from that. I have a situation now. I have too many characters and I don't want to reset them. Not enough points. I still don't break even yet. She have the same perk too. She doesn't have the fuse light box. Damn, I hope she had it. Maybe re uh, reroll it somewhere here. But they, none of these perks are like that interesting for me to build towards for the kit. It's so whack. Bone Scrap is the, the, the bone knife they use in the game. You know Connie's weakness is being jumped? So having jump scare can help her out pretty much a lot. But we can't go this route because I want this.
Oh, yes. There we go. We've got something good. We can make a build here. This would have worked with that perk, I think. Or some other perks on the way there. That's right. You need a certain build to be able to use Burn Stab? No, Burn Stab is free on all characters. But if you have a Burn Stab build, you can actually help you use it much more often. Or have better effectiveness with the Burn Stab. That's pretty much all you gain from it. Is she good for this? This is her thing, I think. No, but she doesn't need this then. But she's above 40. She's pretty much set to not have it. So the goal here is not to get caught at all. And by not getting caught, I get so much benefits. Something like that, I think. That's a good build. This will be the XP build, I think. I'm gonna showcase the XP build. Let's showcase it. Like, how do you, how, if you want to gain XP real quick, this might be it. If people are gaining XP from the fuse things, I want to showcase it. Oh no, credentials failed. Let's try again. Let me reset. Hopefully my build saved though. I'm hoping it didn't reset. That'd be the worst feeling to reset. Let's see. I hope you made you enjoy all the content today because we've done a lot of builds and a lot of ideas and challenges as well. Like testing things, which is quite fun. Let's jump into this. We're going to pick the victims and let's go into it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Is there any other builds you want to see from us? Tell us in the chat. On any character. Anything precisely I haven't shown yet? I'd love to know. So I feel like I've shown a lot of builds. We'll have to use pretty much every character in multiple situations. Oh, it's saved? It's saved. Yep. Perfect. Swordhouse. Do we want to do Swordhouse as the map? What do you think? We should do Swordhouse. I was thinking about Family House. Because I think Family House is the quickest. The sword works too. More low phase builds. I think the one I like, the one I did today, was the most enjoyable one. But I can try to figure out other ones too. Why don't you subscribe? Welcome. I can figure out another one if I can. But I feel like I've done everything that's actually cool. I tried to do the Gallo build, but it didn't work with Bloodlust because Bloodlust doesn't really proc well without Rough Cut. Dude, ready up, dude. Whoa, whoa. 
Ready up, man! I got a match there. So it worked. Intentional learning the map. It's just practice. Photographic memory? Oh, yeah, that too. I think actually, I feel like I have it. I don't know why. You can understand environments really quickly. Yeah, this is maybe the hardest map to escape from, isn't it? Oh, maybe gas station, sorry. Gas station's the hardest map. Although, we're talking about fuse exit. So we're gonna jump into this. I wanna show you mates how to make the most XP as victims to get to the best place, a higher level, more skill points available to you to utilize on your other characters as well and build them up further and further. So this is the best way how this seems to it. From all I've seen in every encounter, this seems to be the way. Pick Connie is the first step. Second step, find any map you want to jump on. And we're gonna get out of this. So this is my build as well. I can describe the build later on, but the build and the perks are below. On the right corner of the, uh, the screen, you can see him in action. So let's go. First thing we're going to do is find a lockpick. And it's over here. And we should be able to spam this quite comfortably, as you see. With no issues at all. So that's one. Then you want to get a second one. Then you want to orientate yourself to the best part where the basement exit is. So basement exit on this map is over here. So follow me. I'll show you. Grab has woken up. I think basement exit on all maps is the easiest one. So from here, I'm going to wait for this action-packed scenario of uh, Lee Lam going crazy right there. I don't know why. Why would you go there? That's instant death. Kind of ruining my run. <laughs> so go over here. Wait for him to get caught or move around. Go. We go here. We go there. We start spamming. I let go. <laughs> Oh my god! You scared the shit out of me, man! <laughs> Getting Connie's the hardest part about this, yeah, I agree. Do you see me? That. Oh! Wait, three, two, one. I'm going for it. No matter what, I'll go for this. Now, from here, you want to open the rest of the door. You can spat me until we get too close to that breaking point. Obviously, you want to watch out for that. Then, from here. Completed. Nice. Doors open. I still have a lockpick because my perk activated. Really great. So I've got two lockpicks on me either way. So I can go any exile one in this game. But I'm going to show you basement exit because that's the best one to go for. To get as much points as possible. So from here, you want to find the fuse. And as we are, being the ST player we are, fuse in a hand. Nice hit. We're going to open this up too. We get slammed. Got slammed. I'm going to jump down here for safety. And the reason I'm saying safety because he can't get me. And this hitchhiker jumps down here. Let's hope that's not the case. So I'm going to do. Oh, we're safe. Both. Let's go from here. I'm going to bleed out right here. Recover. Ugh. I'm dying. I'm dying. Role play because you can. And then from there, <laughs> you just go to the next point. Pick me up. You're getting me killed, man. And then from there, we can go to this point and get heal up. <laughs> get minutes over here. Nice. Then we've got a fuse in our hands as well. Now let's just heal up. We have unlock tool as well. You don't want to lose that. It's too important. That? More meds. Heal up again. I'm going to get one more to prevent one shot from happening. Because I already fell to bleed. So we'll be very careful. We don't want that little face to find us. He's got a huge damage build. And it could be very da dangerous for us. Another small pot. And back to full HP. So now we're back to a good position. Easy does it. Not too hard. Not too difficult. Then from here. Go over here. Follow my path. We go back to the basement exit. Around that area. So as you can see, that gate, I opened it by purpose. So I can run down here to the basement exit, which is right behind that wall there. You see that red light. So let's regain some uh, stamina and get to that location. I haven't used my ability too, so I can have any choice in the game to take any extract. So I think there's a couple spawns for this fuse box. So I'm going to go check the left here, which could be the safest for me, so I don't die. And guess what? I'm A tier. 
We're safe. Check if there's any traps on the ground before we actually go into it. Unlock this. Completely done that easily. Now we do this. Repair that. Then we ca now we have to count. I know, counting's hard. But once you're able to do it, it's quite easy to succeed. Got it. Easily done. Your game will tab out for a second because it does that. When you turn on the fuse, then you'll go back into tab. Nice. Then continue. You would actually pick up this health pot just in case of any encounter. And from here, your teammates should escape easily because you've opened an escape for them. You can see how the rest of the teammates are getting slaughtered. Unlucky. This guy here is bl bl actually Yo, blocking the basement. Ever open that fucking door? Yep, thank you. I fucking love you. I, I, I love you too, man. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> That's the praise you get. And look. Easy games. Go around here, you can go to that crawl space or not. Your choice. But that's the door. And you're instantly out. The low face can't reach you. Can't do anything to hurt you. You just give a little bit of tea bags before you go. And then you're out. See you later. Easy peasy. And that's it. That is the gameplay loop. If you want to get your best XP runs, straight away do this. And your XP should be dirty by just doing this. On any map. You're welcome. Oh my god. You're absolutely welcome. See, perfect timing. Good luck, Julie. You need it. So now with all that, clutching for my team, saving my team, and yeah, saving dude, myself. Whoever opened that door fucking clutch as fuck, dude. You're welcome. You're welcome. I got you. He was on my ass, I bro. felt it. <laughs> but the XP is so good. Getting a lot of XP, reaching the next level in the next stage, and I'm very happy with that. You run this same mentality continuously with this character. You easily bypass everything, help your teammates, and help yourself choose to get to the next point, next game. And the Fuse Exit seems to be the most rewarding one, in my opinion, and easy, uh, easily accessible on all maps. So make sure to utilize this and get to the basement as quickly as possible. But this, this helps you well and gives you crazy XP gains to get to your next skill tree, next character to upgrade, whatever it may be. But this seems to be the best way on how to win in this game and get crazy XP as, at the same time. So much fun. I can show you the build as well. So great for the mates asking in the chat. Thank you for reminding me. So we go over here. The build is like this. And you fall from this point, you get Lucky Lock Picker. Then over here, you go to another fixed perk being efficiency locksmith. And then after that, there was a random perk somewhere. I can't remember right now. Where dashing is. It dashing is right there. Jump start. So that's a random perk. That's can spawn in any part of the tree. Reroll until you get it. And that's that stats there. Seven in toughness, ten in proficiency, ten in stealth. Just allows us to pretty much do anything we want. And this will guarantee a lock tool at uh, all cases of the game. You get a guarantee one back. Maybe you can change this build after, but at level one, this is the best one. You have all the options available to you. Just enjoy it. Absolutely enjoy it. That's the best XP and how to win easily in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Quite fun. That reaction, though, was hilarious. What do you think it makes think about that? The guy praising us for the safety. So we save that. Watch your jewelry build. It's quite fun. Uh, currently we're running this. And I actually want to have fun with it. Just made an unedited video in real time, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> oh, you talking about yourself? Depends. Oh, you're talking about me with what I just did. It's all about being concise. Sometimes it's hard when you're too sleepy, but... I'm trying my very best to stay awake <laughs> with no caffeine too. It's pretty crazy. Okay, so from here, I might actually go back to uh, Leland. Unless we want to do... Should we do an extract for every map? Mate, should we teach everyone how to ex a, um, finish every map? How to escape? Like, we show a video on basement. How to do pressure valve. How to do this. How to do that. Like, what, what should we do? Or you modify his uh, kind of ability thing. Oh, I can double check. I would go for... Because technically the, the game was created to have she, for her to have a stem, uh, stem, uh, stamina cost behind it. You want to actually make that go away. So you have more clutch scenarios. Stamina and family proximity buff is 
I would go from here. Shit. I would actually negate this. Wait. Because I, I want the middle tree. You wouldn't want anything else. This, like, this kind of sucks. There's two ways. You can go... Wait, does it have ability recharge? I've never used it more than once. I've only used it once. I've actually only used the ability once and I never used it more than that. But this is important. And these, these are just decent. So it just depends how you want to get there. You go straight up and just negate all the other things. But I would say maybe work on this to that to that. Or this to that to that. But also maybe this isn't a problem. Maybe go this way. Like that. From bottom here to the very top there. So you still have a, a salmon cost, but it's only 50%. And I think you can deal with that. Or 35% cost only. Which is not bad. And your proximity doesn't get that much of a debuff. So you can see he's still around you, but your cooldown is massive. 180. Absolutely amazing thing. Show the escapes. That's a great idea. But, okay. Shit, how do I do this? Um, I think we use the same build. Just because it guarantees escapes. And we're not going to talk about the build. I think we take the build out of the question in this video. And we talk about escapes. We did it. I think we did a gas station one yesterday. Uh, I didn't call it gas station escapes. Should I go through everything? Jeez, I'm going to do this. Give me a second to think about this. I just need to make sure we don't stuff it up. I want to show you, I want to show you the same layout like we just did. That was for the basement. So we may have to do another video for the basement. Because I just showed that as the video is how to win and get XP. So we'll do another video on a different map. of How to get to the basement exit. How to do this. Uh, pressure valve exit. How to do this. But I don't want to do it for every map. It's kind of hard. It's like 16 videos. Oh, sorry. 12 videos. Four per map. So we need to make it more concise. I think I did one for the gas station, but now we just do that one for the family house or slaughterhouse. I think we'll do slaughterhouse because people don't know it too well compared to me. So I can help out with that. Yeah, I think we do that. Okay, let's search for a match. Let's do this. So we're going to do a guide on how to actually succeed and escape with certain exits on a certain map. So we'll start off with Slaughterhouse, and I'll try to get to every exit, showcase it, and get back to the other exits if I can. If I can't, I might just have to show one, or show where things go, and then complete one way only. So we'll have to see how this works. We're now not getting our character, sadly, so we're going to go to another side. Find another match. Actually, I've got a better idea. This is maybe more concise. Maybe we do a video. Oh, crap. I lost character again. And she it's locked. No. Ooh. Give me, give me. Oh. No, give me, give me. So, we have to do a idea which is based on... I go through one exit four times. So, we show the basement exit. We show pressure valve. We show... Uh, special exits on different maps, like the gas station one, to make people know about it. And also, what bet there's the best exits on each map as well. Ah, oh, this is a hard video. Oh, I'm in the same I'm in the same lobby, I feel like. Well, This is a hard video. The only tips being victim or fam oh, on Family House. I get killed every time. Take basement exit. Basement exit if, uh, if, if all the family members are on basement or middle level. But if, you're, if you can get top level, you'd be pretty much safe. If they're all contesting top level, don't go basement. Go pressure valve or find a way out through the gates. It depends. You have to understand the movement in the map as well. Like how they move, especially the family, not yourself. But yourself will help out quite a bit. I, I like how you upload multiple videos on a day. They're all very useful. Thank you. I'm glad to see that. I can't get my character. The one part, the one part we need is Connie. It's Connie.
Okay, we got it. Now we just chill for a second. I'll be back in a moment. That sun is level 36. That is a gun. That is the absolute gun. What is that perk right there? Someone tell me what perk that is in chat. The one right there. I know backstab and stuff, but not this. Can't remember what that is. Give me a moment. I'll be back. I don't think all victors have all the same speed. I don't think so. Because their the movement speed changes. Yukon is legit and you have a very likable personality. I'm glad you're fan channel. Thank you. Prophet, thank you. But yeah. Let's join this. Um, what exit do I want to choose? I don't know what exit. We'll do pressure valve. Because it's on the same map. We'll do pressure valve. Hi to all the mates. Welcome to new subscribers. Show that support. Greatly appreciate Let's get this. That's a scary level 36, to be, to be honest. I don't know what the perk does. Okay, let's see. So, in this video, we're going to try and teach you mates how to escape a sword house in multiple ways, if possible, or we choose a selected way and showcase that within this. I'm going to try and aim for the pressure valve, because I know that could be a harder one for many people to find. I'm going to teach you mates how to get to that point. And escape successfully for yourself and your team. So we picked Connie. That's a good um, step in the process. Just makes things easier. And find a build that you do adore. We have a lot of builds on the channel that can help out as well. So make sure to choose one of those. And they can help you out within these processes. Especially our Connie build. Which we have on our channel as well. From here, find our unlock tool. If you're planning to actually open the doors yourself. Then usually find two if you can. They're from there. Go to a point that you feel mo most comfortable with, which in this map, I believe it's right here. It's a great point, and bubble face, uh, little face, I was going to say bubble face. Little face is on the other side, so I'm kind of safe here. So I want to do is open this up. And there's a chance that I can keep this unlocked tool as well, which is quite good. Looks like I kept it. I'm opening the door. They're from here. We go up. We go to the right here. I'm going to find this little crack space here. Crawl. Go invisible for a second. See Sunny? Nice. Now move. Get the pressure valve right over here. Grab onto it. Spin it a couple times. And you're like, how the hell did he know that? Um, I'm just good at this game, so I'm going to provide all the information I can. So from here, go back down. Watch out for Leatherface. You can close the door on him to make sure it's safe. Hide right, this corner for a second. He's going to think we're up there. Then close this. Oh, shit. Oh, thank you, Sunny. The pressure valve is right there. So you need to get this pressure valve. Well, don't worry about little faces that much. You'll be all right. There you go. See? Just put that on. Attach it. And then you open the valve. It's go through a process like this. Just have to hold E. And if you are self-build, you're pretty much good here. You won't be able to get detected at all. And now you've got the escape open for the pressure valve. Once that reaches the needle point, reaches the green point, the pressure gate is open. Now you're going to ask, where's the pressure gate, Lordy? Go right up here. Open this door. 
Watch out for him. He's a little bugger. Watch out for that little guy. Go around here. Troll him a bit. Go in here. Close that loop. Then over here, I'm going to get a bone shard to help us out here in case we need to backstab him to get some distance. Actually, I want to protect my pressure valve. So let's go over there. So it needs to actually take a bit of time, around 20 seconds to charge up. But the pressure system is still working. So we're good here. And you can hear that sound of the pressure, except in the valve area. So good location here. Then that the gate there is going to open. Leatherface is already defending it. I think he's going to save himself from that, from that location, but impossible. See, that gate there where he's standing is where that pressure valve would connect to and open that door. He's revving because he thinks he's going to stop me. But guess what? I'm not using that escape. I'm actually teaching the mates how to use everything. So that's the fuse box right there. And you can collect the fuses to open this fuse box as well. Through a certain area, which I'll show you. It looks like someone already took the fuse. I think I lost him. They stole it. The little bugger stole it. Okay. Let's go over here. I'll show you the next escape. A full guide on Swordhouse. Live in gameplay. Like no one else can ever do this. Near impossible. So let's go to this point here. Make sure we're safe. I might actually open up another door for us to get some breathing room. If it's not open yet. So we'll go over here. Then there should be a fuse right here. So I'm going to drop my bone shard. But everybody be taking the fuses. They took both the fuses. What? Well, both fuses are gone. I think that's the only two fuses I can think of right now. I'm trying to think where the third would be. It should be around here, but it's already gone as well. Oh, it didn't spawn. Yeah, usually there's a couple of fuses. I have a video uploaded earlier on this Connie build. So that's where the fuse exit is. If you want to watch that, reference that. But there's another exit right here. So let's open this. We can use the ability to focus, spam it, open that up easily. Except when this happens, that's a problem. Grapple. That's why I bring a bone shot with me, just in case. Nice. Nutsack. Now we go. I disappear into the sunset. Oh my god, am I dead? I might be dead here. I might be dead here. Oh my god. The survival. The survival. Now recover, because we can. You can recover once every game if you're not getting killed by anyone or getting close to anyone. Now recovery is completed. If I get into the state again, I'll be dead. So we got to watch out for that. Let's move around. And I'm going to pick up one of these because I think I need it. After what just happened. Save my life to have one of these always. Then you can pick up a med pod as well. Heal yourself up back to full HP if you can. Reorientate yourself. Behind the map and understanding the map. My pressure valve system is working again because someone else opened it. That's good to hear. Actually, we might just do a pressure valve system now. We'll do a pressure valve only. We'll do a full guide after this. This is the smartest option. I wanted to do a full guide, but my team's all escaping. And I'm a little bit worried that we may not be able to do the same. But that's the basement exit right there. So once you connect that fuse from one of those fuse locations I showed earlier and put it with the fuse box, you'll be able to get to this exit right there. Should showcase in a different video. I might even pop, put this here. Okay. So. Now we're going to open this uh, area as well. Not bad. Because now that's open too. The pressure gate's open. So they're defending pressure gate. You see that yellow marker from the earlier event that I started. My lock tool is still in my hands because my ability worked. Really nice. Because I don't have to actually use anything else to help out with it. Another member, another member escaped from my pressure valve. Extract. So from here, I'm going to regain some of my stamina. Get closer. There's another exit point down there in that other building. But we're going to try and take this exit here. The other one has a generator, pretty much a mimicry of this. Two gates. Once you open one, that's the one gate I've opened. You want to go to the second gate? So where cookies is the, the other gate for like this system. So go to the other area. So you escape from front area. But in this case, we go here, which we only have to deal with a car battery, and that's it. So let's go over here. Stand still, because grandpa.
Nice. And from here, we'll go to this area. Open up a second door. Just in case. Spam this as quickly as possible. Without breaking your unlock tool. Because the more you can have this with you, the better. Nice. What is that as well? Let's get another unlock tool, which should be right there. Spam that. And now what we've created, the system on the other side, you would find the two exact same doors. There's two ways to enter in this building and two ways to enter into the other building. Then you find the car battery, which is right here. Just follow the yellow cable. Then turn it on. We could have an issue here, because that chicken's making noise. Then turn off the car battery. It'll be on cooldown. Takes a bit of time. When completed, run to the objective. I have 20 seconds. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. And, oh my god, he has double lock. A double lock? You dirty bugger. Yeah, we gotta get out. He's running my speedy cook build! Heal myself up. That was not a person. Oh shit! Now we got an issue. The hitchhiker. A pain in my living ass. Oh my god. I'm dead. That's it. That's it. The full damage will kill me. The full damage will be 1 HP or kill me. 1 HP will kill me. 1 HP, please. Yes. Yes. Okay. We got this. We got this. I still got winnable. It's still winnable. The guy double padlocked the bloody door. What an absolute pain to double padlock. Now I'm creating pressure on the map by using the pressure valve. I want to heal up back as much as I possibly can here. Sure and heal up again. I'm going to keep a pot with us because now we're in bleeding state. So to keep a small pot, I'm going to try to find a large pot as we go through this map. If we get a heart attack. We need this too. We go over here. Let's give the bone shards uh, char so you don't hit them. The, sh uh, the actual charms. And upstairs. Carry on to this location. There should be some more medical supplies. up. Stand still because of grapple vision. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull a ballsy play for you guys. Is that double? That's double. I can't move. I'm perma stuck. They might get a, a level 5 straight away. Okay. Do this. Is it a large pot here? Is it smaller? That same size. Okay. Good luck for us. We will be needing it. Showcase this extract. Keep going. Pressure valve is about to close there. A limited time only. He's capping it. <laughs> this bastard.
Dirty bastard, give me a second. I got this. I'm doing pressure valve. I'm sorry, I have to do pressure valve. I can't show you the whole thing in this one video. I wanted to, but the showcase pressure valve exit, so you may need to know about it. But this also shows how you can survive for like a long time in the game. Like you can't die if you're smart. You just have to be smart with the gameplay. Because now they're playing my game. That's a way for me to make a play in order for them to get the kill. Is this level 5? Not level 5 yet. The ping is lasting longer though. The scream he has for Grandpa. Now, Pressure Valve. So we've mind gained them like three times already, which means now we get a guaranteed escape. Or we should get a guaranteed escape. If we play cards right here. No, I can't get hit. I can't get hit. Nice, I'm out. See you later. GG, suckers. GG, I'm out. The lone survivor survives like crazy. My god. GG. <laughs> that is the pressure valve exit. And that's how to win in style. I'm telling you, I know the game. I know the map off by heart. I know all the maps pretty darn well. If you want to learn, look at that. Damn, 5,000 XP. Damn. I know, yeah? Thirsty, you there? Yeah, I'm there, I'm there. Bro, I watched you the whole time. That was insane. <laughs> yeah, thank you. How do you how do you know the map like that? I know, oh. thank you for the recognition. I'm making a video to teach wow. others right now. That's insane. You know where every hell <laughs> nah, bro. was. Yeah, thank you. You 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 doubled them back so many times through that slit in the wall. It was yep. unreal. <laughs> thank I you. Wish I could add you somehow. I don't know how to add you. Yeah, I don't know how to add a crossplay. You could have killed me, yeah, Cook. Man. You tried. Oh my god. <laughs> no! He was trying to say something! No! He went to the next match! Oh, well, that guy was amazing for recognizing greatness, aka myself. That was absolutely stunning. Wow. What a match. What a crazy match to go in my favor and showcase the 3k XP, but also winning in style and how to use the environment to your advantage in those games. Absolutely stunning. That's how you become better at the game. Simple as that. That is simple as that. Becoming better at the game like that. That is insane. I don't know how long we've been playing that game for. That was crazy. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep up to date the content. And show that support because it means so much. It really does. What do we name that video? Mate, tell me in the chat. What do you name that? Oh, that was insane. That like was, everything was perfect. I couldn't get to every location to teach people. There's no private match, like proper private match unless I invite people and walk around the map. And I didn't want to do that because I want to showcase the real environment of how to play the game and understand what the hell you're doing at the same time. Babe stream, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you, thank you. That means the world. You think you get away from a good sissy chasing? Yes, unless she has rubber legs. Rubber legs is the only thing that could actually hinder you. 
But there's ways to counter it in some aspect. I love watching your streams, mate. You're too good. Thank you. Thank you. You mates are new to this channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Follow us on Twitch. Join our Discord. Be part of the community. And be an active member of the community. It means the world. Change the plans to text to change the mascot, you think? You think that's the idea of the title? I don't know. I, I saved it. I'll look back at it and we'll figure it out. But it has the pressure valve exit. So we've got pressure valve, we've got base certain level of basement. I want to show basement on family house though. I think it's always uh, overlooked. This might be harder because of two rushes. You have to camp till they patch the victim's XP boosting. Huh? When's the, uh, that, technically, there is XP boosting on those characters. You are right. Victims have more XP than family. Where's the face cam um, coming? I have to fix all my settings first and make sure it doesn't uh, lag out like last time. But it looks like the settings are working better and better, so maybe during this week. I know Lone Survivor should be a part of the title. You think? Lone Survivor? I'll put it down. I'll write it down and I'll revisit it today as we upload the video. Or Solo Survivor. Maybe not Lone Survivor, maybe Solo Survivor. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I have to watch all my my clips again because we've done a lot today. What's this? Is poison actually do disorientate you and make you you inputs in uh not work as great. Twenty six. Let's go. Jump into this action. Epic surprise ending. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, mates. Let's jump into this. I'm going to teach you mates how to actually escape this map with the basement. Uh, many people don't know how to get to it because it's always a, somewhat of a difficulty to get to the basement on this map. So I'm going to teach you mates how to get to the basement on the family house. And this character just seems the best to get to exits in any way. Just kind of go for that. So from here, let's find an unlock tool that we need. Which I think is at the unlock tool station or close to it. If I go here and he stabs me, I'm just going to cry. I'm going to latch this door. Safety first. Then get a unlock tool here. You'll be needing two unlock tools. No car battery except okay as a title, you think? <laughs> Valid video. That'd be interesting. Now from here, we could actually just proc ability because why the hell not? Activate that. Now it's open. I still have one unlock tool with me, which is all I need. But only she hears stamina. I have 10 seconds left. Should he's right next to me? Oh my god, I saved myself. That player did not save themselves. <laughs> that player dead. Absolutely dead. Now from here, you want to find the fuse box location. Can't spawn here. We've got pressure valve here too. So if you want to use pressure valve, we teach uh, the mates how to access pressure valve on Slaughterhouse. We can do it on this map too. So pressure valve exit. Our pressure valve is right here. Pick it up. And then you find a pressure valve system to connect to. From here, usually the best place to find fuses is downstairs. I'm just trying to reorientate myself and find the fuse box location. Which sadly is not these two locations here. It's in the third spot, which is that little crack spot there. You go underneath here and you find it. Break free or break open this aspect here with your unlock tool. There you go. Now we need the fuse. And the fuse, where do you get them? Downstairs. So I'm just setting up to make things easier for myself. Usually you want to get the fuse as the second step and then get to that point there. Let's go over here. Still safe. Go through this crack here. Double check if there's any fuse locations. I am not seeing any. Uh, I'm the last player alive. I'm doing a solo game. Get the fuse. Get the fuse with you. Upstairs, there's a couple fuse locations, but take that one with you. Shit, did he see me?
Watch out for this. Play smart, don't play dumb. So we're in a very good position here to reorientate ourselves and understand the map in a solo uh, V3 situation right now. So 1v3, stand still because of Grandpa's detection range. We'll ping every so often. Okay, safe. From here, what I'm going to try and do is actually try to get to that fuse box and connect the fuse. Complete the puzzle. If they're smart killers or smart family members, they would have seen that I broke open the casing of the fuse box, which will make it super easy for them to escape. This player seems to be close. She definitely knows. She definitely knew. Poison attack on me. I am in a bad situation. She has savagery. She poisoned it. Well done. Well done. She's nuts. Heal up. There was a fuse right there. I didn't see it. Are you serious? I checked that fuse spot too. Heal up. As much as possibly can. I understand you're underneath pressure right now. Things are going to go wrong. Is he right here? Am I dead? He's right here, isn't he? I'm ballsy. I'm so ballsy with this. A bit of a game. Oh shit! No, no, no. I'm dead. That's it. The G. Going that. Well done. Well done. Well done. After Sissy had poison again, I was like, oh yeah, I'm dead. She used a poison ability down below, which gave her poison uh, aspects straight away. Because usually you use poison ga gas to get a poison attack, but she prepped it. That's crazy. This is my full-time job? T technically, at the moment, yes. I'm hoping to. I'm hoping it is. That's the case. Oh, that's still a good game. GG's, though. GG's. Mates, on YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the content, and hit that like button as well. Show the support. It means the world. It truly does. In a situation like this, should we... I don't know. I wanted to highlight all the exits, but it's kind of hard to highlight all the exits when I need so much pressure. But it ends up to being great content, because it's like expressing everything step by step. I don't know. I do not know. It's an interesting one. Yeah, that sister was great. She was using like a lingering build too. Her poison lasted forever. On myself and also in, in areas, I believe. Let me try to make another build. I might get rid of this Connie build. It's a great build. But I can bypass not having it and use another character to be exact same with it. Let me get rid of this. Actually, there's one skill tree I like. Wait, it's on Sunny, isn't it? It's on Sunny that I like. That skill tree. Let me see. Respect. Where's that perk? Let me see. Spotter, no. Pickle me, no. Sneak, no. Agitator. Safety numbers. Clear your eyes is one of them. And high in, yes, this is the perk. Okay. I'll teach you mates how to counter everything in the game. You ready? <laughs> it's gonna be insane. This way to earn XP. I have a video coming out tonight highlighting it. But usually it's just fuse, I believe. From what I've seen. This is the best exit. Now, do I want fuse information? Or do I want something else? Oh, very good.
Nice! Wait, we got a good build here. We got a very good build. What the hell? I shot what I mean. Is that all? Yeah, it is. Not enough accurate points, but it's still good enough. Clear eyes. High tolerance. Do I take fuse light with me? Or oh, fire back. It's fire back, I think. Fire back. That's good. Okay. So, from here, I want high endurance. And maybe the rest into here? Actually, maybe no high endurance. Like 40 endurance? And then the rest into there to get above 30. Yep, done. So, this is an interesting one as well. So, it's, I'm going to sacrifice self and proficiency for different things. And I'm making a build to counter Sissy. So, this is my build to counter Sissy completely. But it also counters other characters in the game too. It'd be quite nice. I can actually remove this though for healing perk. So I can always heal the damage that I'm taking from poison. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Like this. That's a CC counter build on Sunny. I think that would be kind of cool for a video. Let's do it. You do the Valve uh, Escape on Family House? I can. For sure. Should I title the videos like that? Valve Escape on uh, Family House? So people find it as well. Reversing Sissy. GG. We got it. We got her. We absolutely got her. This is like the best build to showcase here. I was thinking about taking efficiency, but don't need it. Oh, someone's going to switch. Become low face, please. I want this person to become low face. Someone else. Come on. Oh, he's ready to it. Nice. Gnarly stuff. Absolutely gnarly. Ready up. Gnarly, gnarly. So, if everyone readies up, I can showcase my build too, right now. Okay, my build for this class is highlighted right here. We have clear eyes, high tolerance, and bounce back better. This will help with my healing aspects for my kit. This will stop the poison effect duration on Sissy. So this build is meant to counter Sissy. So there's a countering Sissy build on uh, Sunny, which is kind of crazy. And then also Clear Eyes will give us vision on traps, poison objects, and even uh, locks by the cook. And the perfect part about this, we're versing the cook and also the CC at the same time. Perfect to see. And the rest of our skill tree is highlighted like this. So you can copy that skill tree to get the same components as well to counter Sissy completely in your matches as well. Or counter any trapping ca type of character. Then base that at 33 toughness, 5 endurance, and I'm happy with that. That is the build. Let's jump into action and let's have some fun here. I'm very excited for this. This is true counter to the playstyle of Sissy. Because I know Sissy be going crazy right now in all lobbies, and having this to prevent her from being anything strong is important. She'll still be potent, but this will help out with that duration. So maybe you get the chance to escape and survive those encounters against Sissy and against other trappers like Hitchhiker and also the Cook. So let's get to this. Well, team subscribers, if you are new, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, show that support. We're going crazy today with the content. And we stream every day, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Fun times.
Yeah, this part here. Get a lock tool as well. Let me open this door as well. Don't open that door when the cook's right there. He's partying. Oh, we're gonna be in the funnel. We're gonna be in the funnel here. Let me get out. Let me get out. We're gonna die here. Everyone's funneling. So we're gonna open the door in the burn room instead. So go over here. We go to the burn room. And Sunny's base stats are so good that you're pretty much good in everything except for stealth and proficiency, I would say. Unless you build for that. Build um, by purpose. So open this. Go backwards and get another unlock tool, which is from here. Actually, I won't get another one. Do that with me. I was gonna get rid of my medical supplies, but it might be useful. So we can activate our ability, just see where everybody's at. Seems like we're good. I think Cook's listening to our positioning. We double check what doors are locked if we get close by them, even around corners, up to two meters, and we'll see the indicator as well. Okay. That's Sissy right there. Well, I can tell you that this door isn't the door we're going to check for a while. So we're good here. Open that. Stay they could be anywhere. Please be a way out of here. Don't want to move here because of the center ping. Three, two, one, and we're good. What is that? You got a lock tool as well. You play a bit more self like here because now you're in a bit of a flannel. Good, nice work. Doing pretty well here on timing as well. Especially with Sunny. Do a Sony ping. Look at that. Is that Connie? That's Connie, I think. I think she's got the same picture. She went from the other way. Nice work. Open that, safe, and sound. Turn this off. Make sure my team's safe. She's gonna go for the lock, hopefully. The face skill tree layout, the actual, the main ability tree, or the actual skill itself. So then you have to, there's a couple of options. Hey, the cook's here. You open the door, I'll, I'll, I'll stall this guy. Yeah. Did you open the door? Why won't they leave me alone? She used her ability. Yeah, she used her ability. She's out of stamina, I think. Wait, there's no way you didn't open it. I think they Put her ability on it. <laughs> no. No, I might be dead here. Let's get out. But you see his lock as well. So that's alright to know. Let's heal up. And from here. Do this other pot too. I'm pretty much safe. Except for that. Now we got a sissy issue. Now with sissy, she can apply poison towards us. Which I will take 20% less of that duration. Yeah, look, ready recovered. No issue. All safe. 
And now, since we've taken damage from the well and CC, I'm gonna try to regain my HP. I got a health pot on me right now, and it has 25% more effectiveness. Heal up. Back to being brand new. That's how good it is. It's so good. Now we're gonna go for a, a getaway because this guy's hella close. I'm safe. Heal up. Back to full HP. I don't have to use all the big pots. I can just use small, uh, small pots and I'm all good. Let's get back to the very top level. You see how the perks are working together? It's quite nice. It's meant to counter Sissy in all aspects. So then if you do get away from her attack animations, you survive. And that I think is the most important part, is survival. And if you know the map pretty well, using movement to advantage, you'll get away from a Sissy. Because they will run out at some point. But using wells is the most important part. Use wells or barricades, where they can't go over, and the little face can break those barricades. It's very important. The whole team's there, waiting to make something happen. So I'm going to do I brought a knife with me, just in case, to stab Sissy. So I think we can move out and actually play this. Help. You know what? I feel like 1 HP. I need to make sure I'm back at full HP. There we go. Yes. I, I was missing one. Thank God. Now we go through here. There's two things that can happen here. Cook's already here. There we go. Cook and CC. We're all here together. Stun them. Stunned? I saved his life. I saved his life just then. Now he's gonna move before he dies. Don't die, man. I saved his life. I actually saved him big time. Now we're gonna go for another reset. You can fall down the well as many times as you want. You won't die unless you've reached a death point of being bleeding out, you know? You take a bit of damage though, that's for sure. So let's get this. Feeling better, feeling brand new. Heal up. Why don't you play the full squad? Do I need to? Do I actually need to play the full squad? That's the thing. I play this game solo and enjoy it. But a full squad would obviously be more funnier. But I think it would be too dominant as well. If they, especially if that play style, the same play style as me. So let's go from here. Upstairs. And now since that area is really pressured, and we use the ability to cross-reference, no one's on this side of the map, see? We're so safe. So we pick up a fuse here. Drop a burn shot for it. No face here though. Everyone's here. <laughs> I love it. Everybody's here. I brought the fuse with me, but we didn't, may not even need it, to be honest. He's having an outlook at him. He's looking at everybody. Open it up. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Oh, she failed it. He looks. He's looking at us, I swear. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now people die. This is the time where people die. No, why did you do that? She threw. I know they're still around. I'll see where this leads. Yeah, he's still safe. They see me anyway, actually. This is really bad.
Is he a basement? He's collecting blood. He's getting wax. It's not bad, we can make this work. I think it's still winnable. The, the cottage is raging at the jewelry. <laughs> it's so funny. Our oh, basement's gonna be open, get ready. Back in the game. Okay, get down back in. Doesn't matter, I'm leaving. Okay, we safe? Is that grandpa for culture? I know bone scrap. I would have. Hey, that bottle of wine. Get drunk. And let's go. It's time to get going. Away from this shithole. Level 5? No tide? Ain't gonna trace me. Come on, Connie, get down here, quick! Basement! Oh, you gone? Well done. GG. <laughs> done. Oh my god, what a match. This build is supposed to be direct counter to Sissy. Obviously, depending on how many encounters you go with this character, you need to make sure that you're ready with the mindset to reset, heal up, and keep yourself safe. But this build will make that stun duration that happens when you get poisoned less. You'll gain information about whereabouts of traps and indications of what to do around those situations. And with Sunny's ability, you can pretty much trace anything around you and be wary about those locations at the same time. And then with bounce better, all your healing's better. So just makes sense. Great game. Got the sewage exit from that. And I'd love to see it. What a match. What a great match to showcase this. Perfect kit. And I'll show you what the kit was. I think actually... No, I don't need to. I already showed you his kit. That's it. GG. <laughs> Great times. Oh my god. We'll save that as well, yeah? And of course my game crashes at that point. Or has error. If you mates are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button to keep updating the content. Hit that like button, show that support. It is greatly appreciated. I'm going to relaunch my game quickly. Follow us on Discord, follow our Twitch, all that good stuff. Scott's uh, June's new record is 12. Damn it, 12? My god, he's a mad lad. 12. I've got, I've got to be 12 now. I have to be 12. That's the world record. Oh no. Okay. May have to do world record soon. Okay, let's beat it. Let's beat the world record. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I could do right now. I kind of wanted to show everything. And I think I kind of did. Obviously, there's a lot more ideas, a lot more things we can progress with, understanding, give more information, guides, all that good stuff. And I'll be doing that very soon, obviously. I think right now, I want to try to beat this record. Said by Scott. So, Prez, 12. Yeah, the, the builds will shine a lot more. Yeah. The poison, it depends. One guy asked for the valve on Family House. Um, I could do that tomorrow as well. Okay, let's jump back into it. What build should we run? I had the agitated build earlier on... This character. If 
But now I don't know if I run the Julie build. Wait, do I run Julie instead? I can run the same builds, but now I have double stun. Yeah, actually on other character. Leland. Let's go. So where was it? The one I wanted? It was... This way. This. That. What was my other perk? That one. Yep. Done. If you have any questions, ask me in chat. It's maybe the perfect time for you to ask questions. So you can get them answered instantly. But if you have any ideas of what would be a good video on the channel, and you want to see it on the channel from, done by us, just give us a heads up too. It's really appreciated. House with the content. House with the grind. If it's showcasing a, a skill tree, I think I had a skill tree on the channel. But it's also in a Discord. I think that's the first one I ever did. I think that was on our Discord, the skill tree. I can try and find out what it looked like. In similarity. And there were some random perks in it, I remember. Do we not see anything? Nice. Is that good? I think so. Yep, that's good. That's so good. I don't have midnight still. I don't know how. I should have had midnight by now. The skill tree and lower face for that damage. The one you're talking about, the, the one the one I did ages ago, I think it was here. It was left, big swing. Then somewhere here and around this part, there was random perks that worked into it. That's all I remember. It was this way. It wasn't any other map, um, side of the map because I needed big swing. I ran around big swing and I ran, I think, um, one of those savagery perks that were based on stamina as well. That you get 10% increased damage underneath 50% stamina. I don't remember which one it was though. The actual name for it. But it doesn't matter, but you know. Somewhere there. Follow that route, you should be pretty close. It's jumping to victims. How are you always able to heal mid-chase? Um, confident. <laughs> That's maybe the aspect there. You have to be very confident with knowing how people play against certain things. Do videos to help to know where to play snares as Hitchhiker? I had a video on Hitchhiker gameplays. I did not directly teach you how to put snares in what locations, but in those videos, it teaches people. Oh, he's not my character, man. It would have been a perfect map for it too. So what map we should we look for? Should we look for gas station? The person that mentioned the record being broken, uh, I think it was Prez. Uh, the record being break, um, broken by the other player, uh, Scott June, the other content creator. What ha what map was he playing on? Was it gas station again? Because gas station seems to be the easiest. You're welcome. Hopefully that helps you in your games. Does some of the day map change the exit locations such as valves and fuse box locations? Actually, I think it does. I actually don't know though. I haven't paid attention to uh, setting of uh, time changing item locations. In my head, it just seems like it changes every match. Like there's a random spawn for something to happen. Sometimes same spawn, other times different spawn. You know? Come on, you don't need that character. You don't want that character. You have level one perks on him. What the hell? You're kidding me. That just happened. Okay. Stop repeating characters. Uh, sometimes the characters are not... The skill trees I don't show in those videos when it's repeating character due to the fact that it's more of a gameplay orientated thing. You know? It's more based on gameplay. There's no way that's his build. Okay, good. I was a bit wor uh, worrisome there. Yeah, look his build there. Jesus. That's disgusting. 
It's Sword House. Oh, interesting. My map. Sword House is my map. That's unbelievable. How do you solve the mini games with the fuse box? Matching colors and numbers. It's like it just it's just a addition. The two things to add together, the two colors in that uh, row to add together and equal the amount that's displayed right underneath that row. And do it for the above row and the below row and then it opens the basement or the sweat extract. Ready up, let's go. Thank you. Okay. So, world record attempt here. We're going to try to beat the world record. I'm going to spend an hour on this and see what we can do. World record attempt. Stabbing Grandpa. More than, not nine times, which was the first world record. Twelve by Scott, another DBD consecrator that's playing Texas right now as well. So, this should be quite fun to see what happens here. So, stab Grandpa to death, kill him, and have a fun time doing it. So, why the hell not? Okay, burn scrap as well. I might take my time with this one. So we're just safe down basement. So my teammates don't die instantly. Remove the secret door on gas station to on the extract. I think they should modify it. It's too easy. Like it make that door and the door be before it locked as well. They have to press a generator or battery. There should be three locked doors that way. Instead of two. This guy's gnarly. He's like so close. Oh, well, the main noise it means the door's opened. Should move. <laughs> oh my god, both of them? Both? Oh! I'm dead to the poison. Well, GG. What is. Move to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. <laughs> what is that? You guys started dancing. What? What was that? <laughs> I cannot. This game sometimes? Jeez. <laughs> the Cha Cha Side World Record. Damn. I beat those. Jeez. <laughs> God. Mates are new to the channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that like button. Share those support. Greatly appreciate it. Follow us on Twitch. Join our Discord, all that good stuff. Let's we'll jump into another match. Yeah, we got Sword House. I think I got this. 24, 23, 20. Also, what's the place on he was versing high level or low level? Because that comes into the equation as well. For the challenge. Uh connect tutorial on Family House? We can do that after. Maybe not today. Maybe another day for sure. The search continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. Her vehicle was recently discovered abandoned, with officials reporting no signs of foul play. Authorities are hopeful. Let's get this. Let's enjoy this. This is going to be quite fun. Let's have some crazy moments here. Try and build and beat a world record set by Scott. Another consecrator at 12 stabs on Grandpa in a row in one match. You know what I mean. Let's get going. And this is my map. 
I was born here. In the darkness of the sword house. So let's win this. Oh, I'm, who cares? I'm making the noise. It's taking too long. Grab it. Nice. Trap. Center door is unlocked. Going up. Nice. Oh, the best on bone pile. Yes. RNG is on my side. RNG is on my side. Oh, God. Got poison start dancing. I know that last game was hilarious. No, just having somebody No, 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 no. No, somebody thing. No. It's mad lad. One. Get the count ready. One. I'm shanking him to death. <laughs> <laughs> That's one. Oh, he's coming. He's right there through the crack. I can stab him if he comes in here. He might be coming this way. No, I think he left. Okay, we're good. Hey, Jogger, is the basement? Watch out. Jogger, can I use this? Did you see me? K2? Oh my god. I'm killing him! I told you! He's dying! <laughs> Help me! I'm stuck! Help me! The two on me! I ain't jumping down, boy. This is my world. My place. No! No! He's doing switcheroo! If you don't win this boy, I win. I win. Yeah, you want to order something? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a cafeteria right now. Let me. Oh, you need um, you need a chicken? Yeah. You're saying. Yeah. Here's your chicken. You done? Now you want eggs? Okay, I get it. Give me a second. Yep. Here's your eggs. What else you need, hitchhiker? No, we, we don't sell that here. We don't sell drugs here. Leave. Leave. Be gone, thought. Okay, I gotta move. Oh god, they're on me. Um, uh, let me think about this. Um, two kills, uh, AFK. I made them DC. I'm too good! I'm a busted man. You can't kill me. Grab his mind. I win these. I win these mind games. And concussion. Boink. Eat shit. How'd you know? You're ruining my run, man. Piss off. God, man. He found me again. He found me. You dirty bugger. 
fucking kicking the shit out of this generator right now. Nice, nice. Sleepy, I dumb. Sleep if I can. Because this, this exit's open, uh, the parking lot exit. Nice. I'm kind of busy with the challenge here. I'm too good. I'm too good. Too good. Absolute mad lad. He's your grandpa now. You had it right. We switched targets. <laughs> this guy's textbook. He doesn't like me. I can tell you that. He just closed the door. He doesn't bother. Hey, I don't like that man. <laughs> God, man. He's closed the door. Wait, give me a second. Give me a second. This is a whole different video now. All right, we can't even do the challenge anymore. Give me a second. Hey, he's watching me. Look. Hey, you don't put that trap down. Hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> give me a second, give me a second. Oh, oh, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it first. <laughs> no! Oh, we're together. What's that matters? I'll run with you. I was having such a fun time. I was having such a fun time with it. My god, this build is hilarious. And welcome to the new viewers. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that new uh, subscribe button. Keep up to date the content. Means the world. And also, follow us on Twitch. Show the support. Maybe one of the best players out there for this game. I think I am, to be honest. But it depends on how the mates think about it. That's the most important part. What do you think? Am I one of the best players out there? Tell me in the chat. I'd love to know. Can we see the Leland build? That's the one right there. That's the build. The one I'm currently running. Live servers like this. Wait, this reset. Oh my god, I didn't even have it fully maxed. I'm a devastated, actually. That's full build. And the stats there. It's quite beautiful. Well, the game ends, uh, it just DC'd, and it takes like another three seconds, and then it kicks you out of the lobby. So, sadly, that wasn't the game that we could do it for us. Yes, you are. I usually don't like streamers, but you? Perfect. Thank you. Absolutely, thank you. How many times do you go stab Grandpa? Technically, the killing aspect is more of like a meme aspect. It's not really killing him. But if you kill him, you take him back to level zero. And then you actually get another, you know, continuation of your turn. But you can keep stabbing him continuously. Every time he progresses in level, or doesn't even, you can still stab him. It's the best part. And the goal we're trying to beat now is 12. It has to be the lucky number 12. I love that number. Welcome to you subscribers. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Right now, since someone imposed the challenge and I have to do the challenge now, I'm stuck. I have to beat it. I don't know if we're going to play family right now. But playing this has been quite fun and enjoyable. Yeah, I think I might stick to Victor for the rest of the night, maybe. Maybe some other things after. Like, kills are fun because of killing. But what we're doing right now is making the three killers, though, which are kind of heavy to verse. 
Um, and then we just break the ankles and have fun. Is that enough? It goes back to sleep. That's a rumor. Wow. Possible. It's hard to say possible to do. No doubt. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. Eric, how you going? Well, to you followers on Twitch, welcome, welcome. I was thinking about playing family after, but maybe not today. After this victim aspect right now, I'm having a lot of fun with this build. This this build is very unique. You know that? It's heavy harass, and you get everything for pretty much free. Because you're the main distraction, the main aggro, the main everything. And I find that to be really enjoyable. Oh, this is a good build too, but these two perks are kind of a nuisance. Why would you run that unless you're running Endurance Julie? No stealth. But her base stealth is so high up that even these stuff is not that considerate. Oh, that's no Sona Ping. Never mind, that's good. This one here, no. I have to remove that one. Hey, Spooky, how you going? I think I can do the challenge. I definitely can. How do I not have this? I didn't get it. I should have it easily. I've played more than 20 games. I'm going to say I've played nearly 50 games of uh, Leland. I know that. There's no way I've played only 20. Or well, less than 20, sorry. No way. He's my most used victim in the game. And that's because of his charge animation. And it's a guaranteed stun. When you don't have a bone shot, it feels like the best thing to have. Compared to all the other characters. Like, they're all good in their own way. But having a stun to save your life is really good. So every possible, um, possible location for all the items? I could. I don't know how to name that. Oh, we'll be, it depends. We'll have to see. We'll try to work on that today as well, but it's been quite hard. We'll try this world record attempt. 12 stabs against Grandpa. Kill him. Make him sleep forever. Eternal slumber. It is for him. That's the path we've chosen for him. And the record has been set by Scott, a DBD consecrator. That's playing Texas right now. So we have to beat it. We have to beat it. This is my game. I beat it. You have to have the perfect scenario and the perfect RNG. You know about Too slow, man. What? Another one? Oh, GG. I'm stuck. Whoa! I'm not stuck. There's, a, there's an invisible barrier there. There's an invisible barrier that blocks you when you crouch. Watch out for that. Be careful. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Du -du 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 -du. Fast as lightning. Oh, he's not coming. Good. Okay, we're good. We're stabbing Grandpa. Non stop. That's what we're doing, casual. I was going to knock him out just then. I hear him. No burn pile. Oh no. I got one. This is gonna be infinitely harder. Got bad RNG, but it's alright. Now it depends what grandpa spawns though. Oh my god, no, not sunbathing. The the dirty bastard. He's sunbathing. One stab. Let's run back. So the problem with sunbathing, they get guaranteed wall hacks to me. That's yeah, one stab. So I was already escaped from the basement. Oh, I thought it was full escape. Never mind. Yes. 
Oh, who needs to travel off? Well, okay. One step. Let's see if we get more. Is that the cook? <laughs> I tried, I tried. I had to try it. We're good. Hey! Rude. It's still one strike. I can die here, though. Okay, two. I'm dead. I can't go back up the ladder. No, I'm dead. See that like buckle? We got out of this. Is that two? That's two, yeah? That's two. Three, it's really hard. That that one there is awful. I hope this works. Please. I'm in the worst spawns, by the way. Three only is awful. The amount of time time it's taken to get up there. Is this even safe? I'm dead here. I don't think I survived this one. We try our very best, though. That's full. Five. No, I knew they were here somewhere. He can't see me. He can't rotate his camera. No way. He rotated his camera. How did he rotate it on that angle? That's crazy.
<laughs> oh god. I love the way I'll play. What the hell is wrong with these people? I love the way I'll play, it's so fun. Yeah, is the door open? That's the only shot I have right now. I can get myself killed going down here. Does look open. Stream time is becoming grandpa for sure. Honestly, I don't know. It's like really bad. They're camping it, man. How many are we at? Four or five? What was it? Four or five? He has got to level one only all that time it took to get to level one. He's capping it. I have an opening. Did he see me? What a camper, man. Five, I believe. Nice. How about that? He's very close. Watch me go mad. He'll be there the whole time checking it, and then I go there now. Okay, six. Oh, it's stunning. Six is pretty good. This is my only issue, empty. Slow down. I need to stay quiet. Halfway there, I know, right? On the hardest spawn too. It's not even the easy spawn. I have a harder game here than anyone else could ever have. Feel bad using that, but I had to. Can't get one shot by little face. Hey, Gramps, how you going, man? Number seven. Seven stabs. You got this, you're built different. Thank you. I love the confidence. I love the confidence. I think this is the day we actually break it. I'm going for 15. I think we have seven now. I'm not mistaken. It's happening. Now pro we've got problems. Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. I see um, Lilliface. That's eight. I'm trying to kill Grandpa. Beat the world record at 12 stabs. I'm at number eight. I need four more to beat it. On the hardest spawn too. Number nine. Nine steps. I might have this in the back. I hate cook moving. I hate cook with moving. I move. That's nine. That was the pass record. That was set by Scott. Now I'm going to pass a new one, which is 12. I might find another pot. I need to heal up. He's chasing me, isn't he? You're at nine. 
Let's try to get number 10. He's hanging around you. I'm dead, I'm dead. Number 10? Get out 10? Left face, please don't be here. Can't beat me, loser. I know the map better than you. Dehydrating. I'm dehydrating, shit. Hey, stop this too. Have eleven. Die, you bastard. How many are there? Come on. Okay, number 12. Number 12. 13 was the prediction. You are right. I think it could be 13. Uh, any health pots left? I can't think of any. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. 
One, two, three. Uh, I've used all everything there. There could be one spawn here. On my right. Not didn't spawn. One here. Got it. No, someone used it for... Shit. Yeah, I got some meds, got some meds. Yeah, we're out of meds. We're out of meds on this part of the map. It's all gone. We're at 12. I want to beat it. I want to beat 13. And, uh, if I die, I die. I don't care. As long as I get 13. Fudge! Give me 13! No! 13! I'm happy. I'm happy. We broke it. You son of a gun. Scott, try to beat that. Eh? 13. I can't even beat that even myself. I think I can go even further. He had a bad start too. Fourteen! Hell yeah! Woo! Fourteen! Take me! Take me! 14! 14 is God! New world record! Look at me! I die! You can't have me! No one can! Wait, recover, recover! Come on, get up! Get up! We go for 15, we go for 15! I can make it happen! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go! No! They're all over. Stay I win these. You're not taking me. No one kills me. I kill the whole lobby. GG. Oh, I'm still alive. Wait. For examples, this is why I'm the best streamer in this game. Get it right, mates. The best, the best of the best. You've never seen anything better than this. You've never seen anything better than this. Be shocked. Be surprised. I'm the best of the best. 15 it is. I die with number 15. I die with number 15. I can extend it, maybe. Can I? 15! Big 15! Hell yeah. Time for us to depart. To our death. We die now. No! 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 <laughs> well done! 15! 15! Smashing the world record. You gotta love that. A world first. World record striked right here. In my first attempt of today. Oh my. Oh, actually, second attempt of today. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. 15 stabs. Grandpa be sleeping. He be dead again. Unlucky. He had to encounter the grasp. The, the grasp of the Lordy. And the wraith that we are with Chadland. Oh my god. That's a high and a half. Jesus. Well, if you mates are new, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, join our Discord, join our Twitch, follow us on Twitch, whatever it may be, just, just do it. Just do it. Support the channel so you keep more content like this ongoing. That is 15. 15. You get waiting for mental damage done to them. Yeah, they're, they're going crazy right now. 15. My God. This is insane. How's it even fair? 15 stabs. Crazy stuff. GG's. Absolute GG's. Scott, beat that.
Beat that, Scott. Beat it. Beat it. <laughs> Let's save that. That's insane. Not to flex. I think I can do 20. I can do 20 now. I know how to do it. Wait, how long did that go for, that match? Jesus. That was a 25-minute match. Do we just upload that right now? I'll upload it in 10, actually. Give me a second. I'll upload it in 20 minutes. It'll be out as a video. It was too good. I have to upload it. Like, come on. Oh, my God. He's faster than Scott's. His was 26 minutes. Jesus. I was faster, and I had a shit start. I, I was already saying it was a throwaway. Remember the start of the game? I'm like, this is a throwaway. I can't do it. These guys are roaming everywhere. They're camping. And I'm like, there's no way I can do it. And I, I went around the whole bloody map, outplayed them, and made it happen. And the hardest spot too. The hardest spot to get to. And made it work. Needs to be ASAP. Show the, uh, your alpha Chad dominance. I think so. And all those plays. Standing them with the door. Everything was so good. It was so good. Wait. Give me, give me a break. Let me like, you know. Get off this uh, high that I'm on right now. That's unbelievable. Smash that world record. That's insane. It was so tense towards the end. I thought I was going to die at 10. 10 or 12, I thought I was going to die at it. I honestly thought. I was looking at it. I'm like, yeah, I'm dead. This is going bad. And I just kept pushing and pushing and made it work. That's a world record. That's why we're one of the best games out there. I'm glad you guys have witnessed that live on stream. Absolutely amazing. Let me put these on. What should we name it? I named it... Uh, currently, the title for that video is called... Give me a moment. Give me a moment. I'll show the title. Next is 20. I ain't doing it until he beats it. I can beat 20, though. I can definitely beat 20. With that movement and all that tech, I can beat that 20. So I call it the New World Record Grappa Stabs 15. Texas Chainsaw Massacre Game. That's it. That's it. Clean. Clean. Good title? <laughs> I think it's good. I think it's good. Oh, wait. Wait, I got another one. You won't believe what happened. There we go. That, that's how that, that works. You won't believe. That's it. I just thought you won't believe. That's it. And they're like, what? What do you mean you don't believe? That's it. That's all that's necessary. Oh, you didn't record it? You should record it. It's important. That's how you make it a legit play. Oh my god. 12 grandpa stabs in one game. Let me see. Let me see it. Did it happen recently? I see. Wait, let, let me let me beat that. Let me let me beat that. Let me fix it. Uh I was like, new world record. Grab it. Uh, ooh. Nope. 15 grabber stabs. One game. <laughs> Enjoy that. Enjoy that. Yeah, it was that last part. You don't understand. You, you, the door play. What I had to do there was crazy. I, I had to swing the door twice to stun both sides. It's insane. Hey, kid, how you doing, man? Glad to be back. Make you rec recover in the locker. Oh, that's a nice mechanic. I thought there'd be locker plays too. So that's cool to see. Okay, let's try and jump into another one. I want to do something. 
And I, I don't know if I should showcase the build in action. Be more aggressive with it. Just do like aggressive chat land. That's how I build. I think that would be a good idea. Let's do aggressive chat land. I'm still shocked of how that all turned out. It's insanity. Pure insanity. Make sure everything's better here. And I see it, Prez. Well, you asked for the world record and a beat in the first match. Our uh, second match is insane. World record stabbing Grandpa in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'll put the number there, too. I put it as... Where is it? You think I should take over the new or just leave it as world record? Yeah, I'll leave it as world record. Stuff it. So put world record 15 Grandpa stabs in one game. That's the title currently. For that video that's coming out in like 10 minutes. You have tips from uh, losing every game? Watch his gameplays. Watch everything we do. Learn play by play, and you'll be able to incorporate in your own gameplays. I think we've showcasing the best high level skill you can have as a victim player in this game. So keep that in mind. Use that to your advantage and win your games just by doing so. Oh, internet pings too high. Love to see it. You should make sound when uh, searching for items. You do. There's a sound, uh, depending on what sound you're talking about. You're talking about the sound indicates the red zone. That red zone is only shown uh, to the enemies when it's at red line. But if it's not a red line, you can still hear them uh, trying to go for items when you're close proximity. You can hear the sound of it. You probably stream on YouTube or Twitch. Both, actually. So they're both streaming right now at the same time. So you watch this on YouTube or on Twitch. And you got to have a community on both. You support the channel on both. It means the world. You have a stealthy Leland build? Nah, I haven't done that. I'm actually not interested in that. A stealthy Leland build? Maybe not the best. I would put that put it on Julie or Sunny or Connie. Uh, on this character, it's a bit different. Wow, I had three network errors. One timed out, one big time error. Now we're going to get in internet credentials not matched or some shit. Watch. All at once. One by one. It's doing a world record against me with errors in this game. It's actually insane. At a level zero, level face, level four. Yeah, but th those guys weren't level zero. They were all level 20 plus. The people were versing. Level 20 plus on account level and level 10s on the characters. So that was the, the hardest it was going to get. Probably out of ba bounds glitch yet. I've seen it. It happened to me. And I just quit the game. I don't like it. What's the point of doing it? You don't gain anything. It's just like you're out of the map. Yeah, also the other people are playing um, loud than stealthy, yes. That happens. Ah, it depends. There's always build for everything. And this is my build, 100%. Yeah, that was before, but now you can. There's multi-streaming uh, for everything. It was like released last November, I think. November is when they changed it. November or December last year. When you get multi stream. Yo, yo. I like little kids in my basement. <laughs> I love. You. What? I'm not respond to that. What is that? You are my fire. My one. 
Desire. Hey! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I need a song. I need a song. I had to do it. <laughs> oh god. That's hilarious. From being weird and creepy at the start with this little this kid was. And then after it he sings a song like that. It's so weird. <laughs> That's just gaming things, honestly. It's the way the gaming world works. What's the best victim build you found? I think I'm liking this one. This could be the best or the one the self aspects. How are you uploading videos while streaming? Multitasking. That's what I do. I multitask. Like crazy. How's the Taekwondo ability work like when I use it? It doesn't work. Uh, slam doors. You can't close doors. Someone slam. The face, boy. Oh, you got you got slam doors. What do you use to multi-stream? Right now, Streamlabs. I might have to change it because there's been a lot of issues with it. But that's what I'm currently using. That's what I got started with, so I just got stuck with it. You have some jewelry builds. Uh, some of them on the channel. Some of them are being uploaded later today. So keep an eye out for it. They'll be out today. I already recorded them. They'll be out. Oh, there's no low face. Someone pick low face. Come on. Just pick it. Just bloody pick it. Stop being fucking selfish. Cat. Yeah, you tell him. You tell him. Who cares? Just play the bloody character. Choose low face. Oh my god. No game. There's going to be no game there. They won't, wouldn't bust. On their choices. Okay, well. I'm just shocked at how everything went. Wait, what character have I got? This is the wrong character. No. Who's the best killer? If you want something that just does everything, I think it's Sissy. I think Sissy does everything. She's just good at every component. You just have to understand how to play her, and then it's super simple. But since the game like this is designed on roles, like every character has a role, and then they become the best at that role. You know, they're not best killer. You can't just choose one. But Sissy feels like she's a bit of everything. So that's why I say Sissy usually. She has the Russian K build. She has the damage build. She has the... Oh my god, I got all there is. Oh, reset. She has everything in her kit. So she's able to do anything she wants. And still be very effective. Even though her savagery is low, it still does high damage. Because of the um, attack speed you get. From constantly hitting enemies and such. It's really good. You're going back to the game again? Wait, he's 12 stab record that he got. There's someone, uh, one of the mates in, uh, on the stream went to Discord, put, posted in our chat, in the TCM channel, in our chat. He got 12 stabs against a medium level team. Technically, it was much higher than them as well. So we did pretty good here. I'm happy with that. We have a lot of builds on our channel. If you want to look at builds and find what build matches your playstyle, there's a lot. Just go through all the characters and all the videos we have. Choose which one you want to choose from. Like, do you want to play Sunny? Do you want to play Sunny with uh, Aura Reading? Do you want to play Sunny Counter Build? You can choose which one and then figure out if which one you like the most. Because at the end of the day, it's playstyle. Everything's based on playstyle. I can maneuver and change my build continuously and adapt with different playstyles for content for the mates to see how good it is in every playstyle. But majority of the time, I just want to be more aggressive with my playstyle. I enjoy that the most. Hey, JJ on Twitch. How you doing? Oh, someone asked what the orange perks were. I didn't even get to answer that time. Orange perks are savagery. They do more damage.
What? Did I already up? I already have the wrong character, my bad. Thirty two skill points? Was it the same build I had last time? So people were asking why the, uh, why is there so many skill points on Cook? And I couldn't figure out why. I thought it was just the pathing I, I took that gave me more skill points. So that could be the case. Welcome to you, subscribe. Welcome, welcome. Can we ne nearly all the times? You can on Cook and also um, Johnny. I, sh I showed components of it on, my, on the channel already. Just I don't have the level 3 perks available yet. The core abilities to make it even easier to showcase. 38, 30, 42. That's good stats. Yeah, the bot pathing path gives most skill points. I thought so. I actually thought that was the case. Because I look at other characters, I'm like, they don't have the same amount of skill points to utilize. That's cool to see. Yo, no Jontis, let's highlight this build in action. It's pretty much using my Leland build. I'm a very aggressive player. And this is going to be aggressive Chadland, aggressive Leland in the family house of Blave. And it should be quite fun. To highlight this today. Another disturbance was reported at the event. Guys, into the action. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually go loud because I don't care about sound in this game. Like, it matters with certain builds and when your team is all doing it together. But if your team doesn't do it and you're not doing it, it doesn't matter. It's your plan. Let's go. And let me get over here. He's close by. I won't be, won't be able to stab him in time. So their spawns are so weird these days. Thank you. Where's he gone? See how upstairs? We're upstairs, why? That's crazy. Keeping this. The more doors you open, the more freedom you have in the basement, which is so important. On especially a map like this when it's smaller, it just feels way better. Oh crap, that lagged out. Doesn't matter, who cares? I only need to. And my vice trap is now gone. So up top. I'm gonna help her. I'm gonna help her, she's about to die. No, no. Oh my god, that's so sad. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I chained it. <laughs> oh, oh, one more, one more, one more. Now I'm dead. <laughs> Give me a second, let me heal up. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh god, that was hilarious though. That was hilarious. <laughs> He's collecting the blood, I love it. No time to waste there. No! 
No, he got me. He got me. No, he pulled me back. No. No. Oh, God. Do you get more XP as Victim? Yeah, definitely. Definitely more XP on Victim. Very easy to gain. It's just so much easier. I can't believe it. Oh, I was so ready for just going crazy there. How do you slam doors like that? You run into them. Run into the door and press it. It's very important. Uh, welcome to you. Follow on Twitch. Welcome, welcome. I think I'm actually mad exhausted from how much content I made today. It's actually insane. Oh, it's just family. Well, you guys have the same pictures. Well, how's that possible? Yeah, Victim's great. Because you have this moment where you know family is strong to a certain degree, but playing as victim and now playing, it takes a level of skill. And family, you can't you have that same level of skill because you have to verse these victims as well. And so it's a nice like time to actually switch between sides continuously and learn how to play both sides at a high level. Or at the highest level, I'm gonna say. At this point in time at least. Are you going to attempt to beat your current world record again? Or wait to get surpassed? I'm going to wait to get surpassed. Until Scott beats it. I'm going to wait for Scott to beat it. Because I know he's going to do it. Scott's going to beat it. And he's going to try. He's going to beat it on the same map. And then I'm going to do it again. And then I'm going to get 20. So, either way. I'm all good. So, I'll wait for him to surpass it. If Scott's streaming, send it to him. Send him the video. It should be out now, actually. I'll show you streams too. Uh, no, he's not. When he's live, send it to him. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be the goal. Once he surpasses them, then I'll catch up again. Just wondering, wouldn't the family perk that increases damage by 10% but attacks uh, require 300% more stamina? Good on Bubba. Yes. From the first day, we played uh, Leatherface. On that first stream, we made a best bubble build, and we run that build. It's called Big Swings. Run it. I know the perk you're talking about. Big Swings. Keep it on the character. It's pretty good. I've went for a different build these days, but that gives you a huge amount of damage pretty quickly. If you upgrade that with Vile, another perk called Vile uh, Ents, I think it's called. If you upgrade that to level 3, and also that perk Big Swings to level 3, you got huge damage capabilities. Potentially one-shotting at level 3, I believe. At a heavy strike. Ready up. How, how much longer are you playing stream? Uh, another hour or less around that time. So you have mo three more games, possibly. What well, victim is best for XP? I said Connie because of her strategy of just opening things quickly. But honestly, it could work with any character. But there's a, there's a certain way of doing things that means you get XP. I, am, I have a video that will be out later today. On We did it on stream, but it will be out later today on the, on the actual channel. They actually highlight step by step.
Good job with this. Let's have some fun. On this character. Go nuts. Absolutely nuts. Welcome to you subscribers. Welcome, welcome. I enjoy this game too much, honestly. What a blast. Streaming every day. Going absolutely crazy with these builds. This is my aggressive chat lab build. Let's have some fun with it. Let's see what occurs. Let's get this. Let's open this door here. He's right next to Julie, I think. We may have caused an issue. Wait. You know what? I don't know what issue we caused. We caused no issue. No way she's coming here too. <laughs> I'm a troll. I'm an absolute troll. Oh shit! It's getting heated! It's getting heated! That was gonna be real bad for us. That was about to be real bad. Back to brand new. I can get him. So you may think I'm actually trying to attack. Oh no, I closed the wall on me. <laughs> oh shit, he's stuck. <laughs> You're trash, man. You're trash. Get out of here. <laughs> We're gonna leave before Sissy gets here. No way. Give me out. No. I'm dead. I'm dead. Axel Troll, yeah. That's what I do, man. It's my favorite build. Absolutely my favorite build. Is this even safe?
Someone's dying. Why should they put bone scrap here? It's in dirty location for it. Alright, stop, Grandpa. We need too many levels up. Uh, yeah. There's a fuse box. I see it. Let's go over here. See the fuse? What do we have here? She definitely saw me. I'm dead. Oh wow. I knew they were here somewhere. Leatherface saw me. Useless. Wish you could carry me. I think mean, everybody wishes I can carry them. Why'd I stop? <laughs> Lost again. I gotta see it. I'm dead. Ah, uh, it didn't slam. It didn't slam. <laughs> oh, it's too funny. I'm having fun. I'm absolutely having fun with this. You definitely deserve more recognition, brother. No one else is doing what uh, the content you're uh, doing, or con like doing it like you, content-wise. I can't read right now. I'm dying. <laughs> That's what happens after a long ass stream. Eight hours. My God. <laughs> thank you for the compliment, uh, Inverse. Thank you. Thank you. Well, to you subscribers. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> oh Jesus! Breaking down as I'm reading. Yo, I'm starving. I got like another. I can do another two matches, maybe. That should be good. Two good matches, though. It has to be two good matches. Okay, we've got a bit of an issue. Lost my character. Yeah, my ultimate died ages ago. Preferring a crazy low face ability. Two hits, it does a stall. Which one is it? Is it the rough kind to... The rough kind to the other unique ability? I can't remember what it's called. Hey, can I on uh, Twitch? How you doing? We're doing very well. Unable to connect to servers. Wait, wait a minute. That's a new one. Unable to connect to servers? Did the servers reset? Did I get banned? No. Still here. Good. I know I'm good. I'm not, that, I'm not a hacker though. That's something to keep in mind. I'm good. Not a hacker. Don't ban me. My awesome plays I make. Jesus.
Just joined Loving already? Glad to see you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of different builds for Leatherface. Uh, the one I did earlier today, which will be up in a video, if not ready, uploaded, or later today. I, I like that one the most. It's not one-shot K build. Uh, it doesn't have one-shot uh, K abilities, but you never run out of stall, and you can just keep hitting. And it's just light, more light attacks. Okay, medium charged, essentially. Not full charge on the rev. And that seems to be the best for me. I enjoy that the most. Ready up, let's go. Hey, give me a minute. Nah, let's go, man. Time to fly. Oh, okay. Take your time. You're welcome. See, that's the thing about this screen. This screen was meant to be a counter screen. And nobody, no, no one's taking that as the idea. So, what ends up happening here, if I see they have Sissy, and they have, this is their team comp, I go in my perks, and if my perks weren't universal, I will change it, but like, oh, let me change my next loadout. Let me use this perk, and let me go here, and choose this perk, because, you know, love face hits hard, and then I want to go for more mobility and encounter aspects. Yeah, let's go for this. And you make your second build, and then you go from there, and you burst them. Or you reset your whole skill tree, and make a whole build for that, against the team comp. It's a bit tedious, but that's how this uh, time works here. There's enough time right, to make a whole build. Thank you, thank you very much. For You're welcome. Your kindness and your patience. I can't even talk to him. You're welcome. You're welcome. Come and hear me. You're welcome. I'll give you. Search continue. <laughs> you a one tap cook build? Not yet. I think it's possible though. Depends if he has serrated or not as well. Hey, cool. Are you on? Let's get into this. Aggressive Chadland. What we're known for. I'll make sure we survive this though as well. Showcase the full capabilities of the kit. Let's get out of this. Let me get some bone scrap. Thank you. The rest of the team's here as well. Where's well, Bobby out? I stole them so they can open the doors. I hear him. What just happened there? This is awful. Shanked. Enjoy that. Shanked again. Enjoy that. Go to sleep. Love you live. Thank you. You know the funny thing is, I can read chat and play the game. I'm not even looking at my screen at half the time. It's actually crazy. Gonna hear me. So I know the map off, uh, off so well. I just have a single glance at it. I know I'm going. I need to stay quiet. Is he breaking? I can't hear him. He just disappeared. Yeah, it's been eight, eight hours. Actually nuts. He's like someone up here. No, someone died. No, they're not here. It's on the other side. Just the echoes through this whole basement like that. Did they ever escape the basement?
Interesting. And the door's open. So this one. Does beat me there. I'll try dragging the basement. Here we go. Nice. We gotta go. We gotta go. It's getting heated. Stay in there. Better than nothing. I am the killer. The watch of the killer. I am the killer. She's still there. I heard a crawl through here. Or crawl through somewhere. What do we have here? Oh, she did. We have a bit of an issue. Oh, he has instant activation. That guy's nuts. Looks like it sounds like instant activation. Last player live already. Okay, 1v3, let's do it. 1v3, you ready? 1v3, I feel it. I'm dead. I'm dead. I just got myself healed. This is too cocky. This is too cocky. Made it. Do you know?
Should we reapply the poison? That's gnarly. I'm dead here. I can't win this. Do I think? There's not enough spacing. I'm gonna die to bleed. Nah, can't do it. That's it, GG. <laughs> I could have slammed it. I could have slammed it. <laughs> oh, God. I got a tea bag for a sissy. You see that? Oh, jeez. Well, I enjoy these builds. It's not to the point where I just want to kill. Welcome to your subscriber. Welcome, welcome. Like to the channel. If you new, press the subscribe button. Show that support means the world. Hit that like button as well. Greatly appreciate it. Follow us on Twitch. Join our Discord. Be part of the community. Well, I am. I know about that now. I'm done with that build. I'm done. I'll use it after. I need a refresh. This Julie build, I don't want to lose it though. Same thing though. Mm, we'll get rid of it. Respec. I feel like playing family. After all that, I have to play family now. It's too good not to play. Just for you, Cyberpunk. Just for you. This is what a match or two. I'll try and max out low face overnight as well. Even off stream, I'll try to play a couple games and get more low face gameplay and all the unique things and see what I can do with that. If I can make a crazy build for it or not. This, give me that. This. That too. Missing one point. Where is it? There's one little point down there. 50 points only. This is actually really bad for attributes, but it doesn't matter. I was running this last time. I wonder if I can replace it. Actually, going for information builds not too bad here for me. For my build that I'm trying to do. Oh, we got it! Hell yeah! We got a gameplay. We got a gameplay. And somehow I got it. After how long I've got it. Thank you, uh, Tyler. Thank you. Enjoy, enjoy. It's bow time for sure. Oh, come on. Give me... Man, he, can't, he won't give me it. I have a feeling. Ooh, wrong button. Muscle memory. Muscle memory. I blame that. Yeah, you just have to do every, all the changes for your characters that you choose. You have to do it in lobby. That's the only thing. Family? And we're from there.
Oh, I didn't get that after all that time I waited. Really? Really? Damn it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm actually shocked from the uh, people watching my matches before they quit. You know that? I expect people to just quit and go to the next match to make as much XP as possible. But they watch the gameplay of someone else going through the whole match while in that same match. Does that make sense? 15 stabs? Yeah. I, I broke it. I actually broke the challenge. You're welcome. I told you. I had it. I can even beat that. I actually think I get 20 or 25. At my timing, I looked at it. Just thinking about it, my timing was off. I even said in the very start of the video, this is not going to happen. And look, it made it happen. So I can get easily 20 or 25. Easily. Even against the best teams. Unless they perm actually permacamp that area. Then maybe not. Gimme, gimme. Wait, who's he partied with? He's partied with a ghost. He's in a party with nobody. That's why. Perfect. So I went for the green perk this time instead of the other one because I didn't care about the damage output. I care about the information. Yeah, I could do 20 easy. Should be really fun. We'll do it tomorrow if they beat if if Scott or someone else beats our record. Like I'll just put the challenge out there. Ot Scott, any huge content creator in this game, or anyone in general that can try and beat this, go for it. Beat the 15. I'll beat the and then I'll get 20 right after it. Try to surpass me, I'll get 20. Simple as that. I'll make it happen. I have no issue with that. Welcome to you, Scrammer. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Um, let me see what I can do. The search continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen I think this might be my last match. We'll do this as last match. For today. Let's go ham. And hopefully this is a crazy match. Let's get it. Crap out needs Anchor. Jesus Christ. Let's get it. Old lady. Leatherface. Let's get it. The last match of the stream today. How we've got the skin. It took forever. It was like bugged. I feel like I played 50 matches with this character, but we got it. We finally got it. Let's try to make them bleed, and let's just try to get some kills as well. Because why the hell not? That'd be an interesting build, but it's just a build for fun that I want to test. There's no lag in the server. It's perfect. It's the best server ever. Oh my god, look at it. Look at it. Looks so cool. And freaky-like. To a bold spot. Damn. Let's go and find these targets. Three. Three, uh, two hits actually, it's not three, it was three, but two. Uh, the third one didn't hit. So we need one more and he'll bleed out. Come on, old lady, let's get this. I didn't want to kill him. I felt bad. I completely smoked him, but I want to see him bleed. I know he's gone, though. Oh, he, he bled! He bled already! I missed the opportunity to pick him up! I lost him. Let's just go for kills, stuff it. Let's just go for kills. 
when we can. That's close. Chicken all doors now. Can't believe I missed it. Basement exit's already open. Oh, look, we're gonna get another gameplay. Let's get another one. What the hell was that? Was that a Connie speed run? The main door? What was that one? What door was it? Let me see. Has to be a Connie speed run. So I let this area be open. Yeah, there we go. See, I knew it. Oh, I'm gonna get you killed. I wanna play another match after this. One more. That is so lucky. That is so lucky. Well done. Oh, GG. Next one. What the hell? So it is lagging. That's right. Not an issue. Wait, should he make it? That's the worst part. I make them bleed and it actually works and then they're a further distance away than expected. I'm like, oh crap, I missed out on my opportunity. Well, the game, I wanted to quit and it kicked me out. That's actually perfect. Worked out. Next one. That that worked out perfectly. I don't know how, but the devs like, you know what? Uh, he didn't get his kills. Let's just, let's just kick him out and let him get a reset. Thank you. Thank you, devs. It means well. It truly does. How nice, the devs. How nice. Oh no, he's taking it. He's taking it. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. Thank you. On oh, Family House too? Nuts. I actually like this outfit too. It's quite cool. I still think the other one's maybe better, but I love the mask on this one. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, jump into the action with my Bleed Bubba build. And we're trying our best to hopefully get two kills as well with this build, if possible, on Gallows. If not, I just want to showcase the old lady skin. Well, yeah, I think it's old lady skin. I was going to say old woman. That's the other one. It's called Pretty Woman. This is old lady. Look at it. Quite stylish. Love to see it. Bold spot, but it's all right. Just, we can cover that up. We can cover that up. No issue. Let's have some fun here. Old Lady Bubba in action. She is mean. Watch out for it. Okay, let's rip this up. We're ready. I see you. Two hits. Go in the hole, go in the hole. Yep, you're dead. Did he run right straight away? He, he, he ran the wrong way. Bleed, man, bleed. Bleed! It's old lady. You like it?
He's not bleeding, is he? He's running circles around me. <laughs> I've tamed one. I've tamed him. He's now my pet. Keep going around me, yep. Keep going. You gonna bleed out? Like, what's going on here? You're so tanky, aren't you? You're dead. <laughs> Old lady with a kill. Ooh. And destroyed. Clean. Clean. Added to the collection. Now I am the Chad. Perfect. Let's go. Oh, you're there too. One. Two. Actually, I don't know if I landed. I'm trying to be, like, kind to them. Hopefully that makes a bleed. No! They're all here. Oh my god, I wanted to make them bleed, but it's not enough. It's not enough. I think old lady wants kills now. You're dead. What are you doing? You're dead. See you later. Thank you. Enjoy your time. One more. Old lady's going crazy right now. Most likely escaped the basement already. Oh, it's right there. She was right there. Could have made it. She went back upstairs the same way because Johnny left the corner. She's dead though. There we go. Johnny's right there. Never mind. He never left that corner. That was fun. That was super fun. Old lady going ham. He loves his hit. That was the first old lady game. Like a proper one. Without being DC'd. Really cool. We're gonna dance. Crazy woman. Crazy lady. My bad, not woman. I hope she doesn't kill me too. Jeez. That was quite fun. This build I'm actually liking the most. I won't go into detail. I think we have a video on it already. But it's quite fun. And the stats 1.2, 2 kills, team wipe. Pretty easy. The family house showing how quickly he dominated with it with the Bubba and a good team comp as well. Johnny's actually proved to be much useful too, which I like to see. So GG's, GG's. Fun time. Absolute fun time. Let me save that. What do you think about that? Old lady. Even though I wanted to get the, you know, special executions. We still had a bit of fun there. That's insane. Well, if you mates are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, show that support on these streams and in our content. There's going to be a lot of videos today, so make sure to watch all of them, keep up to date with them, and also join our Discord, join our Twitch, all that good stuff. 
I've had a lot of a lot of fun today streaming today. I think it's around nine hours. Or eight hours and a, and a half. Not bad, not bad. I'm happy with that. I think we'll take a bit of a break and we'll get the steam train going again tomorrow. But if you have any ideas of what you want to see, content wise, please tell me. Uh, any builds, any ideas, anything that you want to see us do on Texas Chainsaw Massacre. These are what already what we're doing. Give us a heads up, put it in the Discord. And there's I think a community poll on our channel that highlights that. How are your thoughts? I'd love to know. But for now, it's been a pleasure to have you guys here and go through this journey together of eight hours and a half in the last couple of days you've been here as well. It's been amazing. And hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful night, whatever it may be. Time zone issues. You know how it is. That's it for me. See you mates later.